Hello? Hello? Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> it is I, Succubus. Succubus Sensei. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello. <laughs> I was uh I was preparing some stuff before uh starting. Um I, I, I rescheduled. Um I, I wanted to start at noon, but I was very tired. <laughs> I got I got some I got some sleep though. I got some sleep, so mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone's doing well. Good to see good to see you again. I feel like it's Oh my gosh, it's been forever, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is it is Saturday today. Today is Saturday. It's a good day today. We are on day three. Day three of the charity event for Gamers Outreach Foundation. And that is very cool. <laughs> yeah. We are on day three. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I'm, I'm still kind of like waking up a little bit. Uh, I woke up at around like one o'clock. So I'm just... <laughs> I, I think I fell asleep at around like 6 a.m. So... <laughs> I think that that was probably when I fell asleep. So, <laughs> hello. How, how's everyone doing today? Did you did you have your morning coffee? Did you have your morning coffee and and things and such? I am. I'm feeling a little bit like sleepy, sleepy. But um, I have a poll right now on uh, on Twitter. I think I think you guys are kind of leaning more in like one direction right now. Ha ha ha. Um, but. I have a choice between like two MREs because we hit the we hit the goal yesterday for uh, the 500 milestone and we also hit the goal for 1000 as well. So I get to write a poem about you, everyone. So that's really exciting. <laughs> um, I think I will I will eat and then I will do the poem with everybody and that's going to be very cool. So if anyone wants to check out the goals, these are the goals for um, for the charity stream. Well, charity event. I keep saying stream. Charity event. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is well. Good morning. <laughs> okay, I am gonna. I'm gonna break your immersion. Also, thank you for the follows. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna break your immersion. <laughs> One, two, three. Ta-da! We got the MREs here. So these are the ones that I. Uh, have because i was thinking i was thinking breakfast let's do breakfast everyone um i have a poll right here um if you are able to use twitter it is right here just in time you got off of work oh that's so exciting oh end of end of the day end of the work day <laughs> get to relax and enjoy yourself <laughs> let's see so i got this uh let me see hash brown um, hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onion meal kit. So there's this one. Oh, but, oh by the way, I have a, I have a tray. I, I have a tray right here as well. <laughs> Let's get this food on a tray. Nice. <laughs> I'm Lynx. Lynx. <laughs> thank you so much for the prime. Thank you. Thank you for the two months. Thank you for being with me for two months. <laughs> Thank you. Also, uh, Shiro, hello. I hope you're doing well. Shiro's always nice to come by and say hi. Hello. <laughs> I Real hands? Oh my gosh. Real hands? Oh my gosh. Holding hands? Lewd. <laughs> so I got um, the hash brown potato with bacon, peppers, uh, onion meal kit. Um, and then there's also um, a maple brown sugar oatmeal kit. So... I was thinking breakfast. Um, I still have so many more MREs. <laughs> I have so many more. <laughs> Aw. I just want to say thank you, thank you again um, for the prime. I, I really, I really appreciate it. Um, I, uh, I also have Amazon Prime, and I am always very excited to use my Prime on streamers, <laughs> streamers that I like. <laughs> so, here I'm gonna refresh this. I think I'll give it like a few minutes, but I think, I think hash brown bacon peppers is winning right now. So I should have only set this poll for like a few hours. I just know that it's set for like 23 hours. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, here, let me, let me bring up all the things for the, let me see here. 
bring up all this just so just so everyone is in the loop of like what's happening <laughs> so if, if you're able to spend that's great but if but if you can't that is also okay i want to have a fun day with everyone just just like always just like always um so the rewards are five dollars for a head head and kisses uh ten dollars for a cringe pickup line twenty dollars for five squats fifty dollars if you would like a tarot card reading or an oracle card reading of your choice um seventy five dollars to read a creepypasta one hundred dollars for a custom one minute safe for work asmr uh recording and 250 for one bean boozle bean <laughs> and a custom one minute safe for work asmr recording <laughs> so uh yes uh so we achieved we achieved um the 500 dollars one that's why i'm going to be eating an mre i'm going to eat an mre and i am going to write a poem about chat to make it about like twitch and chat combined <laughs> So, uh, the next, uh, the next one is a GeoGuessr stream for 1500 and the next one is 2000 for, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So, if we achieve it, fantastic, but we will, we will see. This is day three. Day three. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Can't go wrong with hash browns. That's what I was kind of thinking, too. Yeah. Yay, poem. Yeah, I'm gonna write a poem about you. I'm gonna write a poem about chat. <laughs> Also, I just realized I'm a I'm a little tall today. I'm rather tall. Oh my gosh, Jesse! <laughs> oh my gosh, Jesse! Thank you for the support for me. <laughs> thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you. My gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. My goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I it, it really means a lot to me. <laughs> I will become smaller. It's so it's so hard to fit my horns in here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> the the more the looter. Oh. oh. Wait, no, no sound alerts, really? Oh my gosh. It's either like there's sound alerts or there's no sound alerts. Um, here, I can fix this. I can fix this. Oh, for the bit ones? Let me see. Wait, did you did you play something? Here. Give me give me a moment. I can I can restart it. Uh sound alerts. Login. I didn't hear a bit sound alert go off. Wait, no, there, there was no, there was no bit sound alerts that went off. No, it's everything's okay. <laughs> no, every, everything's okay. I, I was, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I can always like replay them if, uh, if there's audio issues though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't see the, um, I think it takes a little bit of time to refresh at the beginning of the stream. Um, for like the sound alerts, probably, um, the one that goes through the app. It's, it's, it's all, it's your fault. No, no, it's, it's not your fault. No, if, if anything is like off with the audio or anything, I, I try to, I try to fix it immediately. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, time for, time for some food? Time for some, time for some breakfast? Hey, we're having, we're having a breakfast date or I guess, I guess brunch? Brunch, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, I see that hash brown bacon pepper is winning. Um, I think is it safe to say that we can we can go with that? Probably. Here, let me see. Is it is it safe to say we can go with this? I think we can do. Yeah. Are are we okay with that? What can what can what can I enjoy with my meal? What? No. No, what? 
No! Tell Thor what you do! No, you no, you did it! <laughs> no, you no. No, you no. I'm stopping the PGM right now. <laughs> Give me just a moment. You didn't. Crunch is like, did you get a Wolfie Boy cameo? Well, we will, we will see. Just a minute. How loud? Okay, just a minute. How loud is this? I need to, I need to adjust my volume. Okay. No. <laughs> should I? Oh my god. Should I watch this now or later? Should I watch this now or later? <gasps> I haven't even ate yet! <laughs> Talthar, oh my gosh. Did you- Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna- I'll play it now, I'll play it now. Just a minute. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm putting it at full volume. Sensei. Would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? Give me a moment. <laughs> In great detail, I hope. <laughs> Sensei, <laughs> would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? In great detail, I hope. Perish now. <laughs> Tell <Tower! Hello. laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm I need to I need to save this forever and forever in, in my Google Drive. Southlord, thank you. <laughs> ah. I, 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 ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I I'm I I I am smiling so much right now. I I need to I need to recover. <laughs> Oh, I stretch, I stretch, I stretch. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to put this right in my homework folder, okay? <laughs> Sensei, would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? <laughs> in great detail, I hope. I love the wink. I love I love the wink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I oh my gosh, Telthar, I am so happy. Thank you so much for thank you for thinking of me. Thank you so much. That is very kind of you. <laughs> that is very kind of you to do. Uh, <laughs> now Oh my gosh, how am I, how am I, how am I going to cool off now? <laughs> <You're just trying laughs> 
Listen, listen. I I haven't fangirled in a long time. Crunch. I get I I get one. <laughs> I, get, I get to I get to have one fangirl moment. <laughs> oh yay! Ah. <laughs> uh. I will I will teach the ways of the succubus. Wait, 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 wait. I will teach the ways of the succubus. This is going in my homework folder. <laughs> Please, somebody pour like ice water all over me. Oh, okay. I need to I'm gonna watch this like later as well. Again. I'm gonna okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I need to. I am putting, I'm not kidding, I am putting this in my Dropbox, like, sorry, my, my Google Drive, like, right now. I am putting this in, like, I am putting this in so many of my Google Dropboxes. <gasps> in it goes. I'm gonna also put this in my, uh, my i'm gonna put this in my other one too happy pride happy pride happy pride <laughs> i can't i can't believe I, I i i can't believe i can't believe it i can't believe it i'm i'm just thank you <laughs> oh my gosh i how do how do I how do I cool off now? It's it's there. <laughs> Crunch is like looking at me. <laughs> He's shaking his head at me. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Crunch no! <laughs> he, <laughs> he just rubbed an ice cube on me. No! <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> ah, it's cold. Put this in my water. shook his head and he put an ice cube on me <laughs> oh okay okay i'm i'm cooled off now <laughs> oh i i have i have not finished sheldon ring yet i will i was actually thinking of playing some more today i i was thinking of playing more today <laughs> oh gosh oh ah Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, the stream stream's ending now. I I have to go, I have to go take a cold shower. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. The the stream is done now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you are my favorite is what I wanted to go with. Oh, it's oh, it's okay. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> I I hope I hope some of you got a good reaction out of that. <laughs> my gosh. Wait. Where what were we? What were we? What were we doing? Oh yes, we were gonna we we're gonna do yeah 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 MR MREs yeah yeah. See you can you can see I I uh yeah I d I downloaded. <laughs> Oh. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go with the hash brown one then. Time for MREs. Yeah, time for time for MREs. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think this happened last time. Crunch got McDonald's for himself and like not get an MRE. <laughs> I know the MREs are good. I think he did this last time. He got McDonald's for himself. <laughs> you got the clip of a lifetime. Oh, Please put it put it in the discord put it in the discord. Oh my gosh, please. Oh my gosh. Yes <laughs> Put put it every put it everywhere post it on twitter.com <laughs> Okay, okay, we'll go we'll go with the hash brown one. We'll go with the hash brown one. Um Okay You know what maybe I should actually put like um Let's put some music on. Like, not the BGM, but like music, music. 
uh are you finishing your uh metal gear rising i think I, yes I, I would like to um i think the plan for today is that i would like to okay mre um i don't know if i want to make the poem about chet immediately after or play metal gear rising but i will make the poem on stream regardless i just feel like i do you ever feel like you have to be in the right headspace to be creative <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat I'm assuming he's the last boss. I'm a, I'm assuming he's the last boss, so yeah. Let's see. Um Spotify? Spotify. Tell Thar I sorry, I can't get I can't get over that. Thank you. My gosh, that is that that is incredibly kind of you. You did that like in such like short notice too. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, BGM off. Um, what did I think we had? We had synthwave last time. I think the music was at a good enough volume. Pretty sure it was. Uh, so it has like a seven day turnaround. Wow, that's really impressive. What a what a nice guy. <laughs> oh, here, I have it under uh donate. There we go. There we go. And if you want to take a look at the goals, the goals are right over here. Um, okay, so maybe I'll save the maple brown sugar one for another time. So I'll put that on the on the ground. Okay, we got a tray. I don't know how I'm gonna how am I gonna do this with the keyboard? Uh, I don't think I can push my keyboard back any further, unless I move my drawing, my 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 drawing. Thing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that over there for rewards. Uh, maybe I can try to move this a little bit further. Is it stainless steel? It is stainless steel. <laughs> um, I make sure to like wipe it off and everything um, as well so we can have like food on it. Um, the tarot cards are still here. If anybody wants tarot card readings and stuff for uh, for the charity stream, they're right here. Um, let me see if I can... I'm gonna move my snack. Okay. Let's try to move that a little. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Um, is the music at a good volume? I just hope it's not too loud, not too quiet. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Hello. Here, let's get some food on this tray. Nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. Greedy. Thank you for the $50. Whoa. Whoa, thank you so much for the $50. I, do you, here, I'll do your tarot card. Do you want, do you want a tarot card or do you want an oracle card? For the kids, for the kids. For the kids. Um, Would you like a... Tar tarot card or would you like an oracle card greedy bacon king let's see what oh oh i wanted to see if you had a message there okay <laughs> hey you know what i see that you're singing uh <laughs> you can't you can't rickroll someone in their chat hey guess what do you know rick ash uh, uh, ashley's uh, like other songs because I do. <laughs> Together forever and... <laughs> you would like a tarot card? Okay, I'll do a tarot card for you. He is such a good singer. He's such a good singer. People know about Rick Rolling. They don't know his other music. Fake fan. What a fake fan. <laughs> It's kind of funny because they actually play that one on the radio quite a bit, like um, in our town. Um, here, just a minute. Together forever. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> if there's anything you need, all you have to do is say so. You know you satisfy everything in me. We shouldn't waste a single day. <laughs> 
So don't stop me falling, it's destiny calling A power I just can't deny It's never changing, you can't, can't you hear me? I'm saying I want you for the rest of my life Together forever and never to part Together forever we two And don't know you, oh wait, and don't know, wait and don't you know i will never move heaven and earth to be together forever with you yeah he has other music dunked on you <laughs> what's up we're doing a tarot card reading right now for greedy baking king and then we're going to get into an mre <laughs> um let's see here Beautiful Life has an interesting music video. Oh my gosh. We should just like look at a bunch of like um Rick Astley's um like discography <laughs> when we when we're like not on the front page of Twitch anymore. Just because there was like rules that were saying that like you can't you can't do anything that's like not other than your content basically. <laughs> Cuz I was like, "Oh, yeah. So like no no media share, no anything like that." <laughs> we can we can uh, it's kind of funny when something gets like taken away from you you want to do it more so now like i next week i almost kind of just like want to do like media shares and everything <laughs> some kind of witch irl witch fortune telling no this is just for fun uh tarot cards are like for just like introspection and everything they don't have to be like oops they don't have to be real oh but the thing is like the thing that I find interesting is usually if one comes out, it's meant to come out. <laughs> Let's see here. It's interesting. The tower just slipped out of my deck. Let's see here. Greedy Bacon King. Greedy Bacon King, you got the tower. Ooh. Ooh. So, sudden shock, destruction, questioning beliefs, and chaos. So, let's see here. Oh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> $250 placeholder! For the kids! Oh my gosh! $250! <gasps> Thank you! Oh my gosh! Um, Make sure to get in contact with me, or I will try to- I will contact you about the one-minute ASMR safe for work, uh, recording. And I will do the bean boozle as well. <laughs> I will- oh my gosh. Okay. Um, tarot card, bean boozle, and then we'll do MRE. <laughs> uh, my gosh, thank you so much, placeholder! For the kid- for the kids! For the kids! To make their um their hospitals stay a little bit more manageable. Yeah. Um, let me see. So for the uh for the tower for uh Greedy Bacon King, let's see here. I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like. It's rather chaotic, isn't it? It basically means like something is gonna shake up your life. Something is gonna shake up your life. Um so unexpected news or an event may shake your world today. You may find yourself questioning uh, what your thoughts, wait, what thoughts you knew. You may feel vulnerable as if your weakness, weaknesses are on display for all of the world to see. Try to see this as an opportunity, though it may be uncomfortable. You are gaining new and valuable awareness about yourself that you can use to grow and get stronger. So basically the tower is like, it's it's like a, a card of like shock and chaos, like, like I said before. So the structures and the systems you built in your life are being shook up. Uh, assumptions you've taken for granted are going to be thrown into question. You are going to be forced to think in brand new ways. So this card could indicate a surprise event such as being like, it could be, well, it's giving examples like being laid off or discovering a betrayal or un something unexpected. So winning the lottery or unexpected expenses like home or car repairs. So someone could have maybe an emotional outburst around you. Uh, so this card may just be a reminder to set aside a little money each month just in case to have your emergency supplies uh, ready to have a plan in case of a fire or vehicle breakdown. Think through what would happen in the worst case situation and prepare as much as you can. As advice, the tower is telling you to shake up your life. 
Take a look at, uh, at your deeply held assumptions. Do they still serve you? Get outside of your normal mode of thinking and take a trip. Get rid of old belongings. Try something new or exploring a new philosophy. Drastic changes are required in your life. So the thing is like, it could be like something, it could be something unexpected. Um, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing, but maybe you need to shake up something in your life as well. Or this could be something maybe for like friends or family as well. Maybe there's somebody that you can, you can shake up their life a little bit. <laughs> maybe in a good way though. Oh, you might be asleep when, oh, no, I'll do the bean boozle right now. It's okay. I'll do it, I'll do it right now. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you so much for the $50. And I hope you enjoyed your reedy, uh, reading, reading, Bacon King. Oh my gosh. I I dropped my cards. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll do I'll do the the bean boozle right now. Okay, there we go. So bean boozle time. Oh gosh, I hate I hate these. I hate these. Okay. It, I think it's probably better that I have it before I start eating, I guess. Okay. Here we go, everyone. I hope you have a good sleep, though. Okay. Here they are. Um, if anyone is unfamiliar with Bean Boozle, basically, um, I read the description yesterday, but there's some that are, like, really, really bad, and there's some that are good. So, let's see here. We got like liver and onions, cappuccino, old bandage or pomegranate, rotten egg or buttered popcorn, toothpaste or uh, berry blue. Berry blue. The frick is a berry blue. <laughs> um, bar for peach, stink bug or toasted marshmallow, booger or juicy pear, dirty dishwater or uh, <laughs> oh shoot, I just thought of the idea of dirty dishwater. Ugh birthday cake um stinky socks or tutti frutti um dead fish and strawberry banana smoothie so yesterday sorry was it yesterday or the day before i'm trying to remember which one was it um yeah it was it was yesterday um it, um it was either stinky socks or the tutti frutti and i got the tutti frutti which was which was really nice yeah it was it was yesterday <laughs> okay so I will give a good flick here. So it ended on, let me see here. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. I don't think I've tried stink bug before, but I know that uh, Crunch has tried it before and you can smell it off of like the other person, like when they have it. Um, I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure. I think it's this one. Uh, my god, I hope it's Toasted Marshmallow. I think it's this one, right? I know, right? Yeah, flick, flick the Bean Boozle. <laughs> okay, here, here, I'm just gonna take a napkin just in case. I, yeah, it's for the kids, it's for the kids. I won't, I will not spit it out, I just... I, I just want to have a napkin in case if, if something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Here's the here's the bean. My God. I hope it's toasted marshmallow. Okay. Kind of looks like a little larva, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Toasted marshmallow! Oh my god, two lucky ones in a row? Holy crap. Right. <laughs> it's supposed to be really stinky, right? Like it's supposed to be like... Oh, Crunch says it's probably the worst one. Hey there, Shion, hello. I don't really like how it tastes though for the toasted marshmallow, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Two good ones in a row? Oh my gosh. Um, kind of lucky. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Shion, I hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Oh my god. Um, Shion, Talthar got me a cameo. Oh my gosh. From Scott Arthur, who does, like, the voice of Blade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go i got the toasted marshmallow okay this is this is dangerous because i i ate two good ones in here that means there's more bad ones <laughs> oh my gosh okay these are gonna go over here now <laughs> placeholder um you can either dm me on uh on discord or you can email me whatever whatever is more preferable to you um and i will do the one minute safe for work asmr recording for you oh my gosh i kind of oh my gosh I feel, oh <laughs> i kind of want to see the clip after oh shoot is it weird if i react to myself <laughs> here let's see okay so you guys are still choosing like the hash brown bacon pepper so we'll still go with that one then <laughs> the scream is priceless <laughs> i feel like lately i've been like more loud on stream and stuff um i hope i'm not disturbing crunch or <laughs> or <Avelios. laughs> um let's see here my gosh okay okay um sh should we react to your own clip okay okay i i will react to my own clip <laughs> okay wait there's there's two of them here there's two here okay give me give me just a moment <laughs> okay there's two clips here that you guys took <sighs> it's kind of funny because it makes me remember like when Bao did like her stream and she did it for like 11 minutes and she's like, okay, stream's over now. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, this is going to be kind of like Inception-y. Okay. I DM you the idea on, on uh, uh, for ASMR. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Sensei. Would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? Oh, actually, the alerts are doubled. Sensei, <laughs> would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? <laughs> well, at least I didn't. I didn't peek my microphone. <laughs> I turned it. I turned into peek of me. <laughs> Let's see here. I think that should be okay for the notifications. That's actually. <laughs> There's two? Oh my gosh, wait. And there's another one here. What's this? <laughs> no! <laughs> give, me, give, me, give, me, give me give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> Sensei. Would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's when, it's when he wings. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I can't believe the, the, the wink in there. Just, gee. Sheesh! <laughs> Sheesh. Oh god. The wink, the wink, I, I perish. <sighs> now I just want to do f I just I just want to I've never drawn furry art before but I want to draw art of blaze. <laughs> I I I would tr I would try my best. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries. No worries. It's okay. I could I could go back and clip stuff too. So 
Oh my god, that was so good. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I hope the music isn't too loud. Let's see. Holding holding hands. Oh gosh. <laughs> I will I will double perish. Okay, so we got hash brown potatoes with bacon. Oh wait, here. I'll go on the side so you guys can be on chat. It's time for breakfast because I haven't ate yet. <laughs> um, I think I might need scissors. Oh, actually, maybe I, maybe I don't. Oh, it's peelable. <laughs> there we go. It's peelable. Okay, so. So we got the, um, okay, we got the heat pad. We got the heat pad, um, so I'll put that there. Um, we got the flameless, uh, meal heater, so that's there. Um, so this should be the main? Yeah, this should be the main. So it's the hash brown. The hash browns with the bacon. Hash browns with bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here for now. What else do we have in here? Oh, mini chocolate chip cookies! Oh, cookies! I should get some milk. I need some milk. <laughs> chocolate chip cookies? Oh my god, I had chickpea stuff last time. Bread single. Bread single. And... Let's see here. Okay, I got my spoon. I got a spoon. <gasps> Roasted. Oh, oh, this. I love this. I love. Here, just a minute. I need to move this for a moment since my keyboard was spazzing out. <laughs> um, corn, corn nuggets. Roasted. These are so good. I'm going to snack on these probably throughout the day. They're so good and salty. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> I'm excited about the cookies. And let's see here. What do we have? Oh, the cheese spread. So, I think the cheese spread is pretty good. Um, I think the last time it gave me cheese spread, it was... Um, I think it was cheese spread and jalapeno, so it was spicy cheese spread. But this is like regular cheese spread, so that's okay. Um, oh, nice. And we got orange flavored... Uh, let's see. No fruit juice? Oh, it's like, so like orange juice then. Orange juice. Okay. I think I need another cup actually because I have water here. But I should probably have some for the juice. Oh, <gasps> I get to become a juicer. I get to become XQC. Okay. Uh, you heard that the jalapeno cheese spread was nasty? Um, I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. But, um, I feel like normally, like, when I eat stuff, I'm not really picky when I eat. I, I will usually try stuff. <laughs> I, this is my juicer arc. It's so true. <laughs> um, let's see. No, X, <laughs> X, 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 Q, C. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think. This should go in first. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Do, do I still need this crunch? I can't remember if I... Do I still need this? I can't remember. It's just this, right? I don't need that. But, oh, but I could use this for garbage. Use that for garbage. Okay, so I am going to fill this. Um, I'm gonna go fill this with water so we can get the main. So the main is gonna go in here. Um... Okay, there we go. Time to... Okay, so the main is gonna go in here. Okay, so the main goes in here. Open heating pad and place inside. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so we gotta remove it and okay, so I think what I'm gonna do Where did we did we stand it up last time? Cause I have to open do I open this, put it in, and then fill it up? I think that's what it was. Open open heating pad, put it in and then I know, I just wanna do it wrong. <laughs> we we eating good today. Having having hash browns. Right. Oh, I need I need. This. Okay, we eating good. Dun, 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 dun. So the heating pad could be like right beside it. Okay. So we need to be very careful. Get a measuring cup. Yes, use plenty. Of <laughs> well, I'm gonna fill it up to the line. I'm gonna fill it up to the line. I don't want to use that. I don't. I don't want to use this. Yeah, I gotta pour a lot of water. Okay, give, give me a moment. I'm just gonna pour some water. Okay, we steaming. We we steaming. Oh, I... You can I guess it's hard to see on camera, but you can like see the steam coming out of it. You can see the steam. Tams. <laughs> yeah. I 
Maybe I need more water? I did above the fill line. I guess in the meantime, we can do one of the sides because we can, oh, I need to, uh, I need to get some water so then I can do the juice. Oh yeah, I can show you guys what the food looks like. Okay, so the, the roasted salted nuts. Cause I kept everything in the package like last time. They give you so much. Mm. I love these. These are good. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, extra extra salt pack, right? Yeah, it's steaming. It's steaming. Okay. It's a lot of, it's a lot of nuts. <laughs> okay, so now we got our, oh, we got the bread. Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a filling breakfast. Okay, I got my bread. My single, single bread. Single bread. And we got the chocolate, chocolate chip cookie. I think I'll put them right here. The Kung Pao watch along. <laughs> what was that one funny show that they did on YouTube? I can't remember what it was called. Oh my God, they're so tiny and cute. <gasps> Look how tiny they are. Oh my gosh, they're adorable too. They're... <laughs> These are chocolate chip cookies? These are these are chocolate chip cookies. Smells so good. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I you know what? This would probably be but be a bad idea. I would put this in a very small glass of milk and probably just drink them. <laughs> So that's our fruit juice. So we need our we need our juice. Like, don't you think like these would make like for like a good like a, like a tiny a tiny milk drink and then you just drink them? <laughs> it's it could be basically just cereal, I think. Like cereal cereal cookies. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the drink. I'll put the drink right here. Um and then I will put the I'll put the main right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got some we got some salt pepper. Salt pepper. And spoon. Um I'm going to go get some water. And I'm gonna get some water for this so then I can I can put it in a glass. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some water for uh, the the orange flavor.
Okay, now I'm going to put the the orange flavor, the orange flavor into uh, here. I got myself, I got myself a straw from upstairs. So I got like one of those like stainless steel straws to kind of like mix it up a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, I think it's like, I think it's like Tang or something. I guess that's what it would probably be, right? Maybe? It's orange drink. <laughs> hand reveal, second time hand reveal. I mean, I guess since like the last charity stream. <laughs> yeah, we're getting, we're gonna get fancy. put this right here so you guys can see it. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, the last time when we did like, I think it was like, it was the green melon drink. It was so good. It was really, really good. Let's see here. Um, Let's tear, okay, the cheese spread. Time for cheese spread. Uh, maybe I'll use scissors for this. What? No, you can you can buy these. You can buy these. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. It was a lime. Sorry, I thought it was a lemon. It was lime. Okay. Put that there. Oh my god! It's so <laughs> it's so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just came out like that mmm <laughs> cheese I think this would probably be better to like dip it in maybe Here, I'll put that there for now just gonna use the like the spoon i'm gonna use the spoon to kind of like spread it out oh god i think i put too much on <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah the cheese oh that's so funny that you mentioned that rudy because <laughs> that's so funny because it's amazing being a VTuber. Stay mad. <laughs> also, not 13. I am a mature lady who teaches as a living. I'm an English teacher. The more you know. <laughs> mauled. Yeah, just, just mauled. <laughs> Also, here's the thing. I actually, uh, I talked about this a few times. Some people like the cutesy thing for VTubers, and that is completely fine. I like to do some, I don't know, mature things. So, yeah. Some people like the cutesy look, and that's okay. Some people like the mature look, and that's okay. You do what you like. <laughs> but it's okay. Your voice is heard. Oh, the cheese just tastes really processed, <laughs> I guess. But yes. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I think it's an interesting discussion usually when people like bring up stuff like that, though. No. You just arrived to see an MRE. You did! Here, I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the orange drink. Oh oh shoot! A lot of it kind of clumped up at the bottom. Ugh. Yeah, I'm an English teacher that also happens to be a VTuber. You know, everybody gets to have fun. There we go. I'll put that there for now. Hmm. Probably should have put the powder in first. 
It's all chunky at the bottom. My bad. Oh, so clumpy at the bottom. I don't think this happened when I used the lime drink, though. Well, I think the lime drink dissolved nicer. It's okay. I'll just drink the clumps at the bottom and then the rest will be okay. <laughs> yeah, some drinks might just be easier to mix. Clank, 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 ASMR. It tastes much better with the, um, tastes much better with the, um, <laughs> the bread. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this cheese. I put too much cheese bread on here, but I want to like use it all. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's good in its filling. Put cheese on the corn things. Um, these are okay. They're pretty salty as they are. They're like they're really salty. I'll be I'll be eating these like throughout the stream. <laughs> um, I think the expiration date for these are like five years into the future or something like that. So these the, this should stay good for like five years basically. I put too much cheese. <laughs> There's so much. Oh shoot, that's that's my fault. <laughs> mm. I need some orange drink. <laughs> but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the expiration date should be like five years or so. <laughs> I will send, I will send you, I will send you cheese. Wait, right there. <gasps> it's full kin shit. Hello. I hope you're doing well. I, I always love your username. Your username is so good. <laughs> Hello. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Are you playing any new uh, gacha games? Are you playing new gacha games? Hmm. You must be excited for like the, the Miku game that came out on, on PC um, for Project Diva. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I remember, um, I remember for, um, for folk and shit, they they like uh they like uh, Miku and everything and uh, what was it? There was um I'm trying to remember because I think I remember you you stream like gacha games and everything. I, I, I try to I try to do what I can to remember for like <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Project Sekai, what's that one? I should look it up. Let me see, Project Sekai. Project. Let's see, Project. Oh, this looks cute. What the heck? Oh my god! Did they have a Miku collab? Oh, it's like, is it like music? Oh, it's a rhythm game. It's a rhythm game. It's the Miku Gacha game. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Mmm. Oh, it looks so cute. Oh. Oh my god, all the characters like look so modernized. Wait a minute, was this the thing that was this the love life artist that drew it or something? Or Miku had like a 
Miku had a collaboration with Love Live or something? Is that mouse pad of me? Yes, it is. Here. That this is this is my mouse pad. Here, I'll get the I'll get the napkins out of the way here. I I drew this mouse pad and you can you can find it here. Here. I'll put that over there. There we go. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> you like the setup thank you sorry it's a little messy right now um just because i have like some things for like the charity stream and everything but it's it's normally a, 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 a an organized mess i guess and an, an organized mess <laughs> the art for is nice thank you oh gosh thank you I was actually thinking once once these sell out, I'll do a different uh, design. So if um, if these happen to sell out, I will do a different design because like how we do our merch is like once the design is gone, it's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> and then like I'll draw like new stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna draw a new one with the updated design? I would I would like to. So. Mmm, I don't know how much to say, though. Uh, I think what I w We have new merch planned. The only thing is that I know that Booba mouse pads are not as popular anymore. But... We're gonna do something different, and I... Yes. <laughs> we will We will see. <laughs> we, we have new merch planned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An organized mess is how you describe your room right now. Sometimes it just works, right? It's like you have everything where you need it. Like, I, I gave a little bit of like a desk tour. Like, I have hand cream if I need hand cream. I have, I, ha I have hand sanitizer if I need hand sanitizer. I got a eucalyptus one to wake me up. I have, um, I have a melon hand sanitizer. Um, look, I got, I got a, I got a little, I got a little brush if I need to brush my hair. For ASMR and everything. <laughs> um, I got the ASM. I got like the um, ASMR like uh, singing bowl and stuff in front of me. I got tarot cards in front of me and lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I keep I keep holding this. <laughs> here, I'll put this. I'll put this uh, over here. I don't want to eat as much right now of that. <laughs> Saitomorph, hey, I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Saitomorph has amazing artwork, everyone. <laughs> here i'm just gonna stir this a little bit more okay i think i can put the main in the middle now um here i'm just gonna put that there i think i think this should be done right Crunch. It's really hot. <laughs> it's very, very hot. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's rip this. Actually, no, I'm gonna use scissors. Actually. Oh, it feels nice and warm between my thighs. <laughs> it's super hot. Oh gosh, I can only imagine like the heat wave a lot of people are going through. I'm having breakfast. <laughs> I'm having breakfast at like almost four o'clock. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, it smells good. Although the thing is, it just doesn't look appetizing though. Here. Oh shoot, I should have like zoomed in for like you guys at the very beginning. Here, you know what? Here, I'll spread it out a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so it's potatoes, bacon, and here, I'll try to get a little bit of everything. Uh, potatoes, bacon, and onions. 
So that's what that looks like. Let's uh, let's dig in. Let's dig in. So it tastes good. It just doesn't taste how you would think it would taste. If that makes sense. <laughs> it tastes good though. It just, oh, it doesn't it doesn't look appetizing though. But the last one I ate was in the bag and I think if I looked at it it probably wouldn't have been appetizing if I looked at it. <laughs> so the potato doesn't really taste like potato. Here, I want to I'm going to take another bite. Hmm. There's like a sauce to it. There's like a savory, salty sauce to it. You can kind of taste the bacon though. I guess it makes sense with the savory because it's like it's trying to do like the um, the onion thing. Here, I'll do another close up. So this is the one you guys voted for, the hash brown, hash brown, hash brown bacon and onion. Tastes good though. Nom, nom, nom. Here, I'll do another one. <laughs> it keeps falling into my hand. <laughs> it's so funny. It doesn't look appetizing on camera at all. <laughs> I could see how this would fill you up, though. It, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of soupy. I think this would actually be better in a bowl. <laughs> Maybe. See, look, we have, we have our nice, like, MRE meal right here. <laughs> the model's cute. Hey, Ola, thank you. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really happy with like this retro model. I think it turned out so well. <laughs> Chaintan did an amazing job on it. I can't I can't wait to like commission like more stuff from them. <laughs> I feel like here's the thing. There's like the okay, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with this. There's like the VTubers who always like get like new, like updated like models like all the time and everything. I'm the VTuber that gets like all the low poly models. <laughs> Because I love the low poly look. I think it's just so cute. Ah, <laughs> say ah. Chat, chat, say ah. Ah. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so who made my model here? Just a minute. I have it down in the, in the credits down below. Um, Chained Han. Here we go. I don't know if their Twitter is linked, but I think their Twitter is uh, the same username, so. It was really cute. They did a bunch of Hololive models, and I don't think they had commissions open, but I just I just asked. I was like, hey, is it possible to uh, have a VTuber commission? Sometimes you just have to ask someone, you know? Sometimes if somebody doesn't have commissions open, I, sometimes you just have to ask. <laughs> they did really cute Hololive low poly models. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna have milk with this. <laughs> I feel like this would be like cookie cereal, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is chocolate chip cookies crunch. Like, yeah, they're, they're really, look, look, how cute, look how cute they are. Oh, they're good too. And <laughs> just, I'm gonna like pour milk directly into that. <laughs> You're gonna go. You're gonna go get some lunch. Then sounds good. Thank you so much for coming by. I'm gonna check out this Project Sekai game. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write this down. It looks really interesting. The art looks very. I want to say similar to Love Live. It <clears throat> makes me wonder if like the Love Live illustrator like did that. Hmm. 
I hope you I hope you have a good lunch. Here, I'm gonna try to eat this before it gets cold because I think it would be better to eat it like while it's like hot. Um, I would say so the food is okay. The chickpea masala one, I would eat that again. It was so freaking good. The, I want I want more of that chickpea masala one. <laughs> Um, if I could, oh, I feel like we should like rank MREs, uh, MRE, uh, rank list, ranking, yeah. But it would have to be over the course of like several days though, because they're so filling. <laughs> uh, so it's called, uh, Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage in English. Ooh, thank you, thank you. I would like to check that out. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, some apps are on like, on like, uh, they have different names in like different regions, right? Uh, take care, take care. Mm. You know what? Sometimes the food doesn't look appetizing as long as it tastes good. That's okay. It tastes good though. I also have orange drink to uh, drink it down with. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Some of the MREs are gross. Uh, veggie omelet. Ew, veggie omelet just doesn't sound good. How would you do eggs well? Like, ooh, oh, I don't know about that. Veggie omelet? I feel like an egg would be kind of gross, like in an MRE. <laughs> There was um, a veggie lasagna one that I need to eat. Dehyd dehydrated eggs? That's a thing? Hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming by. I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. I'm eating an MRE right now. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, this is almost done. It's almost done. Oh, wholesome. I love the wholesome messages. <laughs> also, I think that's really nice for like first time chatters when they say that too. <laughs> so it's an egg you mix with water? Oh, that just sounds so gross. <laughs> an egg that you mix with water, huh? That makes me think of like dehydrated milk and I've never tried dehydrated milk. But I know, like, my parents had a lot of it, like, when they were growing up. It's probably because they probably couldn't get milk out to, like, the smaller, like, townships in Canada, probably. Maybe, I don't know. For, like, dehydrated milk and stuff, because my parents grew up on that kind of stuff. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah definitely. Do, do we still have dehydrated milk? We probably do. I mean, I guess that's what formula is and stuff, right? So. That's probably a good question. I would, I think I would like, like to try that if, if it was in a grocery store, dehydrated milk, because I've never had it before. <laughs> but apparently so dehydrated eggs are a thing. That doesn't sound appealing. I've never heard of dehydrated eggs. <laughs> chicken enchilada, pretty... Wait. Chicken enchilada? There's a chicken enchilada, like, MRE? I feel like it would sound good. <laughs> it just doesn't taste like milk. That's the thing. I'm rather curious now. <laughs> That's the thing, I couldn't I couldn't imagine dehydrated eggs. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like other food that was like what what's like other food that's like older that um people would eat but probably don't eat like right now, I guess. That's like powdered, I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. I mean, I don't know, because I'm just thinking of, like, you know, dehydrated... Here, I'll, I'll put this a little bit more in the middle for everyone can see. Um, people use condensed milk for cooking, don't they? They use it for, like, um, like, very heavy desserts and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, we'll we'll defeat the the last boss for Metal Gear Rising, I think, right after. I, at least I'll try my best. <laughs> Have I tried borscht? I love borscht. Uh, my my father makes it like all the time, and I really like it. I love borscht, um, uh, and it's very cheap. Um, I like to have it like I, I like to put sour cream in it. Like so, if you have borscht and stuff, like you can put sour cream in it. It's really good. Or I've heard you can also just put regular cream in it, and it gets like really creamy. <laughs> Ginger beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to link it to me, Crunch? Popular foods that are no longer eaten. Just since we're on the topic of food. <laughs> You've tried a freeze-dried MRE um, borscht once. It was... A oh, there's there's borscht MRE? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I wonder how the... Oh. <laughs> oh. Ask anyone and they will um, have an open and unopened condensed milk. Really? Really, say someone? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Crunch is going to give me a link. Let's see here. So, I, food that people don't usually eat anymore. Okay. Oh, the whole TV dinner thing? I mean, there's still like frozen TV. Oh, did, oh, did, it, did it scroll in the middle? That's weird. Okay. Um, what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, so foods that people no longer eat anymore. Oh, this thing! I used to, oh, I used to get this at the grocery store with, I wonder, I think some grocery stores still have this. How do you pronounce that? Ambrosia salad. Here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Here, um... Have you ever tried a calorie mate? Uh, we have a big box of calorie mates and I freaking love them. <laughs> we have such, a, we have a big box of calorie mates. <laughs> yeah, there's a huge box. We have, um, we did a review on all of them too. So there's like, there's chocolate, fruit, cheese, plain, and maple. So there's like five flavors that came in the box. And, um, I would say all the flavors are good, even the plain flavor. Cheese, I would not take cheese. Like, I would take any other flavor of Calorie Mate except for cheese. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, so the Ambrosia salad, because like, don't people make it like with jello and stuff? But I see that there's a marshmallow in here. I'm thinking of like the stuff that you get at the grocery store that's like whipped cream and jello. So this one is different because it has marshmallows in it. Interesting. Because I think they still have like this kind of thing at some grocery stores, but not all of them. It's eh. <laughs> You've had it once, it's eh. Mm, okay. So then TV dinners. So funny thing. There's that one brand called Hungry Man, right? That one gives me such a stomach ache. Yeah, Hungry Man is actually bad. And we should we should do a tier list for TV dinners. <laughs> Frozen dinners uh, tier list. <laughs> Here, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to eat these potatoes. Okay. Yeah, like, Hungry Man gives me such a stomach ache. What the heck is- Ew! Jello and other congealed foods are also way less- What the heck is that thing in the middle? It looks so gross. What the- What the heck is this? <laughs> you can have a savory jello? That sounds wrong. Oh, I- I- That looks very wrong. Pickled jello? <laughs> Ew. Ew, you could probably make pickle jello too. Ew. Oh my god. That actually would be an <laughs> That would be an interesting subathon goal. Pick up pickle jello. And Crunch is like, no, don't do it. <laughs> He's like, 
He's like, why you want to be gross, Tane? <laughs> because then people could, you know. <laughs> it makes me think of that one episode of Family Guy when Meg was just like eating everything um, for social media. <laughs> make crunch eat it he won't crunch is actually very picky he says he's not but he's actually very he's a very picky eater <laughs> you're not yeah no you are though because i eat everything <laughs> uh, like i feel like i have preferences of things i will not eat but i'll still eat it i guess <laughs> It's like that thing where like, okay, can can I say the pasta thing or the rice thing or like you you don't like like you know like whole wheat pasta and like that kind of stuff or Oh you don't you don't prefer it. Yeah, you'll still eat it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're damn right I'm gonna buy the You're damn right I'm gonna buy the regular pasta. <laughs> He says. <laughs> I grew up eating like a lot of like whole wheat and like uh like brown rice and like that kind of stuff, so <laughs> oh why buy the second best of something? Oh my god. Don't t don't tell certain anime fans that for their waifus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every waifu's number one. Mm. I would argue there's some waifus that are not as good as other waifus. <laughs> Actually, that makes me think of like that one anime. Um, what was it? Super Gals or something? Where it was like there was like the, that one guy and he's called second best or something. It was the guy, right? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm really trying to like finish this. Do you want a bite of this crunch, by the way? Yeah, you're full, full. <laughs> oh, it's so filling. Uh, some waifus are bad. <gasps> Which what? No, all girls in Chainsaw Man are amazing. <laughs> The stinky one. Wait, who was st who was stinky in Chainsaw Man? Who was stinky? I don't. I feel debatedly the main character could be pretty stinky. <laughs> Red hair. Oh, Makima. I like her. I, I like Makima. <laughs> I want I want to be on Makima's um leash. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> How goes the charity stream? I think everything's going well. Um, we have currently raised $1,300, and that is amazing. <laughs> uh, the main guy, yeah, he's like, what, 16 or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 the, the main guy's like under 16. There was somewhere in the manga that said she didn't wear deodorant. Um, oh, I don't remember that, but I want to say something, but I don't want to spoil anyone for Chainsaw Man because I'm going to be talking about Chainsaw Man like all the time when the anime comes out. <laughs> I will be on Makima's leash, woof woof. <laughs> Okay, let's get past this jello. Um, fondue. I think sometimes people still do fondue, but the funny thing is that every time... Hmm. Never get a fondue maker because it's just going to sit somewhere. <laughs> um, actually, um, one of my friends said something. I think Avelio said this. If you ever want to do fondue, get a fondue maker at a thrift store, and then when you're done with the fondue, bring it back to the thrift store. <laughs> because you will never use it again. <laughs> I don't 
I don't think anybody does fondue regularly. <laughs> I mean, okay, because there's like cheese fondue and then there's like the chocolate one, like you can do with strawberries and stuff, but like, yeah. I just realized, is this on loop or? Oh no, we are going through the playlist. I feel like a lot of, <laughs> I feel like a lot of it's starting to sound the same. But yeah, uh, I feel like if, I guess if I would ever do fondue, I will, I will take one i will buy one from a thrift store because there's always fondue things that are always in thrift stores thrift stores blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh my god i'm getting so full okay fondue actually has anyone did fondue I think I've had it like a few times, but I don't even remember where I've had it. You got a hot plate? More useful? Mm. Hot plate is useful. Oh, you know what? What actually a kitchen appliance is very useful? A rice maker. I use it like almost all the time. But like uh, for the rice maker, you can actually do like oatmeal and like other things in it too, like, um, like soups and other things. <laughs> I kind of want to use it for like um, other stuff too, but we keep using it for rice. <laughs> oh, meatloaf. I would say, I would say I like meatloaf, but it's something that we don't have often though. Like we've had it for HelloFresh and I, I like it, but it's okay, it's okay. Meatloaf is okay. It's kind of funny because I think like a lot of people seem very unenthusiastic about meatloaf though. Uh, bologna sandwiches? I like them. <laughs> Is this going to be a Deez Nuts joke? Bologna Deez Nuts? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Below Deez Nuts. <laughs> Ooh, mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Um, as a Canadian, I am a I am obliged to like mac and cheese. <laughs> but mac and cheese is actually good though. Like, I've heard that the Canadian one and the U.S. one is like slightly different though. I think. Hmm. You think people don't eat stew that much? It's really good though. Hmm. I guess it depends on the region. <laughs> I read one of your favorite creepypastas of all time, Ronchi. Hello, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hot roast? Um, yeah, I think some people don't have that as often. I guess it depends on like a special occasion. Oops. Yeah, the Game Boy Advance SP Blue Edition. That was, that was a really funny read. I liked that one. <laughs> that was such a funny read. Oh my god, I'm getting so full. Mm. Okay, I have a kind of a funny idea, but I don't know if it's... <laughs> I Okay, I have a kind of a funny idea. I want to take these and these and mix them together for a salty sweet snack, but put it in a bowl. <laughs> I wonder if that would be okay. Mixing this and this and putting it in a bowl and then you have like a salty sweet snack. Let's okay, okay, let's try what let's try let's try both. It kind of works. Yeah, it kind of works actually. Is this an MRE? Yeah, I'm, I'm eating an MRE right now. We're just, we're talking about food that some people don't eat as much anymore. So we're going through like a list of uh, foods. So like, for example, some people may not like eat meat, meatloaf as much as like... I wonder why meatloaf was like such a popular thing. Was it just easy to make, I guess? Instead of just like making hamburgers? 
I guess it's like something to eat for the whole family, maybe? Right? Because it says like, um, meatloaf is uh, most often remembered as a nostalgic childhood food from the 1950s through the, through the 1990s. I, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's just less trendy. Shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie is good. Yeah, shepherd's pie is amazing. I love shepherd's pie. <laughs> What's this? Baked Alaska? What's that? It's a kind of ice cream cake coated in a shell of meringue baked in the oven. This was popular? It's a, it peaked in the 1950s. Oh. Hmm. You always wanted shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie is good. I like it. Oh, you had meatloaf two weeks ago. The thing about meatloaf is that like, it, I would, would you say it's rather affordable? Cause you can like put the meat like in the freezer and then you can like, you know, make several meatloafs over time, I guess. <laughs> What's even shepherd's pie? Well, here, just a minute. All right, let's, let's just look up an actual definition. <laughs> It's basically this. I've I've made this a few times, like with HelloFresh and stuff. Not not sponsored right now, but I do use HelloFresh. <laughs> we were sponsored at one point. Here, I'll mo I'll move over here. Oh wait, right, we're over. Okay, there we go. So it's basically like potato and meat and peas and onions and carrots and stuff like, and then you add like a layer of mashed potatoes like on top. And it's really good. And then you could put like cheese on top and stuff. It's really yummy. Baked Alaska is worth trying. I've never heard of that. I would like to try it. Yeah, shepherd's pie is really good. You still make meatloaf sometimes? Yeah. In a really big meatball. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, When I made meatloaf before, I made it into like hamburger patties and I put like ketchup on top and it was really good. <laughs> it's probably why these more bland foods are dying out. It's <laughs> actually true though. I feel like I think you touched on an interesting point because like this would be probably like pretty bland unless if you want to put like spices and stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently this was like a 1950s thing for like the baked Alaska. Huh, interesting. Here, I'll go over here. Oh my god, it's Sunny D! <laughs> I used to love drinking Sunny D as a kid. I used to beg my parents to buy me Sunny D because like I was like, oh, the cool kids are drinking Sunny D in the commercials. <laughs> Sunny D, all right. <laughs> okay, is Sunny D still a thing though? Can you still get it at the supermarket? D does anybody, can you get Sunny D still? Oh, so good. It was probably so bad for you too though. <laughs> I wonder, I kind of want to go to the supermarket and see if they still sell Sunny D. <laughs> Can confirm it's at Walmart. Oh, I'll have to check our Walmarts then. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh my God, I'm almost done eating this. Mm. Mm. It tastes worse as it gets cold though. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> What's the Canadian version of Walmart? Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> Although, the thing is, depending on like the regional areas of like where Walmarts are in. Okay, so we have Walmart super centers, which are basically like the Walmart grocery stores, but um, there's actually a Walmart that's very close to us and it is not a super center. And it's kind of like a high-end Walmart, Um, but it's kind of hard to explain because they have better quality stuff because I think we're in more of a suburb area. And 
Um, it carries slightly nicer products because we're in more of a suburb area. And it, and it's actually nice and quiet at that Walmart. And there's like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. It's, it's not messy, so the workers can't do anything. <laughs> um, but when we go to like the super centers and everything, like it's chaos. Uh, not, not that it matters, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> I know that like you guys have like Sam's Club and like all these other things though, like in the US. Um, I've never been to a Costco. I've never been to like, a, yeah, I don't know. I, friend, should we go to a, wonder if there's a Costco in San Diego for like TwitchCon or something. Oh, you gotta be a member? You gotta be a Costco member to go to, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> You got you got to be a Costco member. Oh, okay. It's exclusive. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need a membership. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like 60 for a year. Okay. I cannot go to a Costco. Hmm. <laughs> you could buy wine at your Walmart. Um they introduced something recently to one of the super centers. I don't know if it's at the other super center in our Walmart, but they sell beer now, which I feel like is really interesting. And I think, I think they have some local brewery stuff there too. Um, the funny thing about Costco is I, um, Crunch told me about this. Apparently Costco didn't do, I think it was like marketing research or something for in Japan. So they had these really big pizzas and they were wondering why they weren't selling in Japan. But it's because like Japan has like really small ovens. So people can't have pizza like, <laughs> or they can't make the pizza because their ovens are too small. So they didn't do like the proper market research. <laughs> Oh, he'd lie his way in and say he was there for a pharmacy and they let him in every time. What? So they have pharmacies at Costco's? <laughs> hey, Scribble Fagans. Hello. Good to see you. That's true. They also have pharmacies at Walmarts too. Walmarts have everything. Oh my God. I'm trying to like eat the very last bit of this. Oh. It doesn't taste good cold. <laughs> okay. Just to confirm, just, oh, just to confirm here. Okay, I ate it all. I, I ate all the um, mashed potato stuff. Oh, I mean, it was really good hot though. It was good hot. Hmm. You can get into a Costco for uh, food court and pharmacy, but if you try to buy general merchandise, they card you at the register. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's actually funny. <laughs> okay. But the thing is like, so for Costco, why do you need a membership to go there? Is it because like there's such good deals or there's like more bulk items? Is that why? Or, oh, I'm going to eat the, yeah, don't worry. I'll eat the cracker. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of like this and i'm gonna have like a bowl of like these together <laughs> mm. i mean the orange drink is pretty good so the bulk of their uh, profits um are memberships uh they make more money on memberships than they do selling things big brain capitalism, I guess. Is that the reason? I can't think of another reason why they would do that other than... Yeah, I, I, I guess that's where they make their money. <laughs> because I do hear that some grocery stores don't make a lot of money based on, like, what was it? For certain produce, right? They lose money in produce, don't they? Isn't that a thing? Like, they lose money in produce because they have to throw out so much and stuff and... Yeah. Sorry, what's it called? Lost. Lost leaders. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it brings people into the store because people obviously need produce, but like, 
you don't... Oh god, yeah, like, bananas are, like, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, bananas cost, like, nothing. Yeah. Oh my god, it makes me think of, like, that one TV show. What was it? It was, like, the one lady. What do bananas cost? Fifty dollars? <laughs> Oh, you worked at Sam's Club for a few months and it was, you loved it. Oh my God, Shion, I worked at Walmart for like three years, like when I was in university. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> um, or I think it was a little bit more than three years. Um, man, um, the thing that I was really happy about is that I was at least, at least I got into a department. I, I worked in electronics, but even in electronics, people were trying to money launder and stuff. <laughs> there was a guy, there was a regular guy. I think he was like a cocaine or... <gasps> yeah, there was a guy that took money out from his underwear. He gave it to me and I was, and I was just like, if I take it, I have to take it for a purchase, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, that was, I, I, but, uh, but I was alone. So I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? There was, there, there was a dude that had to be money out of his underwear. And I was like, I, I, I don't, what do I do? <laughs> but I was alone. So I was like, I, I, I guess I have to put the purchase through. And I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, you were a backroom stalker. Oh, I see. Um, I hear that the backroom guys probably had the most sweetest gig because I think they got paid more. The backroom stalkers. I think they usually got paid more. Yeah, the backroom people get paid more. Or at least, or at least at our Walmarts, I guess. Yeah. Cr oh, <gasps> yeah. Crunch, uh, Crunch's brother did like shipping and receiving and he got like $18 an hour at the time or something when we were getting, um, I think at the time I was getting paid $11 an hour. Um, at the time when minimum wage was like $11 an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was getting paid a lot more. <laughs> I, let me see. I remember, I think at the time when minimum wage was like around $10 an hour, I think that was a little bit of like the better thing about working at Walmart because they were paying me. I think I started at 1125 because they were they paid slightly more than minimum wage. I remember. And then I think I, I they gave me like raises of like 25, 50 cents or something like that. Uh, and then I got a 15 percent. It was a 15 percent discount. It basically took the tax off, though. <laughs> Um, um, and then I think I worked my way up to 12 something dollars an hour. Oh no. So you were at $10 and everyone else was at 15 and 18. Oh no, Shion. Oh my gosh. And you asked for a raise. Oh no. So some people made a mistake. I find, well, I have no fault of their own. Some people got hired as students when they were in high school. Okay, here's the thing. I almost feel like, I feel like this should be said. I don't know if this this happens in like the US or I, cause I know this happens in Canada. I feel like you shouldn't take a part-time job when you're like in high school because they will not raise your wage. They will keep, they will keep paying you student wage when you're in like high school. And then when you're out of high school, they will not raise your wage. So I don't know if the, is that is that like a thing in the US too? I don't know. I don't know if it is. Cuz like in Canada, if you take a part-time job like usually like when you're in high school, they will pay you student wage, but then uh, but they will not raise they will not give you a raise like when you're outside of high school because that happens to so many people in Walmart. <laughs> yeah. But they have to though. Oh my god. I find that so interesting because I had several co-workers tell me that, like, but they... <laughs> so I guess, like, they have to pay you, like, an adult wage after, but I guess they... I don't know, I guess they... Yeah. Yeah, but I guess they just didn't want to bring it up, I guess, or, like, it's... Yeah, because you don't want to get fired, right? So it's... Yeah. <laughs> So they will hire new workers at a higher rate than you. And that's why people will say it's like illegal to discuss wages. Uh, yeah, no, it's not illegal to discuss wages. You should talk about what you're making with your coworkers like all the time. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> um, if you are either like working like whatever the same, I guess, position you are with your coworkers, you should always discuss your wages with your coworkers because it's not illegal to discuss it. Your employers will always say like, it's, oh, you shouldn't do that, but it's like, they're just trying to intimidate you. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, a, it's a stigma. People are very weird about money, basically. Yeah. Uh, it, it, money, money is like a very taboo subject. Actually, it's kind of funny. I was watching a YouTube video recently. There's a, there's a guy that I watch on YouTube called uh, Nathaniel Drew. Um, he was talking about how he earned his money to m get an apartment in France. And he was like being very transparent, like where all his like money came from and everything for like YouTube and sponsorships and like that kind of stuff. And it was pretty interesting to watch. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I guess like for like certain cultures and stuff, it feels kind of weird to talk about money and everything. But I feel like if you're transparent about stuff, like it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, as long as you want to discuss it, I guess. <laughs> All businesses run propaganda against you. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Well, we don't have to get into, like, the union talk and everything, but yeah, I know, like, a lot of people don't want to, yeah, get into the union talk, I guess. Yeah. Um, the only thing, what was it? There was, like, our one friend there. I think the only thing he was complaining about is that I think it was, like, when you do have unions, there was lazy people that can get away with stuff, but it's usually better, though, because it protects people, obviously, but yeah. Hey, Amma, I hope you're doing well. Hey, I'm, I'm eating an MRE. <laughs> hey there, Amma. I don't know, we're getting into like, I guess like, I don't know, we were talking about food and then we were talking about like Walmart and stuff. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, hello. I'm just, I'm finishing up my meal. <laughs> <gasps> you are one of the students? Hello. Hello, student. <laughs> Welcome to class. <laughs> hey there. Hello. Thank you for the follows. Hello, hello. Hmm. Yay. Sip, sip. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do... Okay, so I'm going to clean up this. I'm gonna clean up this and then I am, I'm actually thinking of, I'm gonna bring these and these together and I'm gonna put them in a bowl and just eat them throughout the day. <laughs> uh, people are gonna be lazy regardless of unions or not, true. Oh, I saw a really funny Simpsons uh, meme recently where it was like, Homer was like, Lisa, uh, what was it? Uh, if you don't like your job, you just do it half ass and that's the American way. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god, Simpson Simpsons has always been, like, so good. <laughs> oh, Discord didn't notify you? No! What's Discord doing? You want the peanuts? Or you want the corn nuts? Here, I'll give you some. Here. Here, have some, have some corn nuts. Look, look how salty it is. Look at, look at my fingers. They're so salty. <laughs> they're so, they're so salty. <laughs> The corn nuts are actually really good. They're they're very yummy. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. I put too much cheese on this, and I think I just want to eat it later. Crunch, do you want this? <laughs> He's so full. Okay. Salty today. No, no. I I need to bring my temperature down because. Uh, okay, here. You know what? Now that the now that we're kind of like. Two hours or so into the stream, I'm gonna show you guys something. This is what Telthar got me. <laughs> Here. I'm just gonna... Okay. Here. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show it, like, periodically throughout the stream, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Here. I'm gonna pause that. Okay. This is what Telthar got me. If anyone doesn't know, this is the voice actor for Blaze <laughs> from Elden Ring. Sensei, 
Would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? <laughs> In great detail, I hope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, we we got we got some clips when Talthar like DM'd me um earlier. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I want I want I want to play it again. I feel oh my gosh. Sensei, would you mind teaching me about succubus biology in great detail? Oh my god, the wink, the wink, the wink, the <laughs> So I, I, I just, I just per, I just perish like earlier. The wink, the wink! Oh my god. I, I, I can't, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You, I know, you told, you told him to wink. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's that's such a good gift. That is such an amazing gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Um I I got I got a little I got a little daydreamy. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm gonna clean up all this and I will be right back. And I think uh we can play some Metal Gear Rising. We're at the very last boss. I did say that we were gonna we were gonna go to the last boss, so yay! Let's let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> That's like a winkable phrase. Oh my god. <laughs> my cheeks are getting red. Okay, okay. I I I I'd be right back. Very quickly, very quickly. Be right back, be right back.
I am back. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am back. Oh, okay, I got myself some more water and yeah. I hope everyone got like themselves a snack or something nice to eat. <laughs> um, let's see here. I just finished the MRE. I have like the rest like in like a bowl. This is this is what I did. <laughs> I just put the rest in a bowl. So I'm just I'm just going to be like eating it like through <laughs> I'm just gonna be like eating it like throughout the stream because like why not? <laughs> Water is good. Water is good. Hmm. Listen, it's actually good. I mix I mix the salty and the sweet together, and it actually it actually works nicely. <laughs> it's a salty sweet snack now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see here. AS ASMR chewing time. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to see if like... Oh, you know what? Okay, let's finish off this list. Let's... Okay, let's finish off this list and then... And then I'll start with Metal Gear Rising then. That's what I'll do. Okay. So we talked about Sunny D and then we got like on like a thing about like Walmart and everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why why not both? Why not both? You're exhausted? Oh no. Oh, definitely take a nap after Shion. Definitely do that. Okay, so my my father does this and I think there's I think Crunch said I was kind of weird for doing this. I was just like eat, I like eating cod cheese like by itself. <laughs> I don't know how, any, how anyone else feels about this. Apparently, you're, you're supposed to pair it, I guess, like with like, I don't know, strawberries and like, or pair it with like something else. But like, I just like eating it by itself. <laughs> I think you're supposed, are you supposed to pair it with apples? <laughs> oh, you would have it with apples and, oh, cottage cheese and potato chips. Yeah, cottage cheese by itself is okay. Crunch does, <laughs> so like whenever I actually like, it, when I'm in the mood to like have cottage cheese, Crunch is like, ew. <laughs> So I guess it was like a popular diet food in like 1950s to 1970s then. Yeah, I don't know. I just always remember like my father eating like cottage cheese by itself. Actually, my mom does it too. So like they would be like, hey, you want some? And I didn't like it. I didn't like it when I was younger, but I kind of, I guess it's like an acquired taste. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> he's he's just nodding. <laughs> uh. So canned tuna. Um, I don't know how anyone feels about, like, canned tuna, but I don't really buy it as much anymore, but I think, like, some people still, like, eat it. Hello! Diophis! Hello! Hello! How was your stream? Hello, Raiders! How's it going? Hello! We're, we're, we're talking about food and stuff right now. <laughs> how was your stream? Hello, Raiders! Uh, my name is Tane. I am a succubus VTuber. Uh, I am an artist. I play a lot of like like a variety of games and like also do ASMR. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're doing some chatting. What were you chatting about? <laughs> we're talking about food that has kind of like lost popularity, I guess. <laughs> Cause I just I just ate an MRE. <clears throat> you wanna make tuna melt? I like tuna. It's been a while since I've had a tuna sandwich. Oh, binge watching some daily stuff of like internet after doing Genshin stuff. Oh, that sounds so nice. Ooh, that's so nice. Oh, everyone, um, we're doing a charity stream for Gamers Outreach Foundation. So, um, if you would like to donate, if you you can donate if you would like to, um, or if uh, if you if you can, that's that's okay as well. We're we're having like a very fun filled day today. Um, I have like all the goals and all the rewards right here. So, if anything interests you, if anything interests you, um. Yeah, <laughs> um, we have currently raised one thousand three hundred dollars, and that is very cool. Here, just a minute. Let me uh, let me switch over to here for just a moment, and I'll show you guys what the what the goals and everything are like. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm still gonna. Oh, why did why did it disappear? <laughs> uh oh, wait, why did why does it disappear? Oh, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do the boss fight very soon for Metal Gear uh, Rising. Yeah. There we go. 
Yeah, so these are all the rewards and everything. <laughs> Wait, so you make lasagna normal, but in the middle next to the meat layer, you add a layer of cottage cheese and it makes it- <gasps> I've heard about that, Xion! I've heard about put people putting cottage cheese in like lasagna. I want to try that. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Do it? I- uh, okay. I will have to find a recipe and I would love to- I would love to try that. <laughs> We're just like exchanging like food recipes now. <laughs> you're you're tempted to to snipe top dono. Oh my gosh! I mean, if if you if you are able to, you you can do it, Sphinx. If if you would like to, it is up to you. <laughs> it is up to you. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you. <laughs> also, uh. D Dialfest. Oh gosh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, uh, Dialfest. Dialfest. Um, uh, please get some rest after your stream, or if you need to get water or a snack or anything, I I understand. I I also get very tired after streams and everything. Oh, like Dio. Okay, okay, Dio. Okay, Dio. Dialfest. <laughs> Kono Dio. Kono Dio da. <laughs> Wait, we have a we have a Dio emo. There we go. <laughs> Oh, ricotta cheese. Oh, ricotta cheese is so good. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, uh, so right here. So, um, I ate an MRE. I'm going to write a poem about chat. I think I want to be a little bit more awake to do that. Just so I can, I can be at my best creatively. I will do it in iambic pentameter for you, chat. <laughs> I have a deal. I do. Um, I think I, 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 I set it as a bit emote. It is at 50 K bits because I need, I need to add some more. I need to add more emotes when I, <laughs> I am big pentameter. Oh, so like the whole, like, you know, Shakespearean kind of like rhythm here. I, you know what? Maybe I can one up it. I won't just write a poem about you, Chad. I can write a sonnet about you. <laughs> Um. Hmm. It's kind of funny. So I just googled this. Apparently, for iambic pentameter, it follows the heartbeat of a woman. <laughs> there's like a there's like a thing that's on Wikipedia about that. That's so funny. So it's supposed to have like the beat, basically. <laughs> so here i guess it's kind of hard to explain but iambic pentameter is like da dum da dum da dum da dum da dum when you're doing like poetry man i haven't oh, i haven't talked about poetry in so long since like actually um since like actually being in school i guess <laughs> also mercy honey honey i'm sorry i just i remembered that you had a honey two hours ago i will i will honey away honey hi honey Honey, honey, hi, honey, hi, honey, hi, honey, hi, honey. Here, um, I have an example here. Iambic pentameter. We we will get educational. Better my heart pound personed God for you, as you but knock, breathe, shine, and seek to mend, that I may raise. Rise and stand, overthrow me, and bend your force to break, blow, burn, and make me anew. Basically, it's like, in the English language, like, we, okay, we, we, like, talk up and down, we, like, yeah. <laughs> yes, I will, I will do, I will do a very nice poem about you, chat. You are confused? Okay, here, just a minute. Iambic pentameter is a type of metric line used in traditional English poetry or verse drama. Um, the term uh, describes the rhythm or meter uh, established by the words of the line. So rhythm is measured in small groups of syllables called feet. <laughs> this is educational. <laughs> Uh, here. Example, wait, let me see here. 
So it kind of like it's yeah, it's po it's poetry beat. Yeah. Here, you know what? I actually <laughs> funny thing, I actually did a lesson about this on Spirit University. I will pull up my slide for it here just a minute. <laughs> I actually did something on this. Let me see if I can find it. Um Hey, this is this wait, wait, wait. This yeah, this is my own content, so I'm allowed to play it. Here. Um Here, we can we can get educational. There. Um This is allowed because it's my own it's my own thing. Hello everyone. My name is Tane. I am your English succubus teacher, and we are going to talk about the basics of poetic devices oh i'm over here i should be over here poetic de <laughs> devices what are they yeah what what are poetic devices so we have rhythm alliteration oh i think somebody actually did this for me <laughs> okay so we got rhyme alliteration consonants um onomatopoeia illusion personification simile rhyme stanzas repetition I think I talked about it in stanzas. I think I did. Have is stanzas. So oh my gosh, I could have swore that I talked about it in like one of these. It was in one of them. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll play, I'll play the whole thing. Here, it's a, here. This is this is educational content. Hello everyone, my name is Tane, I am your English succubus teacher, and we are going to talk about the basics of poetic devices. Poetic de devices, what are they? So, they are literary devices used in poetry. So, they are essential tools to intensify a mood or feeling and show lots of different elements in the poetry. So, let's get started. I just want to I just wanted to say I did this all in like one take. <laughs> the first one we have is rhyme. Usually you hear lots of rhymes in poetry. So rhyming, here are two different examples of rhyme patterns. A A B B C C A B A B. So the sounds, they sound very similar and they are repeated over and over again. So I don't know if like you guys would do this in like your English classes, but this is what we would do for like for poetry stuff. You would look at the last words here and then you would see like for like if it's like A-B-A-B -A -B or like A-A-B-B -B, and like you would do like all the, you know, the rhyming and stuff. And see like what kind of pattern. in poetry. Sometimes there's rhymes, sometimes there's no rhymes. Let's go to the next one. Oh yeah. <laughs> What if I just phoned it in and did a haiku about you, chat? <laughs> we have alliteration. So alliteration is stringing at least three or four instances of the same <laughs> consonant sound together. So there's an example right here that I have. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> sometimes it can be invoking a sense of fear or suspense in poetry, but I think sometimes it could be a little funny too. I, I, okay, here's the thing. I love alliteration because I just think, it, yeah, like I said, it's, it, it could be funny. <laughs> Plus I think it's like just very satisfying when you see, when you hear like a lot of like, of the same, like beginning of like the sounds or like the letters. <laughs> it depends. Depends on the context. So let's go to the next one. We have assonance. So this means it's repeating the vowel sounds in poetry. So the example here I have is the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Has that like a sound, a. <laughs> and then we also have patience always pays. Has the repeating a sound. <laughs> So that's an example right e. there for assonance. <laughs> then we have consonance, which is the opposite. It's a repeated consonant sound at the end of the word near each other. So here's some examples right here. More men came home that day than we ever expected. She gave the big dog a hug. 
so that's so true raunchy yeah like because like especially in like rap music like there's so many amazing things that like rappers like do with like their wordplay and everything it's amazing there's the example of m and g being repeated there's also another one here a bond that transcends the beyond has the end there it is true of, yeah like, consonants is used sound. in like children's books a lot yeah so let's go to the next one automatopoeia so this is used to create an oral effect and mimic visual images so we have here they're basically sound words so when you think of splash or crash or maybe when animals say ribbit or when dogs say bark bark <laughs> so let's take a look we have gush hoot howl chatter and pop gushed hooted howled chattered pop it's kind of funny like when it comes to onomatopoeias because like every language has like their own onomatopoeia <laughs> like so like cats meow but like you know like for japanese like cats cats do like the yeah like sounds so and then like uh frogs in english go like ribbit ribbit but in japanese it's like ghetto 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 <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's kind of funny well yeah like because for like rap okay because if i'm not mistaken rap is like uh like rhythm and poetry right that's like what it stands for or i'm pretty sure or like yeah i'm pretty sure that's what rap stands for <laughs> So those are automatopoeia sounds. <laughs> so you should start doing English streams like this. Oh my God. The thing is like, okay. So like as an English teacher, I, I already do this every day and I'm, I get tired, but <laughs> I, I like, I feel like it would be fun to do like a couple of these maybe again, if I'm like in the mood to do it. <laughs> so there are effects <laughs> that are used in poetry. Next we have illusion. So it's a brief reference to a person, a character, historical event, work of art, and biblical or mythological situation. Usually in lots of poetry, there's biblical references, but here's some simple examples that are here. The professor is colder than Darth Vader. He's a real Romeo with the ladies. She fell for him knowing well that he is nothing less than a Casanova. So it's referring to other works of art. <laughs> Doing like waifu reviews and everything. Oh my God, is that a Jojo reference? I mean, don't, don't we all do that all the time as like anime fans? <laughs> Afraid of my students finding my art? No, because they don't know. <laughs> so that's what illusion is. Next, we have personification, attributing to human characteristics to inanimate objects, animals, or abstract ideas. I mean, it's up to you if you want to save it till now or later. It's completely up to you, Waffle. <clears throat> so uh. the example here is you are attributing human characteristics to things. The car danced across the icy road, but <laughs> car I actually okay wait okay I have I have a I have a moment I'm gonna write this down because I just had some inspiration the chat people danced <laughs> I'm gonna write that I I'm having a little bit of inspiration everyone <laughs> the chat or I'm gonna put it maybe more eloquently but the chat people dance <laughs> There we go. <laughs> the chat was very people happy. <laughs> I gotta get some like BTTV references in there. That's that's gonna be our illusion. <laughs> Cars cannot dance. The angry clouds marched across the sky, but clouds cannot be angry and they cannot march. The stars in the clear night sky winked at me, but stars do not wink. They sparkle perhaps. The tulip nodded their heads in the breeze, but tulips cannot nod. Only humans can do that. So that is personification. Next we have is simile. So using the words as or like to describe and compare other things. 
So here are some examples. Creeping as quietly as a mouse. Or you can be sly like a fox. <laughs> oh my god, only humans can nod nodders. Okay, wait. I need to I need to also put that in. The something nodders. There we go. <laughs> so we're using the words as or like to compare other objects or other things with each other. Next, rhythm. Rhythm can be described as the beat or the pace of a poem. Oh, you that's can... where I described iambic pentameter. It's like the rhythm. Oh, there we go. There we go. That okay. So I know. Yeah, some people were confused what I what what I said when I was like, "Yes, chat. I'm gonna write a poem about you in iambic pentameter." This is this is it, right? Like right there. Have stressed and unstressed syllables in the lines or verses in poetry. So, the most famous one is iambic pentameter. So, what is iambic pentameter? A line of verse with five metrical feet, each consisting of one short or unstressed syllable followed by one long or stressed syllable. We have an example right here. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? You can see the stressed and the unstressed syllables right here. <laughs> So, for an iambic pentameter... What do you mean? The, I, just, I just ate an MRE. I already, I already have them and it was delicious. <laughs> Each line of poetry has 10 syllables that alternate in unstressed and stressed rhythmic patterns. You can usually find these in sonnets. <laughs> yeah, the beast, the beast with two backs. Mm, I mean, I, I guess it would kind of be like a... It could be a metaphor because you're alluding to something. <laughs> Next, we have is stanzas. <laughs> so a stanza is a set of lines in a poem grouped together and set apart from other stanzas. Would it be called the toes? In the oh poem, my gosh. <laughs> either by double space or by different indentation. So there's lots of different types of stanzas. You can kind of think of them as very separate parts, almost kind of like little <gasps> mini you, paragraphs you, in poetry. You, Thank you for the so, follow. Hello, hello. Here are a few types of stanzas. Close couplet and all of <laughs> the videos making you sleepy. I will, I will, maybe I can make some more educational videos and then I can put you to sleep with unintentional ASMR. <laughs> okay, th that's kind of funny that you say that, Shion, because I, I used to be a, okay, I guess not a part of the Discord, but like I used to w look at this one Discord, um, a lot where it was like people would post asmr videos but this was before people were like promoting their asmr stuff right so like people would just like share like asmr like videos and stuff so people would actually have a tag where it was like unintentional asmr and people would post educational stuff in there so people can fall asleep <laughs> so in this like asmr subreddit people would also post like unintentional asmr basically <laughs> uh by a few others right here. There's stanzas of three lines, stanzas of four <laughs> lines, stanzas of five lines, stanzas of six lines, and stanzas of eight lines. <laughs> Next. So did you learn about stanzas, everyone? <laughs> we have is repetition. Repetition can be used <laughs> for lots and lots of ways in poetry. Aw, thank so you, Yuki. So here are some few simple examples here. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, woeful, oh, woeful, woeful day. <laughs> here, here, I'll give you, I'll give you an example of repetition. When you're, when you're playing Elden Ring and then people say, you do not have the right, oh, you do not have the right, oh, you do not have the right, oh, you do not have the right. <laughs> so we're emphasizing a point. A very, very specific point. Let's go to the next one. Hyperbole. So yeah, let you're it go, exaggerating let it go, let it go. something. You're exaggerating feelings or emotions. Maybe like an impression. So you're using something, but not literally. So here are some examples. He's running faster than the wind. <gasps> This big weighs a ton. Thank you for the follow. That man is as tall as a house. This is the worst day of my life. The shopping costs me a million dollars. So this is not to be taken literally. 
this is hyperbolic speech. You are exaggerating what you're saying. I'm giving a little bit of like a preface for what to expect with like the the chat um for the b -b 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 I write chat a poem about them. <laughs> Maybe the author is trying to exaggerate what they're trying to say as well. Hyperbole. Hyperbolic talk. Yay! Next we have cacophony. So this So point... I've I've heard it like both ways, like cacophony and also like cacophony. I've heard like both ways people say this, so yeah. It's to a situation in which there is a mixture of harsh <laughs> and inharmonious sounds. So some of the examples we have here. Here, I'll link the video. This is back when like uh Bobber, myself, Aki, and Dr. Mo did like Spirit University. We wanted to see if there was like a potential for VTuber education, but um it was like a fun project and we did it for a few months but then we got very busy um we wanted to see if it would do well but yeah i get um it's it's very hard to like make things work i guess <laughs> r p b d g k sh, and sh. there's an example here of lewis carroll's jabberwocky so you can see that there's lots of b's lots of g's so it's very intense language Beware of the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the fromius bandersnatch. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of like B's, D's, G's, the ch and sh. <laughs> Next. It's a, a jabberwocky opposite, sounds naughty. <laughs> euphony. So these have very pleasant and harmonious sounds. A lot of these sounds are L, M, N, R, and Y, but it's like E, like Y, E sound. So basically, this comes from a Greek word that means good sound, <laughs> euphony. So here's an example here of one of Shakespeare's sonnets, Sonnet 18. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see so long lives this and this gives life to thee so this sounds very very pleasant to the ears euphony and that is all we have for today so i hope you learned a little bit about basic Jabber poetic naughty. devices <laughs> i will see you next time make sure to subscribe to the spirit university youtube channel and i will see you next time take care everyone bye 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 bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye past Tane of uh of 2021. <laughs> bye bye past Tane. <laughs> uh, as a non-native English speaker, this is actually pretty useful. I came for entertainment and I'm getting schooled. Aw, <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you learned something. Um, didn't Tane and Ava do like a set? Yeah, Ava and I um I was on Ava's stream and we talked about bisexuality. I know that Ava did some streams about like um for like sex ed and stuff. I I feel like I would like to do some in the future. Um I think the thing is that like I'll have to think about like in a very specific way like how to go about doing it, I guess. <laughs> Cuz I know you have to like, you know, if you're going to talk about like sex, you have to talk about it in a very uh specific way without it being like too raunchy, I guess. <laughs> sex. <laughs>
Crunch Crunch is my tax man. <laughs> you love oh you love the cooking? Oh my gosh. I I'm I'm starting to love cooking more and more, like now that I've been like using like a lot of HelloFresh and everything. So like educational uh, education on sexual orientations would um, be like super useful. There's like all kinds of community. Yeah, I know that Ava's uh, doing that right now. She has like um, she has people on her stream um, who identify as like, um, you know, different sexual orientations and stuff. Um, she said that it was better to have like people talk about it who like, you know, who do identify as like certain things. So then like it's like you don't want to talk for somebody else, you know? I think it's I think it's like a good format that she's doing. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe if I happen to talk to some other VTuber friends, maybe they'll tell me too. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I think it I think it was really cool that like sh she did that for like Pride Month and everything too. How to pet your cat? Oh my god, <laughs> a cat is fine too. Speaking of taxes, if you're open to game ideas, there's a game that you played. Uh, Wait, what, ge what game is it? What game is it, Xion? It was an absolute gem. What what game? I, 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 I love buying Steam games and never playing them. <laughs> <laughs> right, right? <laughs> Am I right, everyone? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, freaking Monopoly. Monopoly, like, actually, like, ruins friendships. I, I I know people who will like refuse to play Monopoly. I know that um I know that I think Vivi actually said on like a few of her streams too she will like not play certain games because she gets too competitive like on her <laughs> like on her end too like I know that uh and even like playing Monopoly with some friends like IRL like Monopoly is like friend breaking. <laughs> uh, you wrote some poetry in your native language uh and you kind of want to write some in English um. I feel like, yeah, sometimes it's harder to write poetry in like different languages. I think we did, I think we did a little bit of that in French class too. And it was, it was kind of hard. <laughs> Off to detention. Mikey! Mikey, when will you learn? Hello, hello and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Mikey. <laughs> Enjoy your Saturday detention. My god. <laughs> Mikey causing trouble. You're causing trouble for the class, Mikey. What what what's up, French? I'm just I'm just coming by to visit or Oh, okay. <laughs> you just made it? Oh, I I just finished eating an MRE. Okay, what did what did we do so far? What did we do? Um I ate an MRE. We talked about Walmart. We talked about food. We talked about food that people don't usually eat anymore. We talked about the poetry because we achieved the goal for poetry and I will write a poem about chat when I'm feeling a little bit more creative. Hi Crunch. <laughs> he's like he's he's reading chat just like hmm. <laughs> uh did I beat Armstrong? No, I was actually just about to start up the game. I was just about to start up the game. Um so it's an easy um, one to two stream game. What is it? Uh, what is the game called, Xion? Um, is it Ben? Wait, what's what's the game called? I I don't know if you typed it. A waifu review. I've only shared vanilla flavored action Taimunin of waifu, so it's time. Uh, oh, Bunny Bunny Knight Ingrid. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Let's see what this bunny girl looks like. Oh, oh, she looks very nice. Oh my god, she is coomed on. I cannot show this on twitch.tv. <laughs> uh, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Oh, Crunch played that. Yeah, I, I actually wanted to play that. <laughs> Apparently it's like really meme -y. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. I wanted to play that game. It's a pretty good game. <laughs> I, I want to play that eventually. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's like very streamable. Okay, I would give her... Hmm. Wow, she is very, very exposed. Um, She looks nice though. I can't show this character on stream. Um, 
I give her 9 out of 10 fish tights. Fish net tights. How how how's that waffle night? I give her I give her 9 out of 10 fish net tights. <laughs> the true ending was amazing. Oh, there's different endings to that game? There's a couple different endings, nice. <laughs> it's time to hydrate. It's time to hydrate, yeah. Um Bunny Knight Ingrid, that's that's what I'm looking at right now. Uh yes, I give her 9 out of 10 fish uh fish net tights. <laughs> take a sip. I will definitely take a sip. Yeah, I don't think I can show any of them on stream, realistically. <laughs> I see her with like um I see her with what uh vanilla ice cream all over her face, so you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was eating mayo. Oh my gosh. I remember for like Hazel's charity stream, she she froze mayo and ate it. I, she said it tasted disgusting. I'm kind of curious, but <laughs> I'm Tony PS1 era. Yeah, I, I, I've been using this model for a while now. I like it. I like this model. <laughs> um, OK, time to play some Metal Gear Rising. Um, oh my God, I can't believe it's already five o'clock. Or rather, like, 5.16. Where just where does the time go? Where does the time go? Um... Wait, what? What sounds like a... Wait, what, what sounds like a girl DM stream? What? Turnip boy commits tax, ev tax evasion? Or... <laughs> Oh the, fr oh, the frozen mayo. Okay. <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah, Hazel Hazel did that on her stream when uh, when she did her charity stream. Oh, hydrate and stretch. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Uh, the jiggles. Um, this is how this is how much I jiggle. I, I jiggle a lot more in VR chat, though. <laughs> With the uh, with the one model with the eyes and the mouth not moving, this is as much as I can jiggle. <laughs> my my booba is very pointy, just like uh, or uh, I think I have slightly more rounder polygon booba compared to Lara Croft. <laughs> High Moon and Smasher Pass. I I don't know anything about the characters. I would just have to go off like looks and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that song. I've been hearing that like all over on like I, I think it was like either TikTok and people like uploading it to like Twitter for like short videos. My money don't jiggle jiggle. <laughs> oh, I had to sneeze. <laughs> booba in live 2d oh wait wait till you see my booba in live 2d oh my god i cannot wait oh my gosh how many how many models do i have um i i have a few um do you want me to do a model show and tell <laughs> here i'll have to change some of the settings though here i have to change some of the settings here, I'll do a small one. Here, the thing is, like, I have, like, I, ha I do have live 2D and I have, um... <laughs> show and tell, do you do you want to see a model show and tell before we get into Metal Gear Rising? <laughs> um, okay, here. We got original. I need to fix the arms, though, because I need to actually have the arms out for, like, the... <laughs> I have to have the arms out for the regular, um, PS1 model <laughs> just a minute um where was the arm angle there it is 80 that's good uh, i had to sneeze again there we go there we go Now T pose? Oh my god! I mean, I probably could. Give me, give me a moment. I will, I will assert dominance over you. 
Give me just a moment. Arm Ango. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna T pose on you, everyone. I'm assert I'm asserting my dominance. But yeah, the j the jiggle though. <laughs> Here. Uh let me do what was it what was the settings again? Uh where is it? Gay strength? Interesting. Where's the arm angle? Oh, there it is. Okay. Back to like 80. 80 is like a fine, I think. Yeah, I got I got fangs. I got I got fangs. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. Oh. The eyes, yeah. <laughs> do we do we like a little bit of like a model show and tell? Why not? I feel really happy. Like this this model is like the one that I got. Like this is like this is OG model. This is OG model from like 2020, so <laughs> Oh OG model. And I've been I've I've been still like using it like a lot. I like it. <laughs> you want the orb hands? Okay, here give me well, you know what? Let me before we get to the orb hands, before before we get to the orb hands, um here, I'll show you my uh my my office lady outfit. From Spirit University. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in teacher mode. The thing that's nice about like, cause like for Vroid and everything, you get to actually like um, get to actually like switch clothes like pretty easily and stuff. But swimsuit. swimsuit here give me give me two seconds yeah you want the ore pans really bad okay here swimsuit i had to reduce the booba size though because like the swimsuit was really ridiculous like i wanted to make sure that there was like enough coverage for like twitch.tv <laughs> swimsuit yeah yeah i i reduced the booba size on it because it was too powerful <laughs> Plus, like, it, um, I wanted the ruffles to kind of, like, uh, come in nicely right there, so, yeah. I got my, uh, I got my sandals, too. Discord stream full-size, booba. Oh, gosh. When I had a little bit more time, this was like, uh, this is, oh gosh, uh, this was like when I was working at home and everything, I was able to have like a lot more time to kind of like put different outfits like on my character and everything. <laughs> I mean, on myself, ha ha ha. <laughs> well, that's the thing, I wanted to make sure that it was like, you know, appropriate enough, you know? You came back to something wonderful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the belly? Oh my god, right? Belly button? Isn't the belly button so nice? <laughs> belly button. Um, let's see here. Uh oh right, I got the maid one. <laughs> Go change you 
Sama, welcome home. <laughs> welcome home, Nya. <laughs> so the person, oh my, oh, my hands are like going right through the thing. <laughs> Um, so the person that did this maid dress is the person who did my model. Honey. Hi, honey. Welcome welcome home, honey. Don't worry. I cleaned up your room for you. Don't worry. I put your naughty magazines away. It's okay. I didn't I didn't look at them much. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> But yeah, I think, uh, what was it? The shoes were nice, too. And the apron, the design on the apron and, like, the, the color. The coloring is really nice. Like, pretty nice for, like, a V-Roid model, you know? With, like, the pattern and stuff. Draw Tane and ma Maid. Ooh, I would love to see it. I would love to see that. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. There we go. And uh, this is for Halloween. When when Halloween comes around, I like to wear this one. The skirt's a little little short too. We got some, uh, we got some absolute zone as well. Yeah, the shoes, the shoes match really nicely with, uh, with this. So, like, for, like, the early days of VTubing and everything, you would buy these, like, on booth. I mean, people still do this. You can buy stuff on booth and you put them on your avatar, like, on your Vroid avatar. And that's why, like, a lot of people would have, like, different dress-up, like, stuff. Like, it would be kind of like a dress-up doll, you know? So you can, like, put a lot of stuff, like, on your on your model. I think even for this one, I reduced, uh, I reduced the booba size. Just so, like, it didn't look very odd with, uh, with the pattern and everything. <laughs> Tane is our dress-up darling. Oh my gosh, darling. What are you going to put me in now? <laughs> uh let's see here uh this one i used for new year's yeah new year's time it's kind of funny because it kind of looks like sakura miko's like um outfit a little bit Oh, I didn't put... An oh, shoot. Oh, I thought I put nail polish on. Oh, maybe I put... No, I think I put pink nail polish on for this one. Elite outfit. Yes, yes. Very, very elite outfit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what were some of the other ones? Um. Oh, uh, the one that I did on my birthday subathon... <laughs> this is the you 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 guys know what this is. <laughs> uh I guess you can you can kind of see a little bit in the back there, but you know, you know, you know. V yeah, VKS. VKS, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can kind of see um you can kind of see my toesies. You can see my toesies through the through the tights. <laughs> oh, you like you like oh I I like the ring too. Oh sh oh you no 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 you didn't you didn't see anything. Yeah the 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 ring that's like right where the tights are. But the tights are a good idea because uh yeah, there's still there's still something there. There's still something there.
Don't worry, I'm a Barbie doll. I have I have no I have no bits under here. <laughs> I I am a very smooth Barbie doll. <laughs> I know, that's why like for the sofa you can only have it above. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um Oh, Usaki chan. Hey, did anybody say some, uh, need some Sagoi Dekai? <laughs> Sagoi Dekai. The only thing is that with this one, I can never figure out that, like, it still clips on, like, the, the arms a little bit. It doesn't fit, like, very snugly, I guess. <laughs> Sugoi de Kai. Yeah. Boing boing. <laughs> yeah. Sugoi de Kai. Yeah. Big, big, big. <laughs> very, very, very big. Usaki-chan was a, was a very cute show. I, I liked it. Uh, okay, let's see. I have another... Let's see. Oh, Christmas time. Hey! Christmas in July? Anyone? Is it... It's time to get naughty? <laughs> it's time to get naughty. When, wouldn't you like to be the G? Wouldn't you like to be the G? <laughs> Christmas time. Yeah, Chris, Christmas comfy. Krampus? Oh my god. Krampus time. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And... Okay, we got Yakuza. Yakuza. When, when Crunch and I were uh, doing Yakuza and everything, when we were playing Yakuza, we were like, yes, we need to have some Yakuza outfits. I might even like switch to this like if I have like a Yakuza playthrough. There's like there's like a thing on the back. Like it's kinda hard to see because of like the hair, but you know. <laughs> I got like the acid wash pants. I played Yakuza uh well like it was on Crunch's channel. On Crunch's channel we played Yakuza. No, 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 it's okay. It was on Crunch's channel. I don't know if he saved the VODs, though. Yeah. So Crunch also has, like, a Yakuza outfit as well. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, he has a green one. I got I got, I got a red one. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh... Ah, okay. Here we go. Um... We got the, yeah, this is the, the low poly adventure time. Adventure time, come on, grab your friends. We'll go to very distant lands. The orb hands. I love, I love this model. <laughs> I love it so much. I think it's, I, I think it's cute. <laughs> The return, the return of the orb hands. <laughs> also, uh, Pandy made an MMD of our characters like together, so I, I really liked that uh, they did that. <laughs> when uh, when I got this uh, commission from uh, Virtual Pandy, uh, uh, I asked for an. Uh, a Miku Miku dance video. I, I don't think I can show it on stream, um, but I can, uh, because we're probably going to be on, like, the front page and everything. Uh, this is, like, the last day we're going to be on, like, the Twitch front page, but I can, like, show it, like, again, like, after this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I would put my hand tracking on, but, uh, sometimes it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> Yeah, it brings out the mam tuber. The mam tuber. <laughs> Stretch. 
Ah, oh, a big stretch. <laughs> yeah, so I use uh, I use this model in VR chat. <laughs> I think I think it's cute. What model is this? This is a low poly one that I got uh, commissioned by Virtual Pandy. I have all the I have all the links below for all the uh, models that I've commissioned before. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is the one. This is Chain Tan version one. This is the one that we had before. This was the one back in October. This was the one back in October. It doesn't like the mouth doesn't really uh, move and the eyes don't uh, move too much either. So uh, this was like the this was like the original one. And then I got uh, I got some people to help me. I got Grayla to help me put it into VR chat and I got a uh, kite to help me make it into a VRM. <laughs> So it's still like the same one as the other model, but it doesn't have like like a movable face, basically. <laughs> hey, Fusion. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Hello. 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 We're doing like a little bit like of a model showcase. OK, so this is the one that you guys see that I'm currently like using. Actually, I'm going to set the arms back. Let me see here. It was like 60 i think yeah i need to bring the arms um out a little bit for this one yeah so this is the one so this is the one that has a currently like moving tail and this is the one that has like this one is like another one but the tail just doesn't move i like the one with the moving tail i think it was really nice that they did that for me <laughs> let's see let's go back to that one but I do have uh, two of like the live 2D ones um, as well. I got like uh, here. I would have to close down this program, but I can I can open uh, VTube Studio though. Yeah, I like I like the moving tail. The moving tail's nice. Here, so um, I can't use both at the same time. For some reason, you can't use like a because I think they're using like the same webcam. You can't use the 3D and the 2D at the same time. So I'll have to open uh, VTube Studio then. Okay, VTube Studio is booting up. Although, sometimes I have to open VTube Studio, like, before... Um, starting stream, because, like, for example, I don't think VTube Studio is being recognized on my OBS right now. Here, you know what? I'll just I'll just do this. Um, give me two seconds. I think I'll have to just switch the background. Here, I'll give you a little inside on VTube Studio, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see here. Here, I'll just use a different background. Let's use Moon Cityscape. Uh, city. I think I have Cityscape on here. Skyline. There we go. Um, and then you activate the camera. Oh my god, it's my face. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so there's uh there we go. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes like because like if I were to go here, VTube Studio doesn't recognize it, which is really weird. I have to I have to start the app before like before streaming, which I find rather annoying. And I don't know if there's like a way past that. Uh, uh, why is my mouth not moving? That's weird. Uh, why is my mouth not moving? <laughs> mouth sensitivity. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess I just had. Oh, it's okay. Here's the here's the annoying thing about VTube Studio. Uh, I think you have to like keep your microphone like uh, away from your mouth. <laughs> or I think there was like a thing that you can change where your microphone input is coming through. Uh... 
yeah it's super annoying it's not uh, that's the thing you have to like have the the app open before you start streaming this so yeah you have to decide like what you're going to do <laughs> um where was the mic there was a microphone thing i think at one point where you could choose what your microphone is there was a th uh, there we go yeah i am using this microphone so it's not recognized. Maybe I have to like raise the voice. Uh, it's not recognizing my mouth tracking for like this one. Uh, so I have to like open my mouth really wide <laughs> for this one. But maybe that would change like when I use the iPhone because I'm using my I'm using my webcam right now. So yeah, yeah. I I don't know. Maybe I have to like raise the volume. Preview microphone. Oh oh, go oh, oh gosh, microphone audio. <laughs> Yeah, no, the volume should be fine. Um, yeah, there we go. Anyways, that's uh, there we go. Ah, oh. there. Angie. Sad. Oh no. Don't come late to class. I would I would hate if you came late to class. Oh. <laughs> and then oh, how dare you show your teacher that? And then uh, there's kind of like the, ooh, smooth face, ooh. Or like the uh, sultry eyes. And then a blush. And then I can have my, uh, I can have my glasses off. I think the four resets everything. Uh, yeah. And I have another one uh, here too. Some people have probably already seen it because I've I've accidentally revealed something <laughs> before. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, VTube Studio is weird because you have to actually open it before you use OBS. Like, so if you start streaming and you don't have it on, it's kind of odd. Uh, okay. Ah, the very Yabai podcast. <laughs> Yeah, it's the chippy one. I love I love using this one. I'm so happy that I was able to commission this with uh, from Crone. Go check out the podcast. This is this is like the ones that we use like during the podcast and everything. <laughs> yeah. Boing. I'm I'm very boing boing. <laughs> I feel like around at this time, like when Crone was like making these, um, that's kind of like when chibi, like, uh, VTuber models were starting to become popular. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine, like, what everything's gonna look like, um, like, when, uh, I, I hook up the, the iPhone. <laughs> my, my plan is, like, later, later tonight, I'm gonna possibly have a call with like my rigger so then i can like set up the iphone like properly and everything because i have no idea how <laughs> anything's gonna get set up here <laughs> boing boing <laughs> crone is so talented i love crone i my gosh they have they they work so hard uh i think it's crone underscore co there we go yeah crone's artwork <laughs> Yeah, Crone did, uh, like, my, uh, alert animations and the animated emotes that you guys see, too. Yeah. <laughs> can you- can you go back to normal? No! <laughs> because you said that, I'm not going to. <laughs> can you go back to normal? No! No! <laughs> what- what is my normal? I have so many models. I don't- I don't have a normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, st I'll stay this way forever. Mm -hmm. Just- just the spi- here's the thing. <laughs> I don't like it when people tell me what to do. <laughs> if, 
if you tell me something, I'll be like, no, I'm not gonna, do, I'm not gonna do that thing. <laughs> Pearl, Pearl said that um, that could be kind of like a brat thing, I guess. Like being, yeah, be like, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> nope, it's a, it's a gremlin stream now. No, nope. no more, no more normal Tane. <laughs> Sassy. Yeah. I bring I bring the sass. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> kind of nice with VTube Studio because you can kind of like um you can switch the backgrounds. So like for example, like I have another background that like uh Freya did for me. Let me see if I can Oh shoot, I think I moved it actually. Oh outrun. <laughs> Oh, there's like a there's like a few backgrounds that like Freya has done. And it's like so cool. I love I love Freya's work. Freya, Freya is a wonderful graphic designer. <laughs> Anime won't you can't stop me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. I was gonna go to this moonscape. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I commissioned this one from Freya. Like when Freya was like uh, first starting out and everything, like, cause this is funny. Like I commissioned this from Freya and then like, she was like, wait a minute, Tane, I will give you another one because I have improved. And I was like, what? And then she gave me this after and I was like, oh my God, Freya. <laughs> I mean, I like I like both of them um, in like different like in different ways. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all gorgeous. <laughs> uh, Freya has like a lot of like like free backgrounds and uh, everything like over on her uh, uh, coffee account and stuff. And actually, I was thinking of downloading more. Because I really like uh, all the backgrounds and overlays that she does. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I think uh, some some of these are like the default. Oh, I put some like video files in here too. Wait. Uh, cookie. No, oh, wait. I think that's the default one that comes with VTube Studio. Oh, that's a that's a default one. <laughs> just just playing with V2 Studio. <laughs> uh. Oh, and then you can like insert things. Insert background things. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you are you getting mad that I'm having fun with my backgrounds? <laughs> Oh yes, yeah. We'll we'll go to uh we'll go to uh Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. We'll go to Metal Gear Rising. I'm gonna Yeah, just I'm just gonna just chill out for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's like a lot of different uh pure white. I I am I am on a canvas. Oh my gosh, there was so much coom everywhere. Oh, let's like, see. Look, now there's now there's a wholesome uh llama. Hmm. See, whole wholesome. The wholes wholesome stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're a family friendly stream now. But uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately with VTube Studio, you can only like have it on before you start your stream. So I usually have to decide if I want to have like a 3D model or 2D model before starting to stream. So here, let me go back to, I think it was green. Yay. The green default. 
anyway um here i'll go back to this uh because i was using my 3d avatar before llamas are so cute there's um llamas and uh alpacas alpacas are really cute and fluffy i think for like alpacas there was always like those cute like alpaca like um plushies <laughs> let's see here okay we're back <laughs> we're back baby Time to uh, struggle with a boss fight. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think I should be okay. Like right, right here. Right here should be okay. But yeah. Um, let's see. I got my water and everything. If you would like to donate to the charity. we This is day three. This is day three of uh, the charity for the Gamers Outreach Foundation. So... Uh, let me see here. And if you want to see the goals, the goals are right here. Okay, let's get started with some Metal Gear Rising. Cut the BGM. Okay. Uh, for the memes. For the memes. I think the model, um, the model showcase was fun. <laughs> I don't get to do that often. Uh, I think I can take off the display capture for these now. Uh, now we're getting into the game. Here we go. So you fell asleep. Um, yes, I beat Sam. I beat Sam. I am on the last boss. I'm fighting the senator. And I don't think I can upgrade anything and I'm kind of worried. Here, actually, I should go over here. Uh, I'm scared. You know what? Fuck this war. I just want you dead. I don't know what his moves are gonna be, so. Um... This is how I work. I also have the mariachi outfit on. Oh, oh. oh shoot! <laughs> How is he gonna... The thing is, like, I don't have any health, so I don't know how this is gonna work. So it does do damage to him for the quick time event, so that's good. He morphed. the yellow one. At least I don't think so. Let us 
certain point he will allow you to have health. Oh, dead guy! Hey, I hope you're doing well. Oh no! You have to do it in a specific... Oh my god. You have to... Oh my god, it's like the fight with what's-his-face. You have to... Oh my gosh. You have to... You have to do it in like... I just reacted fast, but you have to do it in a specific slice. Okay, okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Oh, shoot. Ow. Oh, right. I like it. I blocked too early. I can't block that one for whatever reason. I can't block like the one where he like goes big red. It does the red thing, but it doesn't seem like you can uh, block it though. Oh, what the? Cannot be. Uh, what? Guys, what happened? You are supposed to be stronger than this. Okay. Oh my god, jeez. I can't avoid that either, so I gotta block that one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's gonna do the thing. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think you can block that. Or it doesn't seem like you can. Ow. What the? Oh Raiden, my god. Raiden? Raiden! I mean, the music is good though, so I hope you guys are jamming out to the music. <laughs> I like you, so I'm giving you another time. Oh, he likes me. Oh my god. Oh, it like follows you. Oh shoot. Oh my god, I ran into that one. Come on, buddy. Answer me. Ryden? Ryden! Ryden, Ryden, no! Oh my god. I just gotta straight up avoid him. It's not possible to block that one. Okay. It, it didn't block with the directional button? Strange. Let's roll! Answer me! 
So he does it like two times. He's gonna do another one. Okay. Oh. Okay, and he's gonna do a thing. avoid that one even though it's like in red oh my god <laughs> the game always does this to me oh my gosh give me two seconds this game has always just not wanted to <laughs> give me two, give me seconds. it keeps crashing my program Yeah, it, ke it keeps crashing my program. Um, give me a moment. for now. Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, it did this to me last time too when it's like I had to like... It switched to like keyboard? Okay, okay. PNG power! Okay, so that one you can avoid, but you can't avoid the other red. You can't avoid this one. Yeah. like what his faces are gonna be like. Oh no, this is the one where I you can't avoid him. Oh boy. Okay, no, 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 I did avoid him. Okay. Okay. This one you can't avoid. Oh, frick. I can't remember what per percentage you have to get down for this. I have like no health though, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Where the frick is my sword? Speed? Go on top though? Oh frick. Oh no. What? What's wrong? Ah. Come 
Oh, buddy, answer me. Write it. Write it. <laughs> the mariachi off is so fun. I love it. Okay, if I am PNG, then I will be okay. My game will not... Oh. You throw stuff at 150? So it's 150, huh? Okay, so you're gonna... What's he gonna do? Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Oh no. Oh, it follows you! What the heck? Oh my god. Jeez. Can't avoid that one. You're supposed to be stronger than this. Oh, he's he's difficult, man. Okay. <laughs> if you need to focus, feel free not to talk. Oh my god, I feel bad if I'm not talking though. Like, oh man. Imagine if a dude just like threw fire at you. What would you do? Not talk, I guess. Oh, I avoided that. I blocked that. Oh. Okay. Oh, he did too! Oh no, he's doing the thing. Oh, I thought he would come after me. Oh. Okay, don't want to fall into that attack because he grabs you. Don't grab me, bro. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. Oh, I didn't get away in time. Oh my god, how do you avoid that? I did a few times, but man, okay. Okay. Ugh. Just like those ones I can dodge. Okay. Don't grab me. Okay, that one you can't- you can't avoid that one. You cannot avoid that one. Oh, frick. Okay. No, no, I'm not playing on hard. I'm playing on normal. I'm playing on normal. Is he gonna come at me? I, I hit, I hit the directional button to dodge him. Oh my god. Okay. I just want to get past his first phase again. Is he gonna come at me? Okay, I got him that time. Okay. You gonna come at me? Oh no, I can't avoid that one. Oh, 
Oh my god. I use the directional button to block that, and yet it does not recognize it all the time, I guess. I. Oh my god. I hit the directional button to block. Oh my god. monsoon fight like when you put the directional button and then you try to like do the block the parry ready or not Jack. Here we go. oh man i was trying to get away from that oh Oh my god. It doesn't want- why doesn't it want to parry anymore? Why does it not want to parry? Not that one. Dodge move. Dodge move. Like that? So he still gets you with that, though. What happened? What is going on? Raiden, answer me! Raiden! Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> You're going down! I don't think you can avoid this, though. So get behind him and do that? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, frick. Oh, I got, I got in the volcano thing. <laughs> Everywhere. Holy crap. Ah, okay. It's 
gonna do it twice, I think. Or it looks like he would do it twice. everyone know. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be good to stretch the thingies. platforms or he is going to do that to you. Which plan is it going to be? Nice to know what camera angle it goes to, like when you're uh, picking up your sword, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of wondering at what point is the, the fight's going to checkpoint. You know what? Okay, no greedy, no no greedy. Oh, it's here. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't get the second one there. It was close. No greedy, no greedy. wasn't line enough to where I was standing. <laughs> what? The angle was not lining up to where I was. Oh my god. Oh, this game sometimes. Okay, I'll take a break after this one. I 
I don't like when they have like a move that like kind of like juggles you when you're like trying to break out of their combo. Okay. going to be okay. Maybe I have to raise my camera up a little bit? What? It doesn't- No! 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 Ryan! Okay, wait. Wait. I did say I, did say I was going to take a break. Okay. Give me- Give me just a moment. I'm going to get some more water. I am determined. I'm going to eat some- Salty corn nuts, because I am salty. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. Be right back. Be right back.
Hello. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to turn on the microphone. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I just I just realized I was muted. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It should go to the game. Hello? Huh. The game doesn't want to... Oh, there we go. There we go. I was like, what? Hello? Game? <laughs> The mouse pad, you love you love it, don't you? I drew it myself. <laughs> okay, I got water. <laughs> I got water. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Hello, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you're enjoying the music. Oh. Man, I'm just trying to like think about I don't know just how to go about doing this how fucking incredible is this game Un really incredible really incredible <laughs> okay <gasps> you gotta go to work oh yeah no worries sir hawk thank you so much for coming by I hope you have a good day and I hope your uh, your day at work goes really fast for you Slow and steady, slow and steady. Don't get impatient, don't get impatient. Oh. Oh, I can still block that. Oh, he stumbled! Oh shoot, I should have took advantage of that. Oh no. I held the directional button. That was kind of weird. Okay. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I pressed the wrong button. No. Oh my god, Doom! 5,000 bits, thank you! Oh my god! Oh my god, Doom! Oh my gosh, 5,000 bits! Wait, why'd my, my, why'd my sound alert not come up? Did it not? Did my sound alert not come on? I swear that every time I use a charity stream overlay, it, like, I can't hear some of my alerts. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Here, let me. There shall be no chill. <laughs> there shall be no chill. <laughs> Thank you for 5,000 bits. Oh my God, that's so much. Thank you. Oh. It did play? Oh my God, I didn't hear, I didn't hear it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I made sure to replay. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Oh. oh. Can't avoid this. Oh. I can't avoid that second one for some reason. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh. That's how you do that. Okay, except for the volcano one. I won't do the volcano one, but... Yeah, let's go! Where's my sword? There's my sword. Oh, he's gonna do the thing! He's gonna do the thing! Okay. He's gonna do the thing. 
Oh god, I'm scared. I can't. Why you want to do the other side? Why want to do the other side? I don't understand. I don't understand why he doesn't do the other side. It's like a left stick, right stick thing. Ugh. 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 What? Raging 24 7. I I am eternally raging. I have a fire built up in me, in my heart. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I hope everyone's ex oh yes, I I I Yeah. Run. <laughs> Run. Run. You know what? Every time I see a light, I'm just gonna avoid it. Whoa! He doesn't like that? He doesn't like that! Oh, interesting. Oh. Why doesn't his pants come off? If, he's, if his shirt, like, ripped off white? This can't be happening. Ride it! Ride it! Because I think that's what I did with Sam. I was just, like, doing the jumpy thing. I still... Why... Can't avoid... Some of those, even though I'm trying to block. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. <gasps> he stumbled! <gasps> he mad. Oh no. Right. Oh, oh, frick. Call when he answer me. Right it? Right it. He's so mad. He's I very like mad. Still can't avoid the red ones for... Sometimes I can, but... I'm doing the directional button, but... I don't know. What do you mean? I have all the skills. I have every single skill. Oh my god. I did it right when I came close to him. I can't... Okay, there we go. Gonna 
do. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're on normal difficulty. <laughs> he looks like such a JoJo character. <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. Quick time events. Quick time events. It's not aligned right to where I'm standing. Oh, it's not. Why? It's not aligned a right. A, a right? It's not aligned a right. Ah. I was trying to move the camera during one of those. Oh. I think I was, like, during one of them, I was trying to move the camera, and it just wasn't... Oh, my God. Okay. Again. Okay. Let's try it again. I can at least get him to that other phase. Kind of. If I take my time with him, kind of. Oh, frick. Oh, he did approach me. Okay. He didn't approach me that time. Okay. You're not gonna... Oh, frick. Ow. Are you gonna approach me? He goes through his volcano? Ow. <laughs> like, I can move the camera like this, but I can't do it during the cutscene for some reason. Tonight at 11, U.S. Senator fights Mexican Cyber Ninja. <laughs> Could you imagine Twitter would just explode? Okay, is he gonna... Ow. Holy... I'm hearing like some of his things better, but it depends. Oh. 
do oh, he does it like if you if he doesn't do your sword thing. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. See, I can do that, but I can't move this one. See, look at this. I can't do it. I don't know why I can't move the camera. I can't move the camera. <laughs> Oh. oh, I can't move the camera. <laughs> oh. I, I can do the first one. I can't do the second one. And I don't know if it's the game or not because I can't move the camera. <laughs> oh, okay, again. I, I, will, I will do it with both joysticks. I will do it with both joysticks. Okay. Let me get to the second phase. So he does too. Oh, I actually got him there. No. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, jeez. No. Ow. So what was it? It was like at, uh, at what percentage was it at again? Oh, frick. This can't be happening. Right it? No, I'm using both. No, I'm using both joysticks. I'm using both joysticks. Ow. I forgot he did too. You gonna come at me or? Nano machine, son. Nano machines. Can this fire just like stop? Okay, thank you. It was around 60, right? I think it's around 60. So then he goes back. Gotta get the blade. And then he might do the thing? Maybe? Yeah, he's gonna do the thing. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna do both joysticks. Okay, I'm gonna do both. Okay. So it's this. And then... Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go! Okay! Oh my god! Ah! Double six! It let it let me do it! Oh. Gimme! Oh thank you! Oh thank you! Oh thank you! Oh th oh oh Nano pace. Oh, oh the nano pace. Oh the nano pace. Oh the nano pace. Oh the oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh nano pace. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh. 
What's his moves? What is his moves gonna be now? Different. Oh god. Are they? How different are they gonna be? Oh god. Oh. Okay. But I. What, what is that? What is? What is this? What is this? Oh. Wait. It said it wanted me to do that though. Oh, he's healing! Oh, he heals! Okay. I just noticed. Okay, bosses are not allowed to heal. That is not fair. Bosses are not allowed to heal. He doesn't like that move. Oh, he, he's doing the thing. Ow. No. No. Okay, that was wasted. Oh my god. He's so strong! Is he gonna do the, the, the thing again? Where I get more nano pace? Ow. Nano machine, son! Oh my god, he has such powerful nano machines. Oh god. He has such powerful nano machines. Oh. What the flick? No. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I tried to... Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God, why doesn't it avoid the second one? Oh, God. Oh, it didn't do it! Oh, no. What is he doing? Another phase where he like no. Ow, frick. Ow. What happened? No! What is going on? Oh my god, this stupid firewall! <laughs> Firewall. <sighs> yeah, tips are fine. Oh no. It 
It's hard to avoid the second one he does, though. Oh my god. for a moment, just a minute. Mm, I mean, yeah, that'd be better for like, the thing is like when he's doing the red attack, it's, it's gonna be faster, so it's hard to lend ripper mode on him appropriately. <laughs> Bring him down to like the first phase again. Oh my god. Oh shoot! Oh my god, why did I go into the smaller area? Why did I go into the smaller area? My god. You're supposed to be stronger than this. Shut up. Is he gonna do the second one? No. Oh, still fast. Oh. How do you stop trying to make him heal when he's in green, though? Oh, I should have probably let him hit me because it was a quick time attack maybe that time. Maybe it was a quick... Um, a so you slice his back. Okay. Good to know. Okay. He's gonna- okay, he's gonna do the thing, he's gonna do the thing. Okay, 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 okay. messed up with the camera. I, I messed up with the camera. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go again. Let's go again. I didn't do Jack the Ripper mode. Oh my god. Ow. Oh, 
more dropped.
No! You're not allowed! You're not allowed to freaking heal! I'm only allowed to heal! I'm the Protag! I'm the anime Protag! Scenes, yes or no? <laughs> oh, maybe not. You guarantee the status quo will go on for a while longer, at least. <gasps> I'm so happy. I did it. I did it. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand, <gasps> causes <gasps> they don't believe in. They don't believe in the memes, Jack. <laughs> Oh my god. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. <gasps> you carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. Uh, is Riding gonna be a senator now? <laughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives. So be it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, he has like a nano machine heart. Oh my god. Oh, so badass. <laughs> Deep inside, we're kindred <gasps> spirits. Oh. And I. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, Raiden, I feel you. 
<laughs> I don't care what score I got. Oh, I got a B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Fusion, thank you for the 150 bits. Thank you. <gasps> okay, Tassandai Shori. Great victory. Great victory. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The, the reason why I wanted to pause was because... Um, give me two seconds. Oh. You killed the United States Senator of Colorado. <laughs> Yay! We destroyed... Uh, a portion of American values, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. Now I can... There we go. Concentration methods. <laughs> also, the game ke just kept uh, going down when I was like this. There we go. Oh, so stress, stressful. Polygon time, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like myself again. <laughs> oh my god, that was intense. That was very intense. <gasps> I unlocked Mora <gasps> Sama Blade. Nice. Oh, a wig? <laughs> I got a wig? <laughs> Okay. <gasps> oh! Devin Lich, thank you so much for 14 months? Oh my god, 14 months. Thank you. B for Boopa? <gasps> oh, the chap oh, the chapter I got a C, but I in the in the fight I got a B though, so that's okay. <laughs> thank you so much for 14 months. Thank you for being with me for 14 months. My gosh, that's a long time. <laughs> Official pet ride for your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI military intelligence agency. Oh, thank you for saying that, Matt. Matt, Matt O'Matic, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, I did my best. <laughs> for the last time, let it go, Courtney. Oh, pizza. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Raiden. 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 There he is. Doop, doop. <laughs> I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. Oh my gosh. Are you sure this isn't child labor? The older bra uh, children can work now. <laughs> the brains. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. The brains. <gasps> Another clip. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance. Yeah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. An imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. Mm. A peaceful application. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the hydration. <laughs> Definitely need to hydrate after that fight. <laughs> so much fire. You care. Well, <laughs> recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oh, stretch. Oh, thank Oi. you. Sunny! Where you have this then? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Why, why do they give him subtitles under subtitles? Like, 
Oh, this spaceship? Yeah, genius girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're hot for days. You're hot for days, girl. <laughs> Oh shoot, jeez. Oh my gosh. Jesse, thank you for the five. Alert. Alert. Oh, oh, the dog goes okay. Oh, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. For me, see that ninja. Me never think a bit this kind of life. gifted a tier one to Suzera's malady. Huh? He rescued me, me too, you know. Twenty-one gifted a tear Saved once my life. Cat Speedo. I owe him everything. <laughs> I I have to I have to say that to other VTuber uh, friends now. Just be like, you're hot for days, girl. <laughs> you're hot for days, girl. I know all about his past. <laughs> yeah, those pieces of paper are huge. <laughs> and he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... <gasps> ...is a hero. He's a hero. <gasps> she she just looks so Final Fantasy to me. <laughs> He's such a hero. Aww. Amazing. Oh, that's the credits? I wonder if there's like an... Do you think there's an ending scene, everyone? Oh my gosh. What a... What a ride. What a ride in. Ha ha ha. What a ride of a game. So there is after credits? Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh, we got some music too. Oh. Let's go! I love when there's post credit scenes. <laughs> Did I enjoy it? I highly enjoyed it. I feel like I have um, became more of a gamer. <laughs> You're glad that I gave up on the Fox Blade? I am too. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to have, I don't know, did anything um, if I didn't upgrade stuff. Ah, <sighs> feels okay, man. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I I have more gamer cred now. Beating Devil May Cry 3 on yellow orb mode where it sends you back to the beginning of the level. Metal Gear Rising. Um, apparently some people think Witcher 3, I guess, is maybe like um, also gamer cred. Maybe. Um, what is? What are some other hard games that are kind of gamer cred? I don't know. <laughs> You wanna you wanna play the game? Do it. It's it's challenging and fun and fun. <laughs> We're vengeance mode. Oh god. Yeah, Elden Ring. Um, I feel like I'm doing I feel like I'm doing okay in Elden Ring. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the music. So good. <laughs> Dancing time. Is it time? We we wiggle. Time for wiggling. Oh, so you unlock like an extra hard mode when beating hard. Nice, nice, nice. The second Ninja Gaiden? I've never actually played any of the Ninja Gaiden games, but I heard I, I heard that they've been good. They are good. <laughs> I told Crunch he has to try playing this game. <laughs> I told him that he should play Devil May Cry 3, 4, and 5, and then he should play this after. <laughs> At nearly every attack takes off all your health. Oh no, from 200%. But in turn, every parry you do, it takes off like a huge chunk of health from like the boss or something. Oh, that's interesting. 
You're having a blast. And oh my gosh, I, I kind of just want to do some Elden Ring, like New Game Plus, like after beating Elden Ring, just to like... Because I think you can like respec everything when you do New Game Plus, right? Or some or something like that. Or no, you get no, no, you get to keep all your weapons. That's what you do. You get to keep all your weapons and stuff. Oh my gosh! Oh, Ryan, thank you for the twenty dollars. Thank you. I will. I will do some squats. I will do five squats. Thank you for donating twenty dollars. I did the spot. Oh my gosh. Massive effect. Thank you for the raid. Hello, raiders. We just beat, we just beat, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. <laughs> oh, Raya, thank you for the 300 bits. No speakers on computer, but, uh, but it probably happened. <laughs> thank you for the 300 bits. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. I hope you had a good Dungeons and Dragons game. I I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons so in so long and I've been I have a craving. <laughs> I hope you had a fantastic session. Oh, you have the CD for the soundtrack. Oh my gosh. I just wanna I wanna listen to this like when doing an art stream. Now that like I know that you can get away with listening to like some video game music like during like uh Twitch streams, so <laughs> Uh, you still have both DLC to play, and there's, uh, there's a far shorter main story, like, one mission. Oh, I wonder if I have the DLC to this. I wonder if it was, like, the second... I wonder if it's, like, uh, another Steam purchase, or... Also, I'm so sorry. Um, hello, everyone. Raiders, uh, my name is Tane. I'm a Succubus VTuber. Uh, I am an artist. I play a variety of games, and I do ASMR. Hello, hello. <laughs> Jetstream DLC. Do you get to play Sam? Oh, the PC comes with both DLC? Oh, maybe it unlocks right after the main story then. Ooh. Oh, so we're not so we're not done then. We're not done the game. <laughs> oh, so it was the first session of your uh, D, D campaign. That's exciting. It feels like oh, it, it's really fun to always like start off a D, &D campaign. <laughs> Wait, what? A Brazilian chainsaw guy? Konami Digital Entertainment. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Post credits. And how's business? Oh, good, good. The hair doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> uh, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, mm -hmm. Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? Oh my god. <laughs> Revenge. I've got my own war to fight. 
so so are you are you going to be a senator so he's going to have his day job and his night job he's going to be a senator and he's going to do his uh nighttime cyborg fights <laughs> The sequel that never was. Aww. <laughs> um, my my game results. <laughs> okay, so it took under ten hours. Um. Hmm. My longest combo was one hundred twenty-three. <laughs> Normal kills, blade mode kills, explosive kills. Aww. We'll never get a game like this again. Oh, <laughs> maybe there will be another game that will jump the shark that pretends to be a triple A game or like, I don't know. <laughs> I really look forward to watching that video essay. When we're off of the Twitch front page, I can definitely like, uh, I can definitely watch it. <laughs> Cause I think today's like the last day, but I don't know when it's gonna activate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, left leg severed, right leg severed. <laughs> Total cuts. Oh my god, I have a I, I did a lot of cuts. What does the title mean? Zero for title? What does that mean? <gasps> Peachy Gomu! Hello! I hope you're doing well. Can we get a shout out for Peachy? Peachy's wonderful. I love Peachy's design. Peachy was so kind, like when we uh Marina and Johnny, Peachy and I did like the rating of the VTuber armpits. <laughs> Oh, you're relaxing today. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, today we're doing a charity stream. Uh, we have raised $1,320 for the Gamers Outreach Foundation. So helping uh, children in hospitalized uh, families have an easier stay at the hospital. So then uh, they can they can play games. Uh, and then uh, so when they're playing games, they can get distracted and like um, from whatever. Like So like, because I know and from the video, sometimes when maybe when they do like injections or things that are kind of like a little bit like, you know, maybe like painful or something like the kids can play games and everything. So, yeah. So title. Oh, it's the rewards for the VR missions. OK, OK. Mr. One percent complete normal or higher difficulty while earning. Oh. Samurai complete normal or hi uh, higher difficulty while only using the high frequency blade. Battle tested, complete normal or high difficulty, um, despite being discovered by enemies 50 or more. <laughs> Jack the Ripper, cut your enemies at least 1,000 times using blade mode. Nice. Oh, so I got, oh, I got four titles then. Four titles. Okay. For, okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So the DLC should be with the game? Oh, Bayonetta. Oh, I wanted to play Bayonetta because I was really in the mood to play it after Devil May Cry, but then I think I moved on to like another game after that. <laughs> Uh, so how does this work? Mm, do you do continue or story? Oh, there we go. New game Jetstream. New game Blade Wolf. You guys want to do? You guys want to do uh, Sam? Do you want to do Sam or do you want to do Blade Wolf? Let's do Sam. Let's do Sam. I think Sam first and then Blade Wolf. I don't know. I don't know. If... I think I'm. I think I'm seeing more Sam. Okay, Sam. Oh, let's let's look at his thick booty. Proceeding will cause the current story mode checkpoint to be. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yeah. Or. I guess I have to proceed. That's okay though. It takes place before the game. Okay. Normal. Oh. I mean, I guess I'll play the tutorial for Sam if Sam is different. <laughs> Wait. 
can you not can he not climb these oh you can actually hide oh what sam can double jump sam you can double jump what a chad Oh, yeah. Nice. Whoa! Light attack. Strong attack. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, he absorbs it with his sword! Oh, oops. I sliced the back of his back. <laughs> oh. Did you get taunt? Here is how it's done. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> nice. I like his smirk. <laughs> nice. Imagine if you can play as Monsoon. Hmm. Cherry blossoms. Yeah. Yeah. I take it you're not a fan. No. <laughs> no. They make me sick. Why? They're so pretty. Just the team was working on some fancy pants new reception area. But Jesus. When I get my hands on that candy ass. <laughs> He's so angry. He'll be lucky if he can even carry his box of shit out of the building. <laughs> Is it really so horrible? They're only trees. They go from full blossom to bare in a week. One fucking week. I mean, true, though. They... Everywhere in D.C., you hear, Oh, it's so fleeting and beautiful. Pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. What do you think? <sighs> nature is just nature. Not beautiful, not ugly. The wind blows, the flowers float away. It's simply how things are. <laughs> In any case, Minuano <laughs> should be close. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Wow. The cool Brazilian wind. Mm. A.K.A. Jetstream Sam. Oh my god, he took his motorcycle. <laughs> It was his bike all along. <laughs> My God, Raiden, how dare you? Hey. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what the hell you think you're doing, buddy? Well, what do we have here? I wasn't expecting it that far. Oops. Oh my god! He killed a police officer!
killed another police officer. I thought you had to be like less incons inconspicuous. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my god, got got blood on me. Yeah, remember barely any cybernetic enhancements. True, it's only his arm, right? Oi, the smell. He has both his arms in this one. Okay. Oh my god, he's so th he's so thick. That samurai bastard came this way. Hey, you know what? Hey, guess what? You know what? <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing easy mode. <laughs> oh no. Oh, these freaking things. Now, the thing is, can I actually sneak up on these guys and do this? Oh, I can't press- oh, I can't press B. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Whee! Yeah. Oh. behind them, huh? Or not in this game mode. Too cool for stealth. I I agree. Oh yeah, he can double jump. I forgot about that. Hello. Yeah, can't can't be stealthy, huh? Oh, I thought I had a nano thing. Oh, never mind. Oh, maybe I had to equip it. Oh. 
thought I had a nano, uh, the nano paste thing. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. You know what? Maybe I won't use the taunt as freely, I guess. <laughs> That's exciting that you can, like, get uh, things for them. No stealth. You can do like VR missions for them too. Well, what do we have here? Maybe I should give it a try. Oh. Oh, it's like to activate it. Oh, okay, never mind. It's just, it's still the same thing. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm so cool. I like Sam. I'm sad he, I, I'm sad we had to kill him. $320 and we're on day three I, I just beat the I beat the last boss in Metal Gear Rising and now I'm playing the DLC <laughs> Everything. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Everyone, Heiwan does amazing emotes. And Heiwan has lovely, lovely ASMR. <laughs> oh gosh. These these guys are so hard to these guys are hard to fight. I always have a problem with these ones. Cause I feel like I can never have an open like like an opening to get these. Thank you for showing up, Heiwan. <laughs> Does it restart at the VR mission? Where does it restart? Oh, it restarts at the VR mission. That's kind of weird. I wonder if it gives you something. Oh. Heiwan has a bad taste in it. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Everyone is allowed to have their taste. Oh my gosh. No, no steppies. No steppies. Oh 
Oh my god, how'd he get me in the air? Ow. It can double jump further than I can? That's not fair. Oh. You love men that don't want you. <laughs> I mean, it's the thrill of the chase, right? I can understand that. I mean, I feel like that's how I kind of got with Crunch. Crunch was like very aloof and I was just like, hey, you want to go out? <laughs> and we've been together for almost 13 years. <laughs> I think I've talked about this before, but every single like relationship I've been in or dating, I've always made the first move. <laughs> Greetings, samurai. Cause I feel like if you're if you're if you're if you're gonna wait, then I feel like it's like it's like a waste of time. It's like I don't know, just just say if you like somebody, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. One gets it. And you are <laughs> LQ84I, a prototype UG with a conversational interface. <laughs> a talking robot dog, basically. State your business here. Me? Oh, just sharpening my skills. Wandering the earth, dispensing justice, but only to those who deserve it. Such as outlaws, desperados. You refer to World Marshal. <laughs> the ones holding your leash, right? The ones who issue my orders. And your orders are to kill me? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Call me biased. But those seem like pretty dumb orders, Pop. Why don't you try thinking for yourself? For... Myself. For myself. Oh my god, AI thinking for itself. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. Well, that's a pity. I am sorry. You must die. <laughs> you must die. This, I am sorry. This game has such good As music. Well. This. Oh my god. <laughs> This game has such good music. You will die. Ow. I need nano pace. <laughs> Does this fight give you nano pace? Ow! Holy crap! I feel like it's harder than the first time I fought him. Oh boy. You will die. You will die. You win by juicing? <laughs> what is this? Oh. I will obliterate your consciousness. Ow. Is this all? If I could just get it in a combo, maybe. I feel like I don't have time to charge up an attack though, you know what I mean? Ow. 
now. Ow. I gotta remember when he does the other attack. Ow. Multiple strikes. Wait. Didn't it pick up the pace? Oh my god. I just have to equip it, I guess. Okay. Oh my god, let me lock on. Okay. Slice it. Combination you will dry. I'm just uh, looking at its attacks. So good. Okay, so I can get it. Oh, sorry. I can get him down to like 35%. Like 35%. Okay. Time for time for drink of water. <laughs> oh, don't forget the taunt, right? It does more. I think it does more damage, doesn't it? I totally forgot about the taunt. Thank you. Okay, so remembering to parry once more <laughs> oh my god relentless actually gotta there we go oh man he comes like right at you <laughs> Oh, oops. Oh, he's already taunted, okay. Ow. I want to see if I can parry these. Ow. Okay. Okay. Actually, 
actually, I just thought about something. What if I... Can I taunt him from... Okay. Multiple strikes. Oh my god, don't attack me when the screen is just opening. Oh my god, he can get me from up there. Parry. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Ow. Because it doesn't automatically assign it, that's why. So he attacks like three times. Gave him like another voice line just to be like, you will die. And just not again, again, and again, and again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Let me get my nano paste. Oh my god, I keep... I, I keep forgetting that you have to, like, set the equipment to the thing. To get the stupid nano paste. Why is it... I'm doing it in the 
direction of where it's supposed to go. Oh wait! Oh no, we can't, we can't, we can't go in. We can't, we, okay, we can't fight there. No, we're not allowed to fight there. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and I'm playing Sam's DLC. Hello, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Angel, how was your stream? Uh, you were doing some just chatting. What were you chatting about? <laughs> Enjoy the game. Oh my god. I This game is really fun, but also equally frustrating. <laughs> oh, you were reading the movie script. Wait, was it the B movie script? It was the, it was the B movie. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that must have been like what? Maybe like two hours of reading or something? That must have been a long time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Raiders. Uh, my name is Tane. I am a Succubus VTuber. Uh, I'm an artist. I play a variety of games and I do ASMR. Welcome, welcome. We're having a charity stream. This is day three of our charity stream for ga the Gamers Outreach Foundation. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Thank you for all the follows. My gosh. <laughs> I love Angel's ASMR. Angel is wonderful. <laughs> Definitely, oh my gosh, Angel, get get lots of water. I can only imagine all the reading you had to do for the B-movie. <laughs> and I love Tane to death. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for coming by. And thank you for all the follows. <laughs> Um, I beat Metal Gear Rising for the main story. Now I'm playing the DLC and everything, and... Oof. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it I think it got a little harder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like you came at the perfect timing because oh I feel like it's good that I stretch and get some water. Ugh. Or drink some water. <laughs> good to see everyone. Good to see everyone. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um I I am I am reen. I am reen super hard with all these all these Die. boss fights. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. I know I'm supposed to parry a lot of stuff, but I'm just like, I'm like, no. Like that. Oh. Oh, like sometimes it doesn't want to parry. I don't know. Oh. Wait, I do have the nano paste, so I'm okay. Wait, so you can't avoid that one. It doesn't seem like you can. Here, you know what? I'm gonna make him an Angie boy. I'm gonna make him an Angie boy. Combination complete. I like when he's like, my combo is complete. Oh. I'm just trying to figure out some of his uh, moves here. Oh. So that one comes like a little bit later. Combination attack. 
I wonder if I can use my, uh... Just a minute. If I can use my slashy slashy move. Oh my god, my HP is so low. Oh shoot! Oh my god, I feel like maybe if I use my slashy slashy move, like then I can uh then I could get him on the taunt. Oh man. Yeah, the soundtrack is great for this game. It's so freaking good. It goes super hard. This game is just like non-stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <sighs> taking, yeah, taking her time so she can hear more of the song <laughs> Alpha sound hello oh my gosh 13 months thank you so much for 13 months thank you for being with me for 13 months <gasps> thank you thank you thank you <laughs> you you would not ta taunt the bosses <laughs> Oh, Usa Usa, hello. How are you doing? <gasps> Can we get a shout out for Usa Usa, my VTuber sister? We are forever DD Mavis sisters. <laughs> Alpha Sun, thank you so much for the four. Oh, oh, 13 months. Oh my God. I <laughs> 13 months. My gosh. You're doing okay? Oh, that's good. <gasps> We're doing a charity stream today. Oh, shoot. Okay, I need to get the nano paste. Okay, now equip it. Nice, okay. Now if I can get these. I think the thing that's messing me up is like when it does the red thing, it, like it's preparing you to do it, but then it's like, each move is differently like, timed. Combination attack. You will die. You will die. Ah. Combination complete. You will die. Oh, oops. Oh. You will die. You will die. Oh, mistimed it. You will die. Oh, can I corner him? Can I oh. Can I- oh, I was thinking if I can cheese the boss. <laughs> that would've been so funny. What if I can- Multiple strikes. You will die. No, the nano pace already activated. You will die. Ow! You he goes so die. high. Oh my gosh. Woo, he's pretty relentless. Oh, Neff, hey, how's it going? Hello, Neff. Can we get a shout out for Cybell? Nephilim Cybell. Hello, Neffy. <laughs> the nano machines. It's nano machines. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel like I need to take a rest with my fingies, especially after like the Armstrong fight. Oof. 
Yeah, we have so many visitors today. Hello here. You know what? I will take a brief rest of my fingies for just a moment. Um. Oh. Not not quitting the game. Just just taking a small break. <laughs> we can have we can have a chit chat. We'll have we'll have a chit chat before going back into the game. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, oh gosh, I just remembered it's Saturday. I feel like all my days are kind of like blending together. It's it's hard to keep track. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of everything. My gosh. <laughs> how's, how's everyone doing? Oh, I'm so happy I beat the main story though. Oh my gosh, it's so fulfilling. <laughs> yeah, so many visitors, my gosh. Oh, stretching, stretching. Ugh. It's true. I, I I am going really hard this week. <laughs> I wanted to go really hard. There. Oh my gosh, I have so many tabs open too. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just, I, I'm also just looking. I, I, I got some achievements in the game, so that's pretty cool. I just opened my Steam. <laughs> Destroy a total of 10. Oh my gosh. So, so there was, there was like achievements I got for defeating like a certain amount of like uh, certain enemies and everything. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna check it out. I was gonna check it out for sure. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Telthar just linked me vocal tracks. Oh my god. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> How many of the tabs are lewd? Ah, uh, there was two of them. <laughs> when we when we uh, did the waifu review for the ta 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 Taimanin? Taimanin girl? <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, like, when you, like, do a lot, like like a boss fight and everything and you're just like ah oh, maybe maybe i should have just took a break after the armstrong fight <laughs> but i was like no let's play sam's story <laughs> uh time on an, uh, the bunny girl i can't remember what her name was but we did a wife review on her <laughs> <laughs> used to play it for like an ungodly amount of time even before it was popular that's is so interesting because i think if i remember correctly when this came when this game came out i heard it didn't do well <laughs> it's kind of funny how like games like i don't know become popular like later and stuff like even like some movies right um i've heard that jennifer's body like okay because like i saw jennifer's body in theaters um like at the time when that came out and it wasn't popular like but now it, it's kind of like a it has like a cult following so like yeah movies and games like they become like popular later too which is so funny <laughs> oh man i almost i almost feel like taking a nap <laughs> oh shoot i just realized the time is like how is the time already like 20 after 8 oh my gosh where where does the time go where does the time go? Jennifer's body? It's kind of interesting because it is kind of like a bisexual film. <laughs> what, when did that movie come out again to? It came out in 2009. Yeah, I remember seeing that in theaters. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh you overslept oh no worries it's okay we're we're still we're vibing playing metal gear rising <laughs> oh it's the same with like among us yeah okay so apparently even like with the game among us it was never popular at the very beginning um but i think it was who was the big streamer that popularized it i think it was shroud um, Shroud did, like, the thing where he did, like, the big streamer, like, collaboration thing with, like, um, Among Us, and then a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, I guess you could do that. <laughs> Ooh. 
five five raids in how, how many how many raids can you tell that you've how many raidceptions can you tell <laughs> <laughs> also thank you for the follows welcome everyone um i'm just taking a little bit of a break from uh metal gear rising <laughs> oh gosh i'm feeling i'm feeling sleepy not gonna not gonna lie <laughs> doom 1993 quality good <laughs> Actually, speaking of Doom, I've actually never played a Doom game. I would like to play a Doom game. Um, I would say for like, one of the first games I played was, um, oh my gosh, what was it called? Like, oh, oh, the, the, I, it's just because I, oh, I can't think right now. Um, Wolfenstein. I used to play Wolfenstein when I was young. <laughs> uh, hydration time. Oh, thank you. Hydration time. <sighs> Doom is fun. Doom is fun. It looks very fun. It looks super fun. Enjoy their limited time of, yeah, uh, of showtime. Then they fade back into our minds, right? Yeah. Okay. Because even like with Fall Guys, Fall Guys is becoming free as a game, and it's kind of funny because like for a lot of people, well, like uh, a lot of us had to pay for it, right? Like, and now it's just kind of funny that it's going free to play. <laughs> Yeah, even like Minecraft had a resurgence. I feel like I feel like Breath of the Wild has always been popular. I don't know. Although I guess yeah, I guess that's the case for Skyrim. Skyrim kind of, kind of like comes and goes. <laughs> we still haven't had bullet uh, uh bullets per minute. No, we have not. Um, I didn't I didn't play it yet. That actually might be a game that I can probably play tomorrow possibly. I think that would be a good idea. What I consider the game Deathloop. I think I've heard of that game. Let me let me Google it. Uh, Deathloop. Or no, I'm thinking no, I'm thinking of a different game. I think I was thinking of Hero Loop or something. Let's see, what's this one? Uh, Deathloop, first person action. Let's see, let's look at the Steam store. Oh yeah, the Steam Summer Sale is happening right now. <gasps> no, that's so dangerous. I didn't know that the Steam Summer Sale was... Oh yeah, it usually starts kind of like end of June, July, doesn't it? Oh man. Death loop. I'll add it to my wish list. Um, FPS action first person s stealth shooter. Uh, Award-winning studio behind Dishonored in Deathloop, two rival assassins are trapped in a mysterious time loop on the island of Black Reef. Doomed to repeat the same day for eternity. Oh my god, that sounds fascinating. Ooh, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, oh no, oh no, I have it. No, I have it set to that one. It was one of those two. Oh my god, why is the Nightbot going off? I, I do not speak Spanish. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I only know like the few words from Dora the Explorer. Why does why isn't it? There it is. Nightbot's slow. <laughs> um. Let's see here. So it's a time loop where you have to kill all people in one run <laughs> and players can invade you. Oh no, players can invade you too. That's, ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> or you can play Raft with Crunch. Um, I can't remember if Crunch has played Raft before. I... Let me see if I own that game, actually. I haven't actually played that with anyone yet. Uh, I do- oh, I do actually play- oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I do actually have it in my Steam library. Huh. Apparently it has an update. Hmm. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. I love it when people spend the channel points because they don't read the description of what that is. And then they're like, I'm going to spend 300 channel points. 
What does it do? It's in the description. <laughs> Every single time. I, I I love it. I I can I can bait. I can bait the channel points. No but no no one no one reads. <laughs> what is uh what is my favorite food? Um my favorite food. I like sushi. I like tacos. I love I love Mexican food and I love Japanese food. <laughs> So much. Your finger slipped. See, that just means everybody's laughing. They're laughing, having a good time. See, use use your channel points and you get a good laugh, right? <laughs> Have I eaten today? Yes, I, I ate an MRE today. I ate, um, I ate a hash brown, uh, what was in it again? Hash brown, bacon, pepper, onion, MRE. And it was pretty tasty. It didn't look appetizing, but it was tasty though. <laughs> I'm happy that the first MRE that I had was, uh, the chickpea masala one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I did eat, although I think it might be time to, like, Maybe eat later? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if the BTM is like too quiet or not. I don't know if I should like raise it a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of sushi, oh, oh my God. Sushi is so freaking good. Like, mm, oh, nice to meet, nice to meet you, Sacred. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, Wait, stream, stream timer? Stream timer. This is this is no subathon. <laughs> oh, yeah, sushi's so good. I sushi's so expensive here, but I I get it I get it as a treat. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, I had sushi in Japan as well, and oh, so good. If anyone has the chance to go to a sushi row, that's like the conveyor belt place. I want to go to more conveyor belt places because they're so good. <laughs> you could just take whatever or you just order and it just comes to your table. It's amazing. <laughs> it successfully ruined every single soy sauce. So black soy sauce? I'll have to try that. That sounds really good. <laughs> As a treat. Treat. <laughs> Is the microphone not picking up everything? <laughs> Do I have mm, time to eat the microphone? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Fancy Penguin. That I appreciate that. Aw. <laughs> Here, you know what? Since we're kind of chatting, I can I can kind of like move over. I'll move over a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Also, uh, I will become big. <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> How's the charity stream going? I think it's uh, going well. We have raised a total of $1,320 and that is really cool. And I think that's amazing. Um, we are very close to the, well, I would say we're like, or pretty close, fairly close to the 1500 um, reward. Um, here, just a minute. I'll, I'll put the goals and everything in here so you guys can see what the goals are. Um, and then donate. There we go. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Hey, guess what? I read your, I read your thing one time. You don't have to repeat your message. <laughs> streamer! Streamer! Can you read my message? Can you guess? <laughs> <laughs> streamer streamer <laughs> let's see here okay let me go in the middle for a moment there we go streamer okay there, there it is Oh, oops, I accidentally have the game still up. <laughs> there we go. Uh there we go. This is uh this is where we're gonna be here. 
streamer guess my name streamer from my username. <laughs> oh. So let's see here. Um, we have 500 eat an MRE, 1000 write a poem about chat. So I'll still write a poem about chat. I just, I want to write a poem when I'm feeling creative. <laughs> there you go. You get, you get hit with four ads. There you go. <laughs> Somehow they, they got hit. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that was funny timing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Canadian MRE or American one? Um, I, I ate an American one or they're made in the US. I hear that the Canadian ones are pretty good, but I don't know. If, I don't know if we can get the Canadian ones. I'll have to see if we can try to pick up maybe the Canadian ones or I'll, I'll have to ask Crunch about that. Um, so the 1500 one is a GeoGuessr stream. So if you guys want to see a GeoGuessr stream, I can very heavily embarrass myself <laughs> for the 1500. And then for 2000, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no, you're not getting bullied. I just thought it was kind of, you're not getting bullied. I just thought that was funny timing. <laughs> so the fourth goal is to scare the... <laughs> scare the shit out of me oh well the thing about it no 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 i will not get scared with four nights at freddy's it's just that i find the gameplay kind of um frustrating i've seen people play um five nights at freddy's and i've seen people play five nights at freddy's and some people don't get past the second level sorry not four nights i know imagine four nights at freddy's <laughs> uh It's just that I've seen like some popular streamers not get past like the second level and I'm, or the second night and I'm just like, oh no, I don't want that to be me. <laughs> so that's what we have. So $5 is Ada Ada and Kisses. $10 is Cringe Pickup Line if you would like to hear a pickup line. Five dollars, sorry, uh, twenty dollars is five squats. Fifty dollars for a tarot card, oracle card reading. Seventy-five dollars for uh, a Rita copy pasta, and one hundred dollars for custom one-minute safe for work ASMR recording, and two hundred and fifty uh, dollars for one bean boozle and a custom one-minute ASMR recording. <laughs> uh. So. It's kind of funny. I was watching like a video essay for like the Five Nights at Freddy's thing, and like. Apparently, a lot of indie game developers um, wanted to kind of, well, not mimic Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's like, I, it, apparently there's like more people who wanted to make like indie horror games for kids or something with the explosion of like Five Nights at Freddy's like back when it came out. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of streamers are utter ass at games, but they just have entertaining personality. Exa yeah, exactly. It's it's just kind of funny because I was watching a streamer that I really like, and um, I saw that she was getting like frustrated because she couldn't get past like the second level, and I was like, oh no, I don't want that to be me. <laughs> um, and the thing is, like, usually sometimes when somebody's like very entertaining and stuff, and then you're like, oh no, they're having such a hard time. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember if she gave up afterwards, though, but I was like, oh, no, poor streamer. <laughs> but I think everybody was like, not not forcing her to play it, but they were like, yeah, yeah, you should play it because like, haha, Five Nights at Freddy's, like everybody likes it kind of thing, right? So <laughs> watch a speedrunner. <laughs> yeah, it, well, that's the thing. It gets hard after the fourth and fifth night. Yeah, it. It's a ch it's a challenge, <laughs> and I I'm really awful with a sense of direction. Like, okay, I hate driving. I hate driving at nighttime, for example. Um, I have to have. I think I'm just like when it comes to being, a, I guess, a visual person. If I can't see landmarks or road marks at like nighttime, then I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so. Usually, if I need to go somewhere I don't know at nighttime, I usually use like Google Maps and stuff, but... Uh, but if it's daytime, it's fine, because it's like, oh, it's near this waypoint, or, or, sorry, or it's near like this landmark thing here. <laughs> 
you see better at night. Driving at nighttime is just kind of, I don't know. I think it depends like if the nighttime is like busy because it, I guess if it's like less busy, you can kind of take your time, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Odyssey. Hello. Sorry, I'm just, oh, I'm just taking a, taking a break from Metal Gear Rising. We beat the final boss, but I'm doing the DLC. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. I think it depends, yeah, if you're, like, a nighttime person and everything. Definitely. <laughs> but, uh... Mm, oh my gosh. I'm just, uh... My, my brain, my brain just empty right now. <laughs> oh, loving the nighttime temperatures? Oh my gosh, I am loving the nighttime temperatures too, Odyssey. Oh my gosh, there's been... Crunch and I have been going on like nighttime walks like sometimes and it's just been so nice at nighttime. Definitely. <laughs> oh, you go to a bed at nearly 4 a.m. on work days? Oh no, oh my gosh. When when do you have to be awake early in the morning though, or do you have to be awake early in the morning? <laughs> um I used to be able to do that. Um I used to be able to go to bed at like three four in the morning and still be able to somehow go to work the next day um i can't do that anymore <laughs> yeah i feel like i can't i can't do that anymore Oh, you work at like 125. Oh, okay. So then, oh, so you can do, you can do that then. Yeah. Oh gosh. Cause like, there was like a point in time that I would go to bed probably at like, I don't know, four in the morning and stuff. And some, somehow, somehow I would still get to work the next day at like 845, mm, nine o'clock, like around there. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I, I, I just, I can't do that anymore. You have to get <laughs> oh you have to get up at like 3 30 oh my gosh mm. i see i see oh speaking of nighttime you're gonna go to sleep moonville i hope you have a good sleep Th thank you so much for coming by i hope you have a very very good sleep good good sleep <laughs> oh it feels good to it feels good to rest the fingies. <laughs> oh, you work construction. Oh, I see. Oh no, it's so hot. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I can only imagine like working in that heat for like so many hours. <laughs> have a good night. Yeah, have a good night. So you would have to be up at like 9 a.m. and then you would stay up playing. <laughs> oh wait, stay up until like 4 a.m. Right? Oh man, there would be like some days I would do that, like if for for university as well. I would stay up. Oh my gosh, I had. Oh, I remember when I graduated. The time when I graduated, until I got my next job. Oh, that was nice because I would. I think I was playing Mass Effect or something. I think around that time, or I was playing some kind of game. I would stay up until six or seven a.m. And then I would go to bed, and then I would play more games. And I loved being a neat at that time. <laughs> that very short time of being a neat. The time when I graduated until I got the next job. Which was probably... It was like... I think it was like a few months or something. <laughs> I'm, oh, I miss being a neat so much. <laughs> Oh, like, oh, welcome back. Welcome back, Blades. Um, the, the, the time when, oh, the period of time that you can just play games and draw and just do stuff and then like not having to do anything else. <laughs> oh, you played Fire Emblem Awakening three months straight. Oh my gosh. That must have been so nice. How, how was I doing with Jetstream, Sam? Oh, I'm taking a break from Sam right now. I just I just needed a small break. <laughs> um, I'm fighting the doggo. The doggo's pretty fast. 
oh college was like what <laughs> oh it what got you to stay up for like those absurd hours oh my gosh i can imagine it's kind of funny because like oh depending on people's schedules for like college and university and stuff sometimes you can just you can just like go to class and then like you can you get you get to choose if you want to study or not and then like <laughs> it was oh it was great except for like oh it's kind of funny i remember i i hated myself for doing this i would i would still go to class and everything and then i would have to go to work part-time at walmart and then there were some nights that i i did essays overnight I did I, I pulled all nighters for essays and I went to class the next day and then I would sleep the rest of the day after after handing in that essay. <laughs> oh, take care, Crash. Thank you for coming by. Take care. Sometimes I have nightmares about having tests. I have nightmares of retail. <laughs> um sometimes sometimes I'll just I'll wake up and I'll be like, why was I why was I at a cash register? <laughs> Oh, you miss trade school. I can imagine trade school being fun because like you're you're being trained for something very specific. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, yeah, retail nightmares. I used to get them quite often, but I don't get them as often anymore. Um, the nightmares that I usually get is like, I'm usually being chased by something. I usually, I don't know. Maybe it's just like being worried about something, but I usually get chased by like zombie dogs or something. <laughs> I, it goes like full like Resident Evil, like, oh no, zombie dogs. <laughs> but the zombie dogs are like my worries. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh no, finals. Ah! And then, oh, you remember that you graduated, right? Oh my god, there was actually a dream that I had a few nights ago that I was like, oh, well, I guess nightmare that I was like, oh my god, I have to study. I, I had a dream that they were like, no, we took away your degree and you have to do it all over again. <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> uh. There's people that haven't seen the cameo, so I will I will do that here. Just a minute. Good, good point, Talthar. Talthar got me this, everyone. Here. Oh, wait. Since I keep opening it in the wrong video player. Okay, here. Good point. Good point, Talthar. <laughs> um, so Talthar got me a cameo of um scott arthur who is the voice of blaze for um sorry blythe oh my gosh i'm trying to like remember how to pronounce the name <laughs> um in elden ring and i was like oh my god we we had a reaction earlier but oh my gosh so good here oh oh my god sensei would you mind teaching me about succubus biology in great detail, I hope. <laughs> the wink. Oh God, the the wink. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, I I I had a fangirl moment. <laughs> Sensei, would you mind teaching me about succubus biology? In great detail, I hope. <laughs> well, that was the thing that, yeah, that spiraled everything, Dumplin. Um, I saw Bao uh, react to that. What was it? She did like an 11 or 12 minute stream. She was like, I, I, I can't. I have to do this right now. And then she did like a 12 minute stream. I'm just re like reacting to it. Like, oh, my God, it was so good. And then she was like, <laughs> Barking frantically. <laughs> uh, I saw that there was an artist that drew Bao with like being pregnant, <laughs> having like his puppies. <laughs> uh, 
about Bao so funny? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I <laughs> it's it's out there somewhere. I I don't I don't know where. I don't know how. Where is it on Twitter right now? But I saw it like in that moment. <laughs> oh, the whale puppies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I I can't get over that. Thank you so much, Telthar. I this that that made my week. After after working so hard like last week and like this week and oh my gosh. Oh. And the week before? I've had some pretty like strenuous, I don't know, just weeks, I guess. <laughs> That was like Matsuri can't handle her degeneracy. <laughs> the degeneracy just just comes out, doesn't it? <laughs> uh. The thing is, I I do find too like when you're when you're a big streamer, I feel like you can get past the rules about like you know being uh, outwardly degenerate. I think <laughs> sometimes sometimes I think I think you can uh, you get to. <laughs> You get to, you get to, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you get to, you get to be more, uh, I don't know, sussy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh, yeah, I don't know. My, my brain, my brain is just like all over the place right now. <laughs> yeah, w wiggle room. There we go. That's a good, that's a good way to put it. Wiggle room. I think they're, they're a little bit more lenient on you. Um, when when you have uh bigger numbers while while live yeah <laughs> balance sensei <laughs> yeah pretty much uh thank you for doing your best you work so hard and still supply us with it oh my gosh odyssey, odyssey you're gonna make me emotional oh my gosh i thank you <laughs> try try my try my best Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, more wiggle room. Uh, you can freely be a filthy degenerate. Uh, I would say in some cases, because I feel like when you're, for a lot of the bigger streamers, you can take off the 18 plus set settings and you can still kind of like, I don't know, be like, yeah, really degen. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a blessing to be a part of this community. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that makes <laughs> Big Daddy, that makes me think about like that YouTube uh, recap or rewind of um, oh my god, what year was it when they were like, I I am so proud of this community, <laughs> but 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 like actually, but like actually though, <laughs> yeah. So I was just I was just thinking of that one YouTube rewind moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh I I I I know you mean it. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Every everyone is looking out for chat. I feel like we we have a really good chat. Everyone is very mature, very mature and wholesome. <laughs> I I feel like we do have a very wholesome community for like a for like a succubus VTuber. <laughs> Some, some way, somehow. <laughs> oh, for like censoring yourself. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have kind of like a funny story, but like, but it's not really a funny story. Um, I think that, okay, this is around the time. Oh, how many years ago was this? Maybe four years ago? Maybe three years ago. I, I was not streaming, but... I was playing with a friend that I used to have and she invited me to play with a game. I can't remember what game it was. Maybe it was Overwatch or maybe it was something else. Maybe it was Dead by Daylight. She invited me to play a game with some friends of hers and I knew some of them, but I didn't know all of them. And it was around the time we're kind of like, you know how like some people will just like hit streaming and they're just, you know, playing around with their friends and like that kind of thing. There was a guy that hit streaming and the thing is like everybody like 
the guys, they were just being really weird and they were talking like slurs and like that kind of stuff. And I found out that one of them was streaming and I was like, what the heck? Like, I don't, ugh. jeez. Yeah, I was like, what the heck are you doing? This was before I was streaming though. This was like way before I was streaming. <laughs> He was streaming on Twitch.tv. I was like, what the heck? It's kind of funny because I remember for like my friend at the time, she was she was like, I am so sorry about like last night. And I was, I was just like, oh my God. It was kind of like around the time that I wanted to like do more things with friends and like stuff like that. And I think I kind of like learned around that time. I don't have to do things with people if I don't like them. <laughs> or or it's OK to say no if you're invited to something like because I think like sometimes if you're lonely and stuff, you're like, yeah, I'll like I'll like play games with like people or something. But like they were being super like crude, talking like slurs and like stuff like that. And I was just like, I'm not having a good time. Like I like I wanted to be invited to like more things and stuff and I was like I I'm not having fun. <laughs> oh, you you have a lovely voice uh making my Sunday morning. Oh, I'm I'm glad sacred. I'm glad. <laughs> have a good lurk. Have a good lurk as well. I just I just noticed. <laughs> no, it's no it's okay. I was just I was just kind of thinking back at that moment cuz like I remember like that friend was like I'm so sorry that happened to you and I was just like I just don't want to play games with you anymore. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of just weird that like people can just say I guess whatever like online. I don't know. Like and then they they thought that it was a good idea to stream themselves talking slurs and everything and i was just like what the what the heck <laughs> the second a shitty person thinks you're you're like among kindreds yeah and they're letting loose their bullshit yeah it, okay here's here's the thing here's the thing too i remember like my friend at the time she was like Oh, I'm so sorry. It's because they're so drunk and everything. And it's like, listen, listen. I also can get very drunk, but it doesn't mean that I have to like be belligerent. <laughs> you can still be drunk and like not like a bad person <laughs> or like or like or I don't know. <laughs> or hello. Hello, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm just I'm just I'm just sharing a story. <laughs> On one hand, it's good to find out like how shitty they are so you can cut them off. But then it's the other hand, it's like, damn, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, mm. I feel like it's OK because like I don't really like talk to the person that who invited like who invited me to like that game session anymore. So I feel like it's good. <laughs> I feel like here's the thing. I feel like do you ever know people who just hang out with people because they feel obliged to like and it's like, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. It's one of those. Oh my God. There we go. One of those. I keep forgetting which, which uh, command that was. <laughs> uh, some people say your true personality shows when you're drunk and uh, you don't have like self-discipline. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Like, oh my gosh. Like oh, those guys, like they were just cuss. Well, I don't care about cussing. I, I really don't care about cussing. But when people, um, let's see. Basically, if people say like a bunch of slurs and stuff like that, I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I'm just like, eh. <laughs> you had that with like some buddies in like a D&D &D session. Oh, that's a thing, right? Like you never, you never know sometimes. <laughs> As a barkeeper with multiple years of experience, if someone starts saying like, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff, yeah. They would just say, yeah. <laughs> they would say it as soon as they get comfortable around you. Yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess on the topic, of, I guess, of like getting drunk and everything, because I feel like usually like when I get drunk, I'm... I'm like a happy person. Like I just giggle and I I, I think everything is funny around me. <laughs> That's um 
I feel like I feel like we should have like more kind of like I guess quote unquote like drunk streams I guess maybe but I don't know. <laughs> um, I usually just kind of have like a casual drink if I am streaming to begin with though not all the time but sometimes I would though so then I I don't know I just don't put it in the title. <laughs> It's a matter, of, yeah. Like some, yeah. Some people's tongues just loosen up, right? It's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember for like that game session after after I found like I, after I found out that person was streaming it, I was like, I'm I'm done. I'm leaving. <laughs> and then I like, but but the good news, the good news is that when I when I took a look at their stream, I think they only had like the one viewer or something. So I was like, okay. Maybe nobody watched this. <laughs> um, because usually it, it shows like one viewer if it's like counting yourself or something like that. So <laughs> yeah, I would say for the most part, I think most people can be chill like if they're drunk or something. Um, oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess that's also true. Some people are like emotional. Some people get angry or like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why people dislike drunk text. You're the only person uh, they're thinking of when their brain can't even function properly. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> you get loud and cry. No. Oh no. It's okay. Oh no. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Like, I feel like like when I get drunk, I, I feel, I feel happy. Like. <laughs> oh shoot, doof doof. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the fifty dollars. <gasps> doof doof. What kind of, um, doof doof, what kind of, uh, card reading would you like? Would you like a tarot card reading or would you like, um, an oracle card reading? What, what, which would you like? Thank you so much for the $50. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's why you know your limits. That's good. I feel like it's always good to know our limits. I... I was able to test my limits pretty early, I guess, in my drinking adventure. <laughs> oh, it's a pain when those people are your family and you can't tell them because it gets uncomfortable at reunions. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, An oracle card? I will do an oracle card for you. The, the oracle cards are very pretty, too. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like sometimes if it's like an uncomfortable, I guess, like family thing, you can, if you are able to, I guess you can like stay for like a little bit, then you could just, then you could just leave, I guess, <laughs> or something like that. Oh, the double sun from the last charity stream. <laughs> there, let me, um, I'm gonna put these over here and let's see, we'll get the, we'll get the camera going. Um, it was... which one was it? Oh shoot, I still have the game up! Okay, here, give me two seconds. Ah, there we go. Oh, by the way, I, I mixed the chocolate chip cookies and, and the nuts together, and it tastes really good. It's a nice salty sweet snack. <laughs> so, so I mixed, I mixed them together. Okay, so I will do the oracle cards for you. Thank you, Doof Doof. Let's go! Oh, wait, I just remembered I had the book, like, the little book there. <laughs> you wish they made trail mix like that? Oh my god, little, little tiny chocolate chip cookies, like, like these? Little tiny, little tiny chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> you love the keyboard? Oh, thank you! It's kind of funny because like it shows up white like for you guys, but it's like it's pink in person. <laughs> oh, does it does it look pink to you? Oh, I mean, sorry. I mean, like the light, uh, the, the like the light coming from like the keys. Maybe it does. OK. I meant like the like the light coming coming from it. <laughs> Dun. Oh, does it look like a little pink to you guys then? Okay. 
Uh, some people see white bluish. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, I can actually wait. I think I can do this. Let me see. Here, I'll get I'll get like RGB for you guys. It was one of these. Ah, there we go. See? <laughs> Oh, I, f I feel you, Mercy. Um, I remember I had to do a lot of car maintenance and stuff, like when I was in like college, university, and stuff. <laughs> Why are your hands? What? <gasps> do you guys? You? I've gotten several compliments on my hands. Do you, you think my hands are cute? My hands are cute. <laughs> I need to be a George Costanza hand model. <laughs> I just find that so cute. There's been like several people that were like, oh my god, your your hands are so cute. Girl, girl, thanks. <laughs> oh no, you're just being Yoshikage Kira. You just want my hands. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Doof Doof has gotten Underworld. Ooh. Actually, speaking of hands, look at look at that. Ooh. Very pretty. These cards are these cards are so nice. I was so happy when I was able to buy these. Like, oh, sorry, here, sorry. I'll keep that one out. <laughs> here, let me let me change this back to the to the white. So how much for a reading? Oh, uh, so it's $50 for the, um, for the charity stream. But I do these, like, outside of charity streams, though, too. Um, I don't do it for money. I do it during, like, ASMR streams, like, for, like, channel points and stuff. Only, only money for charity. No, no money. No money for anything else. <laughs> Just money for charity. <laughs> um, here, let me see. There we go. Yeah, 50, $50 for a, uh, tarot card reading. Yeah. No worries. It's okay. It's okay. I I do I do these like I was actually thinking of doing like I still haven't done this like a whole stream of just like oracle and tarot card readings like just that like maybe like not during ASMR but just like just just like a just chatting one. Okay, let's see here. So we got this one for Doof Doof. Um Underworld. Let's see what a let's see what this means. Underworld. Ether. 113. I'm still getting used to these ones. It's kind of okay. It's kind of nice about this one. Um, I don't know how anyone feels about like for like gendered stuff and everything. They made every card in this Oracle deck like kind of like genderless. So it can be used like for like anybody basically. So there's like no gender for like any of these cards, which I which I think is pretty cool really pretty <laughs> do you know what else is nice your voice oh my gosh you're gonna make me blush <laughs> at pie thank you oh actually that's funny how you bring that up still it's been a while since i've seen the underworld movies <laughs> Here, i'm gonna get a sip of water So what is the difference between oracle cards and tarot cards? So the tarot cards, like, you know, for like tarot cards, you can have like things like upright, but then you can also have the cards in reverse. Usually the reverse meanings are bad. Oracle is usually like all positive. So oracle cards are usually more positive cards. Uh, let's see here. So underworld. If the underworld card comes to you, it is either an invitation to go within yourself or it serves as an acknowledgement of where you currently are. <clears throat> if you do not uh, sense you are in the underworld, then this card is asking you to take a pause and allow the things you need to fall away to do so. If you are in the underworld at the moment, it can often feel like it is a trial after trial or loss after loss. It may also feel empty and uncomfortable. The underworld is 
where we die and we where we are reborn. It holds the fire of transformation. So many people resist being in the underworld or try to rush the journey, but this card is asking you to settle into it and surrender. Give yourself permission to be in this in-between space and welcome the changes to the best of your ability. While we are in the underworld, we need to allow ourselves to be there without anticipation. Wait, sorry, without anticipating the rebirth. We must simply be there. I think that's a, like a nice message. It's kind of like, I guess for like underworld, it's kind of like you're in like a state of limbo. So it's kind of like, it's like it said, it's like a transitional like period. You can give yourself permission to like rest or like maybe like there is a change coming. You can surrender to the change. Maybe it is a good change. We will see. I hope you enjoyed your card, Doof Doof. There, let me go a little closer. I feel like all the art on, on these cards are so pretty. What do you mean? <laughs> Lean for a boob of you. I'm not gonna do that. No. <laughs> no, I would never. <laughs> Actually, every you know what? It's it's <laughs> everything is fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope it's okay, doof doof. <laughs> Um, actually, like, even, like, when I was, like, IRL streaming and everything, um, I would wear, like, sweaters and, like, actually, wait a minute. No, I did stream a Christmas stream one time, and I had a keyhole sweater, but I think that was the only exception I showed cleavage. <laughs> oh, I think that was, like, the only exception. Do they have VTuber cameos? I was actually thinking of like just like setting up setting up something like that. I think that'd be fun. VTuber voice lines. <laughs> but um yeah, here. I'll show you guys the cards. Yeah, I think it was like a Christmas stream or something that I I think I showed cleavage and i was like wow but i usually just like in my nor like everyday life i just kind of wear like sweaters and t-shirts and stuff <laughs> do the self-care thing i will definitely do the self-care thing oh the art's so pretty on these i think it would be fun to like make a tarot card like set i think it would be really nice um like even like on the side of the cards, I keep I keep mentioning like the side of them, but there's like gold like flex and like it's kind of hard I guess to see on camera, but it's, but it's there. It's really sparkly. <laughs> there, I'll take a sip of water. A brutally honest tarot card reading. Oh my god. You know what? It's so funny that you say that, uh, Flacco, because I find that if there's like a part of the reading that I don't think is nice, I usually omit it <laughs> for like tarot cards and stuff. I'm like, uh, oh, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> Cause there's usually like parts of like certain tarot card readings where it's like, oh no, like maybe this thing happened or this thing happened. And it's like, uh, uh no, I don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> Have I done the screen and say, Sensei, I need you. Oh my God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I think it, I think it's time. I think, I think they're starting to do the front page stuff now. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> thank, thank you for saying that. I was kind of wondering when, uh, I don't think it activated like for the longest time. Okay, so it activated like almost uh, almost seven hours into the stream. Hello, new people. Um, if you happen to be on the front page of Twitch or um, hello, my name is Tane. I'm a succubus VTuber. I'm an artist. I play a variety of games and I do ASMR. Hello. <laughs> what are my f fans? Oh my God, I have fans. <laughs> 
I feel like I kind of honestly, I feel like I flip flop when I, um, you guys are like my students, my little demons, my succubusies. <laughs> I feel like we need to like settle on one and I still I still don't know which one to settle on my my students my succubuses <laughs> my little demons my little imps I think we did like little imps for a while like imps <laughs> aww Let's see here. Here, I'll, I'll put these away. Oh, and yes, if you happen to be on the front page, everyone. Uh, so we're doing a charity stream today. We're doing a charity stream for the Gamers Outreach Foundation. So we are helping um, hospitalized families and children have an easier stay at the hospital. So consider donating if you would like to. I could also show... Actually, this stream, I haven't showed the video yet. I haven't showed the video... Um, I can I can show it. Oh, itchy, itchy nose. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> we need to come up with a full school. Oh my god, that would be so fun. <laughs> Honestly, well, I've talked about it with Amai and Emu. I want to have like, I think it would be fun to like have more time to do stuff because like I want to, I want to create comics for Izakaya and I think it would be really fun for like our streamer group. I think that would be really fun. <laughs> yes, a sub is a demonic contract because we have made a commitment with each other. <laughs> Hey all, it's Martin Ohms here. I'm the operations coordinator here in Canada with Gamers Outreach. And we're here at the London Health Science Center here in London, Ontario to give the very first two Canadian Gamers Outreach gaming cards for the Sick Kids Hospital. We're very excited to be here with Patrick Iyer, Egyptian Tardif. And let's go inside and check it out. That's a good question. I guess, <laughs> I think that would, I, I would wonder like for the roles of Isakaya, who would all be the teachers of, of things? The Children's Hospital um, actually began as War Memorial Children's Hospital and has evolved to become one of the biggest children's hospitals in Canada. My name is Kenna Patterson and I um, fill the role of a certified child. Thank you for the follow. Hello. 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 In London. And I've been with the hospital for six years. Healthcare delivery has changed over decades from being solely medication or medical focused to look at the whole person in a holistic way. We know that there's research to demonstrate that play helps healing time, it helps reduce length of stay, and it brightens kids' future. It allows them to thrive in an environment when they're faced with adversity. As a childlike department, we're consistently looking for ways. How can we enhance this? How can we meet kids where they are? And right now, it's a world of technology. Today, uh, made our first. Uh, I made a round with the uh, the carts and got to deliver them to some of the children that were eagerly awaiting. With the with the carts themselves, it's uh, you know exciting because you're able to bring the games to the children. And one of the children. Uh, you know, needed to be quarantined, isn't able to go to the big, uh, the big room to play the game that's game station that's already there. So being able to bring it to them, I mean, that's just a huge benefit. For all of those content creators in general that are on the fence about whether or not they should do something charitable, if you're on the fence at all, absolutely do it. If you're, if you're slightly, you know, I want to do it, but I'm not sure when, just do it. I, I can guarantee you, you for the that follow. you're going to oh, love the Oh, you like the, the model, thank you. And you're going to love what end result comes from it. The feeling that I have today, it's uh, it's kind of hard to put into words, but it's, I, I can't wait to do it again. I think it's absolutely awesome. Just to automatically give back, wow. <laughs> I'm proud. I mean, Martin and the guys from Gamers Outreach were definitely uh, yeah. helpful in guiding me towards this, but yeah. We're forever grateful for this donation. In terms of sustainability, the Gamers Outreach Unit, the go-kart, is 
um, kind of everything that a child life specialist could ever dream of. A system that many, many, many kids enjoy and find value in, um, but being able to continue to have that, that resource is difficult if it's not done exactly in a making way, the hospitals less scary for like for kids yeah is brilliant and i think a great and making like the process like smoother mm -hmm. oh oops i have it like i have like some videos like set on like loop <laughs> here let's see i'll open uh, the other one this was like a new one i think they sent me so every child deserves a chance to be themselves but right now, in hospitals around the world, many kids are isolated, fighting some of the most difficult battles of their lives. What if we told you gamers have the power to help? We're Gamers Outreach, and we believe the world is better when kids can play. Our team is on a quest to help make play a part of care. With your support, we can restore a sense of joy and normalcy in the lives of families through video games. Learn more and get involved at gamersoutreach.org. Yay! There we go. Yeah, so, so far, so far, we have raised, um, we have raised $1,370. And that, and that is amazing. I am so happy that you guys have been, like, supporting, like, the charity and, su yeah, supporting Gamers Outreach. And, my gosh, so many, so many fun days. Like, <laughs> we've had, like, wait okay wait this started on thursday yeah because we're on day three now <laughs> hello i hope you're doing well starcross oh my gosh oh my goodness doof doof fifty dollars oh my gosh thank you oh my gosh thank you for the fifty dollars oh we're at 1420 a420 ayo <laughs> doof doof would you like would you like to have a tarot card reading or would you like to have another oracle card reading? Uh, tarot card or oracle card? Thank you so much for the support. Let's go. Thank you for the $50. Thank you. Oh, and we're we're very close. We're very close to the uh, 1,500. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> so tarot card time. Okay, let's do a tarot card this time. Uh, let's see. Oh, for like in your experience, uh, it, uh, the boredom. Oh my gosh, I can, I can imagine. The thing that I was really like happy about too is that, um, when they showed the example of like the Canadian hospital, I was like, yes, that makes me happy that it's like helping like Canadian, like for Canadian hospitals as well. Cause I wanna, I wanna, I wanna help people in Canada too. <laughs> Okay, tarot card time. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's good that like uh, kids have like lots of things that they can take their mind off of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Oh. There's one that popped out. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm actually not a. I'm not a hundred percent. Maybe uh, that's something that uh, people can ask the charity about then. Oh, oh my gosh, Starcross! Thank you so much for the fifty. Oh my gosh, thank you for the fifty. Oh my gosh, would you like a tarot card reading or would you like an oracle card reading? Let me know. Also, I just realized I think we've had the BG on, the BGM on for a while. Let me switch the music. Yeah, I'll sw switch up the music. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Starcross, for the $50. Thank you. Only $30 away from the goal. So true. Okay, I will do a tarot card for you, and I we will do Doof Doofs first. Oh, Doof Doof. Temperance. Temperance, but it's upside down. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, Serentis. Torrentus with the $50. Oh my god. Thank you. Holy. Thank you. Torrentus, would you like a tarot card reading or would you like an oracle card reading? Let me know. 
Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> we made it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here, let me let me show you guys what you can expect. Oh my god, that means we get to do a GeoGuessr stream. That means there's a GeoGuessr stream. You would like a tarot card then? Okay. Three tarot cards coming right up for <laughs> for Doof Doof and Starcross and Serentis. Mm -hmm. So right here. So GeoGuessr stream. That's amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, we've raised so much. Okay. So just to just to be transparent, we have the fi a final goal. <laughs> awa awa. Oh, 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 thank you for the 11 months. Sorrentis, thank you so much for supporting the stream as well. Yay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, my power flickered because I think there's a thunderstorm coming. Oh gosh. <laughs> um. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Um, just, just to be transparent, um, we do have a $2,000, uh, dollar goal for the charity stream, which is, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. What? You don't... What? You don't... You don't want a reading? What? Wait, what? No, no reading, Lurky? I mean, I can, I can do one for you regardless. <laughs> or what? <laughs> Uh, here, let me, let me, uh, let me change it for on top. I, I can't believe it. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you mean. It's because the thunderstorm might cut off. Um, I will see how long I can go. Just because I saw my power just flicker. So we will, we will see. We've been getting a lot of thunderstorms, like, recently. I mean, it's good that the grass is getting, like, lots of water, but... <laughs> okay, here, I am gonna... I am, just to be transparent, I'm just, uh, I'm changing it to the, to the next, uh, one. And if we raise more than 2,000, that is, that is cool. <clears throat> that is cool too. We will see. <laughs> um, let me go to, let me see here. I think it was in, uh, I don't remember where I had it. Milestones, there it is. There we go. <laughs> that is that is the final one if we happen to achieve it that that is amazing and i can't believe the amount that we have already achieved altogether everyone 1520 i remember during the last charity stream the last charity stream we did 1666 kind of kind of fun and satanic number so <laughs> okay let's see here um so doof doof um i drew Temperance, it's upside down for you. So let's let's see let's see what this means. For temp temperance upside down. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is this is the power that we all that we all have. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see here. Temperance. Temperance in reverse. Okay, water. Okay. So temperance in reverse. Um, so overcompensate or sorry, oh sorry, over compromising, over compromising, um, rigidity, uh, no consensus. The temperance card reverse indicates a lack of balance. You may be overemphasizing your feelings and not paying attention to your behavior. Uh, in your relationships, you or someone else may be refusing to budge on some issue. Someone is not willing to compromise or may be compromising too much in order to please others. You might be trying to make too many changes at once. For example, radically changing the way you eat at, uh, at the same time as beginning an intensive exercise uh, routine. This card may not 
may, sorry, this card may be reminding you that making life changes is best done gradually and gently. It may be that you are keeping the different aspects of your life totally separate so that you feel like entirely different people um, in your different roles. You might be keeping your romantic partner apart from your coworkers or your creativity separate from your money-making ventures. Explore integrating the parts of your life that you have kept separate in order to feel more whole. Let's see. So basically it's saying that like um, over compromising, like so like no consensus. So hmm. So I I know I, I guess this is kind of funny, but I I know like when like the card is above, it means like you're compromising or like you're creating, you're experimenting. But it's like so it's so when it's in reverse, basically it's like oh, um, overemphasizing feelings or like not paying attention to behavior. So yeah, yeah, ch chill, bro, chill. It's all cool. It's all it's all good. <laughs> um, or maybe keeping like parts of your life um separately so it's okay to like combine parts of like your life all together is what it's also like suggesting or or making life changes is but be it's best done gradually and gently basically so if there's like a change that's gonna happen it could be a gradual change it doesn't have to be a fast change so yeah uh i hope that i hope that you enjoyed your reading doof doof uh, it's, here, I'm going to do uh, the reading now for Starcross then. Oh, thank you for the follows. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> going to keep it in mind? Sounds good. Sounds good. Sometimes, here's the thing, too. I know I keep saying this. Sometimes for tarot cards and stuff like that, it doesn't have to be always for yourself, too. That could be maybe how, like, a friend or family member is thinking, too. So, like, if it doesn't apply to you, maybe it applies to somebody in your life, too. And then, and then you can help them out that way. Just uh, introspective things. <laughs> time for time for start cross. Oh shoot! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed your message. Um, I have one of those like battery backup power things for my computer. So hopefully, if the power goes off, I'm okay. Because this this helped me during like the the Neko uh, stream that time. I was able to save my artwork because the computer was still on, but my internet shut off though. So, <laughs> hello, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a cute emote. That's such a cute emote. I like that. <laughs> wave, wave, wave. <laughs> you like the keyboard? Thank you, Doctor Dreads. Thank you. Dojin take. Uh, no, I need to be say so on the front page of Twitch, Captain Dumplin. Um, mm, I will not give you. I will refund your channel points. <laughs> I need to be. I need to behave myself today. I don't have. But tomorrow, tomorrow, I don't have to behave myself. <laughs> So Mar uh, today's the last day of being on the front page of Twitch <laughs> for for Pride Month. <laughs> yeah, today, but tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow I can cuss and I can talk about all the degenerate topics because I think, um, I think I, mm, I think I didn't do okay with the cussing, but I think I held myself back on degen topics though. <laughs> I will get yes. Remind me, remind me tomorrow, and I will give you the worst, the nasty, the nastiest. <laughs> uh. Okay, so this is for Starcrossed. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like so Pentacles is usually either money or fortune, fortune being luck. But also, like, I think it's so funny that, like, fortune is, like, you know, fortune as in luck, but fortune as in money, too, you know? <laughs> so let's see what this is uh, for Starcross. So the Knight of Pentacles. There's probably a young man. A young man. I said young man. Da 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 da. Young man. <laughs> So revolutionary, philosophical, impatient, rushing, explore, debate. 
This could represent a person you know or will encounter or some aspect of yourself that is present or to call upon now. The king of... Oh, sorry. The king. <laughs> the knight. <laughs> you are the young man. I said young man. <laughs> the knight of swords is... Oh, shoot. No, I... <laughs> Not the source. Oh, no. Just a minute. I, me I messed up. Okay, let me see here. Where Where's my pentacles? There there he is. Okay. So still, it still applies. It could represent a person that you know or will encounter or uh, some aspect of yourself that is present or to call upon now. The Knight of Pentacles is a cautious, slow learning, dependable person. He is very careful about everything he does and sometimes gets so caught up in the details that progress is halted. The progress he does make, however, is sturdy and long lasting. So loyal, dependable, practical, hardworking, cautious and attention to detail so he is loyable and a reliable friend he may sometimes be boring or stubborn but he gives well thought out and practical advice he can be controlling and, be, and may value principle and rules over all else he values comfort and security and loves luxury he is able to take what he's learned from academic studies and past experiences and use it in practical ways whoa so maybe like i guess like when it comes to like your work or like your work ethic or um or even just like the relationships maybe you have with people you are very practical and dependable and sometimes being cautious is okay like when it, when it comes down to things hey no yuki hello i'm doing well i hope you're doing well too <laughs> i said young man <laughs> But it also says, so, like, when you get caught up in, like, the details, maybe progress is halted. I feel like sometimes a lot of us get caught up with, like, the details. So, maybe it's okay not to stress the finer details of stuff. Maybe. But maybe in some cases it's okay. I guess it depends on the situation, then. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading. I guess when it comes to practicality, sometimes, sometimes, like, it is nice to feel secure. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Hello. Hello, folks. <laughs> you enjoyed it? I'm glad. I'm glad. Let's see. The next reading is going to be for Sorrentus. Sorrentus. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, uh, so some people may be asking why maybe I'm doing tarot card reading right now. Um, these are the goals for the charity stream. So there were a few $50 uh, tarot, tarot um, and oracle card readings. Actually, you know what? I'm going to read, I'm going to read the ones that we, we did today. Here, give me just a moment. Um, let's see, where did it start today? Um... So it started with Greedy Bacon King. Thank you for the $50. Placeholder, thank you for the $250. Uh, Riot Control, thank you for the $20. Doof Doof, thank you for the $50. And Doof Doof again, thank you for the $50. Starcross with the $50 and Sorrentis with the $50. And that was, that was for today. That was today. <laughs> oh, that's true. The longest day of summer was like a few days ago, right? For the summer solstice? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You hope that the charity is going well? The charity is... I, I would say that the charity stream is going well. This is day three. <laughs> this is day three. I was thinking too. I was thinking um, if we if we don't hit our goal today, that is okay because I want to extend it by tomorrow as well because uh, people are also doing this for tomorrow as well because it's, uh, it's from the 23rd until the 26th. So we still have another day. <laughs> we still have another day as well. <laughs> I think everything's going really well, though. Thank you for asking. <laughs> you doubt that there's any pickup line that can come out of my mouth that would be cringe? Oh, it's even more cringy when you're an English teacher. <laughs> Let's see here. Um... <laughs> 
Is it more? I guess it would be more cringy if you're in English, you know? <laughs> Man, imagine being an English teacher VTuber, everyone. <laughs> okay, so this is where Sorrentis. <gasps> the Ace of Wands, but it's upside down. No! Oh no. Sorrentis, your card is upside down. This is the Ace of Wands. So wands, wands are like creativity. Your pen, your pen or your or your paintbrush is upside down. Let's see what this means. See, this is this is the thing. I know like what what for tarot card readings, there's like negative readings and it's like, "Oh no." <laughs> okay. Okay, so because because the wand is down, so the Ace of Wands, uninspired, misdirected energy, unfocused, low self-esteem, or ineffective, when the Ace of Wands appears reverse, you are being urged to examine your energy and motivation. It could be that you're feeling like you have no energy, enthusiasm, or motivation to start something new. You may feel overwhelmed by the tasks involved in meeting your goals. If this is the case, ask yourself what small step you can do to, um, blah, 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 blah. what step you can do right now, then do it. Even the greatest dream is accomplished one small step at a time. <laughs> oh no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> this card uh, might appear when you um, have plenty of inspiration but are not grabbing hold of these ideas and acting on them. The next time you have an idea, write it down and then start doing what needs to be done and make the, the idea a reality. The Ace of Wands might appear reverse when you are so full of energy that you are feeling hyper or restless. If this is the case, take a moment to think about what you'd like to achieve and start directing your energy towards the goals instead of wasting it. Finally, the Ace of Wands might appear when it's time to start a private project. Maybe you've always wanted to start to learn a craft or something. This card is urging you to get started. It doesn't matter what other people say. Do it for yourself. Wow, that's so powerful. Just do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> um, I feel like I feel actually I feel like this card kind of like hits to me too. I feel like there's always so much that I have to do and I'm always like, oh god, I have so much to do. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! Pika Chica! Pika Chica, thank you for the five dollars! Thank you! Here, let me let me give you an ada ada and kisses. Ada ada. Mwah. Ada ada. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> it's for y'all chat. Aw, wholesome. <laughs> Sharing is caring. That certainly made uh, me feel very introspective. Very, very introspective. <laughs> I feel... I feel like that actually would be a pretty nice um, title for like a tarot card stream. Mm, very, intro very introspective. Amazing. <laughs> for charity, for charity. I hope you enjoyed your reading, um, Sorrentis. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see here. There we go. Shuffle the cards again. <laughs> So we are currently at 1,525. That is absolutely amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> Here, I'll put I'll, I'll put the cards away now. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. You are you are most welcome. You are most welcome. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the time. I can't... <gasps> it's n almost 9.40. Oh my gosh, where does the time go? Where does the time go? <laughs> the streams are always so comfy. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are feeling comfy. Just vibing. Just, you know, relaxing. <laughs> I know, right? Time zones? Oh. It's, it's basically like my nighttime right now. <laughs> 
they go they go by so quick oh my gosh you guys you guys are having a fun time they where where does the time go <laughs> oh stretch you know what i was thinking um i don't know if i'm in the mood to play any more like metal gear rising though unfortunately <laughs> maybe i i feel like after like doing like the chill chatting and stuff i feel like it's it's fine we can just chat or like here, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the game actually. I just I just realized that the game was still open. <laughs> um I feel like I can definitely like play more of it when I feel like more awake and everything too. That's yeah, you know what? I just I just never woke up today. <laughs> I, I I never woke up. <laughs> I was I was just I was just sleeping the whole time. <laughs> Let's see here. Um just gonna pause the music for just a moment and there we go return to the title screen Bloop. oh my god he's so edgy his his whole bottom jaw <laughs> so funny Like the like the different positions that they have for him, like I can't I can't believe it. Oh wait, you gifted me Shion! Oh my gosh, I just realized. Oh my god, Shion! <laughs> Shoot! Oh my god. Sheesh. Sheesh, Shion. <laughs> Turnip boy commits tax evasion. I love it. <gasps> tax evasion. Except. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that game is so cute. Oh my gosh. Here, let's uh let's install it um on Steam. Thank you so much for the gift. For the gifted game? Oh my god, wait. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. Just a minute. <gasps> okay, sorry, I I I <laughs> I meant to read the the message. Dear Tane, just added this to the list of things you will eventually, but maybe not get to. Or <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely get to it. Don't worry, Shion. <laughs> Buckle up, Shion. I was just I just wanted to read the message because I think I closed it too fast. <laughs> Aw. It's so cute. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. That's so funny since like we were talking about that game. <laughs> Even- oh, my computer's being kind of pause champ right now. There we go. Install. <laughs> Let's see here. I think if it's okay with everyone, though, I think I'm gonna take a very small break. Just a- just a very small break, and I will be right back. Um, I'm gonna try to decide what to do. I wanna also just check the weather outside, because I saw my power flicker, so... I just wanna see if, uh if the thunderstorm is like kind of like settling down. <laughs> so, okay, be right back, be right back.
Okay, I am back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, um, good news is that there's no more thunderstorm outside. I guess it was just kind of like a little bit like, you know, like sometimes when you get like a few like rumbles of thunder and um, it looks like the rain stopped. So it was raining pretty hard earlier outside. I didn't know if there was going to be a thunderstorm. So <laughs> everything is all good. It's all good. Um, I would say thankfully, thankfully for our area, the thunderstorms don't really get bad, but the water gets bad though. Um, I would say like, not so much, uh, how can I, um, basically like we get heavy rainfall, <laughs> heavy rain. Um, it, it usually damages a lot of people's basements. So that's the thing that we, that's the thing we have to worry about <laughs> over here. We get a lot of rain, <laughs> so... <laughs> cutting edge graphics oh my god look at those graphics <laughs> oh thank you Amma. yeah yeah it's basically just passing by which is actually good because i was thinking of going for like a nighttime walk nighttime walks in the rain are so good also i think i saw that you guys were asking about the playlist um i can give you the playlist but um it's currently on it's currently on spotify though um can you? I don't know if you can. Can you send Spotify playlists? Um, let me see if it's available on YouTube. So, if anyone's familiar with the guy Harris Heller, um, he used to stream on Twitch, but he streams on like YouTube now. Um, he made like a lot of copyright free music called uh, Stream Beats. So, I'm listening to the Synthwave uh, playlist. <laughs> yeah? Does it work? Hmm. Let's see here. Um, what if I did... Because I think he puts it on YouTube too. You can actually download them. I think every everything he like puts out, you can download it. Um, Synthwave, um, Stream Beats. Oh wait, actually, maybe it's not on YouTube. Okay, um, here. Um, I believe if you have Spotify, this should this should work i would hope so <laughs> just go to the playlist and three dots and it should have a oh uh let me see here copy oh copy link to playlist ah there it is oh it does work okay oh it does work okay it's basically i think it's just the same thing <laughs> there we go yeah um so Harris Heller has like a lot of stuff with stream beats. He has um he has EDM and he has um <laughs> what was it called again? It was like atmospheric or like no ambience, ambience, uh streamer beat ambience. Well, there, here, just a minute. This is like this is the one the playlist that I put on for drawing sometimes. I don't know if it's a little bit on the quiet side, but this is the one I put on for drawing. It's like, ooh, so serene. You can just picture like a nice uh, sunny day. Here, maybe I can... I think, I think it might be a little on the quiet side. There we go. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. It's soothing. It definitely is soothing. <laughs> oh gosh i feel like this is this is like the music that that you, you can get put to sleep to <laughs> actually funny thing the the opening track for this one is called morning dew <laughs> should i just like share my playlist with you guys <laughs> copy link to playlist <laughs> oh yeah no worries here this is the um the ambient playlist I know, haha. <laughs> Morning, do, 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 do. <laughs> I wonder. I don't think he's added any. No, he hasn't added anything to the ambient one, though, but I really. <laughs> Moments of existential self reflection. Copyright free ambient music for your Twitch streams, YouTube videos, or just moments of existential self reflection. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, you can also use these for, like, YouTube videos and stuff, too, and you don't get demonetized. There's, like, a big library of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it 
thank you for the thank you for the follow hello hello welcome welcome all the new folks hi i hope you're doing well <laughs> tane's english teaching video with the sound oh my gosh you guys want to you... a is for apple a uh, a uh, apple b is for ball b b ball c is for cat c c cat d is for dog d d dog e is for Edward. Edward. I'm glad too. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that there's copyright music out there. <laughs> I got a reaction out of you. <laughs> Oh, poor, poor Nina. I know. Poor, poor Nina. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that there's so much like more copyright free music out there. There used to be, there used to be like so little options. Um, let me see if I can find another one that uh, he's done. Let's see here. Uh, so that was Synthwave. Uh, the official playlist. Oh, he has a lo-fi one. If you've ever heard of people listening to... Oh my god, there's so... There's so much lo-fi. There is so much lo-fi here. Um, If you ever heard anybody, like, listening to this, like, this... <laughs> I, I've listened to this, like, so much, like, during art streams that I got kind of tired of the playlist, but I might start listening to it again. <laughs> there's so much lo-fi. Um, There's that one. Oh, this is the EDM one. There's an EDM playlist. See, I'm showing you my music secrets of... I don't... Not really secrets. Um, <laughs> Let's see. There we go. All the copyright free music. <laughs> so this one is EDM music. You're going to put... You have a relevant meme in Discord? Okay, let me, let me see. A relevant meme. What, what area is it going to go under? The memes? Regu regular memes okay sounds good uh there's a there's a channel for memes and shit posting <laughs> Me memes Me -me 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 <laughs> okay oh you know what that's that's enough of that ambience music oh they have hip-hop what the heck is hi-fi what is hi-fi Oh, it's like groove music? Hi-Fi is like chilling on the beach with an energy and a drink in your hand. Oh! <laughs> I had no idea Hi-Fi was a... Huh. I mean, it sounds funky. I like it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> slide me that playlist. I'm gonna slide you this playlist. I haven't even listened to it all yet, and I already like it. Here, is that too loud, too quiet? <laughs> it sounds nice! Oh my god, now we're- Now we're just like, we're sharing music now. See? It's a- it's a music share stream. <laughs> Honestly, when okay, when I had that talk with Vil over on uh, their channel for the VTubers I love, we talked a lot about vaporwave and stuff. I almost <sighs> Vil does a thing on their stream where they they chill and they listen to music and they talk to their chat and everything. Um, I almost feel like it would be fun to like have like a music share. I know, I know it's like a, I know it's like a copyright thing though, but like we can mute the vod or something like after the fact. <laughs> music share stream. <laughs> I feel like it's always I sometimes I find that it's hard to like find new music to listen to sometimes and it's like it's like the best thing when you have a friend that's just like hey you should listen to this this music you might you might like this or yeah <laughs> the Shiva writing <laughs> What 
Wait, is that supposed to be a meme with the Shiba? <laughs> Wait, the mother of all omelet video game. Wait, what's that? What's that? Omelet? Wait, what? Oh, the da the deli thing. Oh, for Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, 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 yeah. I beat I beat it a while ago. Um, I was going on to the DLC, but then I should I should have took a break after the the big boss fight. I went like I went right into the um. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Uh, the the the, the Jetstream Sam DLC, and I was like, oh my gosh, I should have taken a break before doing that. <laughs> oh, you're sleeping. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Oh, yeah, oh, that was the, okay. That was the quote. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh my god, the Shiba. Oh my god, he he pulled out the sword. That's so cute. I love that. Oh, and then Serendus. Loaf, lo fi nuclear war to relax, study to. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Lo-fi nuclear war. To oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's so funny. It's in uh, it's in the meme channel. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh my god, those Dali ones are so funny. Oh, Crunch so showed me a funny one. Um, it was uh, I think it was like Discord mods meet or something like that, and I was just like, oh that. that. <laughs> and there was there's been like several funny ones. Um. I think there was like another that said like something, but with like clown outfits. Uh, there was like, oh, there's so many funny ones. The thing is like, every time I try to use that website, it says the traffic is so high and I can't use it. And I don't know why I can't. <laughs> the Dali memes are so good. Uh, the animated Star Wars uh, Clone War show. I haven't, but I heard it was really good at the time when it was airing. Oh, Jet Set Radio? I have Jet Set Radio on Steam. I've been meaning to play it. I never actually got to play it when it first came out. Um, Sorry, Jet Set Radio. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I think there was... I don't know if it was Steam, but there was like a limited time thing where it was like free for a while or... It was something like that. Markiplier did a video and everyone, everyone uses it. <laughs> Oh, because Markiplier was using the website. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, I hear that Jet Set Radio has, like, really, like, cool music. <laughs> oh my god, this, this playlist is good. Oh, this is, like, really nice, upbeat music. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> there's, a, there's a track that's called Be Right Back. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I feel like this is actually like really on point for like the, the description for like chilling at the beach with an energy drink. I feel like I want to like go skateboarding and just like I don't know. Do you ever do you ever like imagine like scenarios to music? <laughs> Jet Set Radio has like the best music. Oh, just like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amai, you gotta run. Take care, Amai. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. <laughs> Thank you for Comfy Stream. You are welcome. Aw. <laughs> comfy Stream, we we chilling, we vibing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here, just a minute. Let me let me shout out Amai one more time. Everybody should go check out Amai. Amai just recently celebrated. Um, there were, she announced 2K Twitch followers on her channel, and that's amazing. And Amai just had a recent debut. She is using a VTuber model that was created by um, Emu Lapis for the artwork and Arya for the rigging, and it looks so good. Amai's model looks so good, everyone. Definitely go check out Amai's stream. Amai is a wonderful artist. <laughs> also, um, a part of our Isakaya group. I feel like I should be using like this command more. <laughs> Definitely check out our Isakaya group. It's um, it's myself, 
Imu, Amai, Yozo, and Sayu. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was kind of thinking, we have to, like, find a time that we can all get together again. I feel like sometimes when it comes to time zones and, like, I guess, like, convention season, it gets a little bit harder to, like, meet up and everything, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a, we have a stream team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would say I would say like it's like a casual like like stream team and everything like it's like we like to do stuff together so yeah <laughs> I do oh my gosh I feel like if I were to like eventually when I'm able to like quit my job and everything like I want to I want to make like comics and everything for like our <laughs> for our stream team I think it would be really cute make like for coma comics and stuff <laughs> Yeah, this music is really nice. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, comics. Yeah, because I feel like I feel like it'd be fun to like have like more comics like um because I, I always see them between, like, for, like, uh, when people make, like, comics of, like, the Hololive girls, like, interacting and, like, doing things. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> also, I just I just think they're, like, yeah, they're cute to, I don't know, see the interaction. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to think of, like, um, now that we're not doing Metal Gear Rising. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if we should like continue chatting or we should like move on to a game. Yeah, I just, I just think they're neat. <laughs> Wait, let me, the Marge Simpson meme, yeah. I just think they're neat. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh no, somebody did a lewd Marge Simpson. <laughs> Why would you do a lewd one with that meme? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Crunch, Crunch is awake from his nap. Crunch. <laughs> Bullets per minute. <laughs> Bullets per minute. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like wondering about the time and everything. I got, yeah, Crunch, did you sleep well? Crunch is, Crunchy boy's back. If you okay, if you look up on Google, I just think they're neat. Um, there is like a lewdish March Simpson like version of this meme. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not gonna show it, but <laughs> oh, we could say it. that's the thing. I feel like um, I I think I would like to um play it tomorrow. I think uh, then we can get like the full experience, basically. Yeah. Uh, do you still have the meme prep sponsorship? Oh, the meal prep sponsorship. I don't. No, no, no. That was, that was like for a month. Actually, so funny thing. I actually wanted to ask you guys about like sponsorship stuff because I haven't taken one in a while because I don't want to be kind of like the sponsorship VTuber. <laughs> um, I haven't taken a sponsorship, I think, since I've done... What was... A after HelloFresh, I think was... It was Neko Night. Yeah. Actually, I wonder if... The, I, I don't know if the code is still good. I think I still have it here. Wait. The code, I think, should still be good till the end of this month. You can try it if it still works, I believe. Um, This was the last sponsorship with Jazz USA. I, they told me that the code should still be good for around a month and we are nearing the end of June. So if you would like to pick up any visual novels and stuff, you can. Um, yes. <laughs> Neko, Neko Night. <laughs> it's an it's an ASMR. It's an ASMR experience. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a game. It's a game. Um, if you would like to pick up any visual novels, you could use my code for 20% off. I think it should still work for Kotane Tenchi, um, but it, but I don't know when it expires. They told me it was going to be around a month, so yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess on the topic of sponsorships, though, let me, let me see here. Um... I know. Oh my god! I feel it. I feel kind of sad that I missed out on this one. There was a Skillshare sponsorship. 
but it was it was very close to something else I was doing and I think I think I couldn't take it for some reason I can't remember why and I I've actually never used Skillshare before but I hear all the YouTubers talk about it like I want to use Skillshare um I hear that there's like a lot of good classes on there I want to I want to learn more things for digital art <laughs> Yeah, it's it's no, it's okay. It's okay. But um, I think uh, I, I would like to use like Skillshare as well because <laughs> I was thinking of actually because like I was thinking of using my own code to sign up. <laughs> but it's okay. I know that like YouTubers like sponsor. Um, they get sponsored by Skillshare like all the time, though. Skillshare is great. Helped uh, with your art stuff. Oh, that's good. Saitamore. It's like, yeah, um, I hear that there's like so many good things on there. Um. I think I also heard that, I think it's called Class 101. I think Class 101 has good digital arts classes on there too. I was actually thinking, I kind of want to take like a pixel like art class as well because I keep wanting to like start pixel art. <laughs> so, so hard to find the time. <laughs> I, oh my, I just, I just want to do so many things. <laughs> oh, hello there. Juni, Juni? I hope I said your name right. Hello. Hello, Raiders. Juni Raid. Hello, Raiders. How's it going? <gasps> you were doing some just chatting. What were you chatting about? Hello, everyone. Um, If this is uh, your first time to my channel. Hi, my name is Tane. I'm a Succubus VTuber. Um, I am an artist. I play a variety of games and I do ASMR. Welcome, welcome, everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling retro today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the follows. How how was how was your chatting stream? What what did you guys talk about? We're we're also uh, chatting right now, and uh, we have a charity. This is day three of the charity stream for um, the charity event for the Gamers Outreach Foundation, the VTuber Summer Slam. We have currently raised one thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars, and that's really cool. <laughs> Pleased to meet, pleased to meet you. Thank you for coming by. <laughs> I hope you, oh, oh, you were, oh, you were also doing the VTuber Summer Slam. That's so cool. I remember that there, there was another, there was another VTuber that was doing it too that raided yesterday. And I feel, I feel like this has been like really fun to like, um, like raid people who are also doing the VTuber like Summer Slam. Oh, sorry, here, um, in the title. Um, you, so you can donate here if you would like to donate. It is completely up to you. And there are goals here for um, goals, rewards, and in incentives. Um, here, I can I can pull this up again. Uh, let's see here. So we have all the rewards right right over here. Um, Five dollars is ada ada and kisses. Um, Ten dollars is a cringe pickup line. Twenty dollars is five squats. $50 is a tarot card oracle card reading. $75, I will read um, a creepypasta of your choice. Um, as long as it's like safe for twitch.tv. Um, $100 is a custom one minute safe for work ASMR recording. And $250 is one bean boozle bean. Because <laughs> I really, I really hate bean boozle. <laughs> So I put it really high. <laughs> um, but I will also give you a one minute um, safe for work ASMR recording as well. So we have currently achieved 500. We've achieved the $500 um, goal. So I ate an MRE on stream today. And then for 1000, I'm going to write a poem about chat. I'm going to do it when I'm feeling a little bit like more creative, though. I'm going to I'm going to write a poem about you, everyone. <laughs> and then We've just achieved the $1,500 uh, goal, which is a GeoGuessr stream. So that's going to be like a separate stream. And then $2,000 is the next goal, which is uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> you saw uh, the ASMR. You saw my ASMR on YouTube? That's amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually very surprised. I'm very surprised because there's some people that have come by to the stream who said they've seen my ASMR on YouTube. And I'm like, really? No kidding. That's amazing. <laughs> that's that's cool. <laughs> also, um, nice, nice to meet everyone. Um, 
I, for anyone who does not know, I, I work as an English teacher during the during the daytime. So I, I do I do what I can to like stream. I, I stream like four days a week. So yeah. <laughs> I would I would like to my my dream one day is to become a full time freelance artist. Yeah. <laughs> you saw you you saw things on YouTube as well, Saitomorph? That's amazing. I'm so happy. Um, I do upload like all the ASMR. Well, I upload like all my VODs onto YouTube. I'm actually a little bit behind on uploading the VODs, but uh, yeah. <laughs> will you be my teacher? I will be your teacher. I will I will teach you many things about the VTuber world. <laughs> I can I can teach you lots of things. <laughs> oh, you, you I look like an old school video game character. Why? Why not? Yeah, why not? I think it's I think it's fun to be retro. Why why not? <laughs> Teach you to be funny. I mean, I can try. I had a friend a few days ago that told me I'm not funny. <laughs> so, so I can I can only do the best I can. <laughs> if if I am if I am not funny, then I, I don't I don't know. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, wel welcome, welcome, everyone to the channel. Um, we're just we're just kind of chilling, having a good time. <laughs> yeah, fun. Mm, you think? Yeah, I I don't know. I guess it depends on like timing for things. You know, <laughs> I guess sometimes it depends on what is what is in the moment. I guess some sometimes I guess sometimes funny is fleeting when you when you see a moment and then I guess you have to do something in that moment. You know. <laughs> So when is the start to wait to finish art teaching module with the uh, tutorials? Wait, the sponsor. Wait, then sponsor yourself to advertise said tutorials. Oh my god, start start an art tutorial class. Wait, is that the big brain move? I I start my own Skillshare class. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's kind of funny because like I used to I used to have a friend that told me that like I should put like tutorials and stuff on patreon or i should try to like monetize like how to do art stuff but the thing is like i don't know i find like people can just do it better <laughs> i don't i don't know i guess it's kind of just like one of those things <laughs> oh is the game still off no 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 i i, I turned the game off i turned i turned I, I okay so i was playing metal gear rising earlier raiders um i beat the last boss and then I went to the DLC, but uh, I, I just I just I just feel like relaxing right now. <laughs> I feel I, f I think that game took a lot of energy out of me. <laughs> <laughs> but funny can't be forced. Mm, I think what you could do to teach people to be funny. Um, a lot of streamers I hear take um, oh what do you call them? Um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. It's on the tip of my tongue improv classes some street apparently some streamers take like improv classes to kind of like you know catch moments to be like more funny basically so some people can take improv classes to become more funny sometimes <laughs> you still hear you will die oh my gosh i know i think they could have like switched up some of the character um yeah they could have switched up some of the i don't know the voice lines of the enemies i guess <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, Monsoon was pretty hard. Um, I feel like it was good that I got a good night's sleep and then I was able to... Um, <laughs> I think a good night's sleep and then trying again was uh, was the, the, the smarter move. <laughs> uh, where can you take class? Oh. Combination attack. Combination attack, oh my god. <laughs> thank you, Sorrentis. Oh, oh my goodness, Anonymous. Anonymous, thank you so much for the $20. Thank you. Anonymous, anonymous. <laughs> I will do. I will do five squats for you, anonymous. <laughs> okay, squats time. Okay. One. Two. Oh, this feels. This actually feels good because I've been sitting down for so long. Three. Four. Oh, and five. 
Oh, okay. Oh, squat's good. Squat's good. Anato Moose, thank you for the twenty dollars. <laughs> and Serendus, thank you for the <laughs> two hundred uh, bits. Thank you. So improv classes? I don't know where you can take improv classes. I wonder if there's like free tutorials on YouTube or something. When in doubt, YouTube teaches you many things, I guess. <laughs> Specific art style can be mo- Really, Sorrento? Uh, so, so, the, the, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm mixing up names. Saitamore, if you think so. You think my, my art style can be monetized? <laughs> in, in your opinion, aw. <laughs> you start craving French toast, oh my god. That sounds like a fantastic idea, Shion. You should never say no to French toast. <laughs> you should, yeah, French toast is delicious. <laughs> hmm. I think the thing is, like, hmm. I probably could do things to teach people for art but i feel like what i know are kind of like the very basics of digital art i don't think i like i'm i'm even learning like things that i can use for digital art so yeah it's it's an it's an endless journey i guess <laughs> playing with the ai generator oh i would love to uh, it, does does the website say no more uh traffic on it because <laughs> i kept trying to use it and then like it was like oh too much traffic. Let's see here. Um, Dali. Let's try it. Let's see if I can uh, make something. Uh, I need the website for it though. Uh, oh. <laughs> Palades, Skillshare, only $5.99 a month to get 30% 30, 30 off your first Oh my gosh, you you got that like down pat. You can you you, you can do YouTubing. <laughs> get all the get all the sponsorships. <laughs> uh oh I found it. I found it. Okay, let me see here. Let's do red succubus um L Leotard blonde blonde horns devil maybe let's try that let's see what happens does it take a while i, th I think it's taken a while You actually didn't know the price, so you just guessed. Is it's is it more expensive or did you get it like perfectly? Okay, so it is gonna take a while to generate then. <laughs> I feel like we should try to think of some like funny combinations. <laughs> ah, it takes about two minutes to generate something. Okay, okay. dollars a month i mean that's not too inexpensive yeah I, w I went mute for a moment i was just um crunch just came downstairs he he came back from his nap now <laughs> i was just i was just asking him like how long have you been awake and he said he's been awake for a while so <laughs> no it's so cursed i can't show that <laughs> i can't show this Okay, wait, 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 wait. How do I? Here, I'll take, I'll take a screenshot. Okay, I can't show. Okay, I, can't... <laughs> I can't show you on, um, on Twitch.tv. But I will take a screenshot and I will put it in the meme section of the Discord. Here, just a minute. Um, if you want to join the Discord, you have to be 18 over. I'm just, I'm just saying. 
Okay, let me see here. I, I wonder if I should get like more specific with it. Oh, let's do funny prompts. <laughs> yes, please be over the age of 18 if you are going to um, join the Discord. <laughs> I'll just call it Deli. Why does one of them look like it has like a male appendage on its nose? <laughs> Okay, wait, okay, let me... Let me put this in the meme area. Wait! Here, I'm gonna put it in memes and shit posting. That's what I'll put it in. There we go. There we go. It's so cursed! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, as a note, modifiers that can work very well are political cartoon and courtroom sketch. Oh, that's so true. Oh my God. Okay, wait. We should do something like that. Anime courtroom. VTuber? Oh my God. VTuber getting canceled. Okay, wait. Let's try. Let's try one. Anime courtroom VTuber. <laughs> you remember the ultimate fetch to see what it would generate? And it. It just ended up with pro wrestling. That is so funny. <laughs> I see you guys reacting in the Discord right now. <laughs> maybe it, I, I wonder if Succubus and Devil, maybe it should have just been separate. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh my god, the faces look... The faces look so... Okay, here, wait. I think I can show this one. I think I can show this here, just a minute. <laughs> a AI. Anime courtroom VTuber. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Yeah, the faces are well. I know it's like supposed to be like Dally, Dally stuff, but V two were getting canceled in the courtroom. Everyone, um, they have to write a twit longer now. Oh no, wait! It has to be like courtroom sketch, right? Okay, let's let's try let's try this again. <laughs> um, true succubus in a bikini or something summer themed. Um, I can attempt it. Um, here, give me just a moment. Okay, let's go back. Um, let's see. True succubus, blonde bikini. What? Maybe red bikini. Summer beach. Let's try that. <laughs> Take care. Thank you for coming by. I hope you had a fun time. Let's let's see if we can try to generate something else then. <laughs> Take care. Oh my gosh, I just realized we hit past the eight hour mark today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this. Okay, Crunch, I found a music genre called hi fi. It's basically like groovy, like beach music. Like it's like you're having like a good time on the beach. Like. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, it's make it's good at making possums. Interesting. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. Honestly, I can't I can't wait to do ASMR. I can't remember which day I was gonna do ASMR. Um, but I feel like my <laughs> I think my throat's definitely gonna need like a rest or something. Um, let's see. Actually, I think we may have a... Oh, I think Tuesday may be a, might be an ASMR collab. We will see. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! 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 <laughs> what is... Oh my god. Okay, here, just a minute. Let me... Let me screenshot this. Man, this is... This is good, like, Twitter bait, basically. Like, you know, like, when you want to, like, post something on Twitter and... <laughs> okay, let's do... Dally. 
too. Okay. Oh my god, the arm is growing out of her neck! <laughs> okay, here, I'm gonna post this in the Discord. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> this, oh my god, the courtroom sketch. <gasps> Helltaker Lucifer. That is so cute. I love that. Oh, was there something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put something in the not safe for work memes if it's like not safe for work, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, I'm gonna post this one. The the bikini one. I don't think it's it's not really anything bad. Oh my god, the. Oh shoot! I should have put anime. I mean, it, it's kind of anime though. <laughs> Courtroom sketch of evil slime girl? Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. Courtroom sketch of evil slime- Oh my gosh, absorbed. <laughs> I love these, these are so good. I'm happy that I can actually use this because the website was always busy. I couldn't- I couldn't- I couldn't get on the trend. I couldn't trend. <laughs> uh. It's like 50% pro wrestling. It's still <laughs> for for kinkier and fetishy stuff. That's so funny. Okay, I, I guess apparently people like uh like wrestling then. <laughs> What's the website called? Um, just a minute. I'm using this one. Uh, I'm using this one. I don't know if there's like another one. Dally Mini. I'm using that one, but there's probably other ones. <laughs> the possum! <laughs> it looks so cute! <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay, let's see here. Oh, hello! Hello, thank you for the follow, hello! <laughs> if you're- if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Uh, you can- actually, I don't think I- I don't think I shield sh socials. I should, there, there we go, socials. <laughs> For anyone who's new to the channel, welcome, welcome. We're just, uh, we're just talking, we're vibing, having a good time. <laughs> the little possum is just doing his best. <laughs> Placeholder, hi, how's it going? Wait, did you, did you wake up? Is it, is it your morning now? Oh, hi, yo. <laughs> You, you. <laughs> You're, I'm still streaming. I'm still here. Hello. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, we're past, uh, we're past the eight hour mark. Here, let me actually refresh. Oh my God, it's 1030. It's 1030 at night right now for me. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> placeholders like, you. You. <laughs> Eternal, yeah. Succubus, don't stop, can't stop. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Actually, funny thing about, like, for, I guess for streaming, I've heard that, like, when people do, like, their uncapped subathons and stuff, apparently it, like, forces you to stop streaming after, I think it was, like, 48 hours or something. Or I think it cuts off your stream after 48 hours, and then you have to reset your stream again. I think it's something like that. I, I guess it's because like Twitch wants you to make sure that you're taking care of yourself maybe or yeah it's it's like 48 hours and then you have to like reset it <laughs> I've never I've never done an uncapped subathon before but I would like to try I think it would be a fun time I was actually thinking like um <gasps> my streamer anniversary is coming up next month ooh Potentially? <laughs> uh, potential? It's not confidential. I got potential. Da, 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 da. <laughs> honey. Honey. I honey. I honey. <laughs> <gasps> Share something that's incredibly cursed. Um, if it's incredibly cursed, you can put it under the cursed, um, not safe for work channel. But if you think it's not too cursed 
it's up to you. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Wait, what's this? Ronald Reagan as a bunny girl? Oh my god, it's so terrifying! <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think I can I don't think I can show this on stream. <laughs> oh my god, the faces! The faces! Oh my goodness. Yeah, just just to be safe, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the faces. <laughs> Super cursed. Uh also, yeah, YouTube will cut your VOD recording to Yes, that is true. Oh my god, YouTube is so annoying for that. Because like every time I try to yeah, every time you try to export something that's like more than 12 hours, it will go do one for 12 hours and then cut the rest into 10 minute things or something. <laughs> oh, this. Ooh, this one sounds cute. I like this. <laughs> uh, you're wondering if it's a less take care of the streamers and more we don't want to have our site have that much traffic. Oh. No, I think Twitch probably wants its website to have more traffic. Maybe it depends on like the bandwidth they can provide. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> because um, you have, to, I guess you have to think about this too. Usually when it comes to like the partnered, um, for the partnered people, you can have your stream quality be whatever quality you want. So you can set it as, um, because I think I have the stream quality set to 960 or something like that. So it's just right under 1080p. Because I know I know not everybody can have 1080p. So, yeah. <laughs> honey, honey. Oh wait, I already did that. <laughs> there you got it. You got to you got a free honey. <laughs> free honey. Yes, that's the thing for all the encoding for like multiple things. That's the thing actually. Um, I've heard okay, so for like YouTube streaming, for YouTube streaming, um, you could have whatever quality you want. Which I think is interesting. Well, because I guess like YouTube can afford it, like Twitch can't compare to like mega corporation YouTube, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, your upload's too unstable for 1080p. Yeah, that's the thing. Cause like, actually, funny thing, actually for a while, I used to like still upload like my streams at 720p because there's a lot of people who can't, their internet can't handle like more than a 720p stream. So even I would still set my stream to like 720p as the highest. <laughs> uh, yes, that is true. Yeah, that's true, Sorrentis. Um, So affiliates get quality. Um, it depends for the traffic. Yeah, it depends for the traffic of the website for the time. Yeah, so or if you're playing, I think if you're playing a game that's kind of like, I guess not too engaging with the traffic or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, would you rather have 410 or symmetrical 50 megabit for internet? Um, Currently we have, um, actually I upgraded our internet package uh, recently. I could have had actually the 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 one gigabyte down or was it two gigabytes down it was something like that crunch what did what did i go again with the internet package i i went with the 400 i went with 400 200 that's what i did <gasps> oh she oh she welcome oh <gasps> comfy plushy raid <gasps> oh she's so cute comfy plushy <laughs> hello everyone welcome my name is Tane. I am a succubus VTuber. I am an artist. I play a variety of games and I do ASMR. Welcome everyone. Today we are doing, well, this is day three of the charity event. Day three of the VTuber Summer Slam. Uh, this is for the Gamers Outreach Foundation. Um, if you're able to donate, that is fantastic. But if you can't, that's okay. We're having a good time. We're just, we're chatting. <laughs> oh, Hoshi, we're doing some art. I love Hoshi's artwork so much. <laughs> Oh, she has such cute, adorable artwork. Also, I just I just wanted to let everyone know too. Um, I know that Hoshi is a family friendly VTuber. Um, I am I am not family friendly. <laughs> um, but today is the last day that we are on the Twitch front page. So I am doing my best to be family friendly. Um, brand friendly. <laughs> so <we're> like... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. Um, here I can show you the rewards that we're doing for the charity stream. <laughs> you like the low poly avatar? I'm so glad. 
Um, this is uh, the rewards and the goals that we are doing for the charity event. So if you would like to donate, that is fantastic. Yeah, we're having a good time all together. We're like just chatting. I played some Metal Gear Rising earlier and I beat the game. Um, I'm just, oh, I feel like that game took a lot out of me and I'm very exhausted. <laughs> uh. No, wait, wait, what do you mean? No, I'm, I'm still, I'm still streaming on Twitch. I don't know. We were just kind of like talking about, I guess, like Twitch, YouTube kind of, kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah, we were just kind of getting on that topic. <laughs> oh, you like the model? I'm, oh, I'm so glad that so many so many people like the retro model. It makes me really happy. I've been I've been having fun with like a lot of retro games like recently and like playing like some game demos and, and stuff. <laughs> so you're talking about... Oh, you were talking about the exact topic for streaming? <laughs> That's so interesting. I was just talking about like on, on YouTube, um, they, you can have whatever stream quality you want, but what, like when it comes to like to Twitch's website, um, some people can like have higher quality depending on like the traffic of the website and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Oh, right. I was talking about, um, I was asking Crunch. Um, so we have 400 down and what was, what was it? What was it? 400 down and 200 up. That's what we have. I had the option to get like one gigabyte down, but, but I thought it was kind of too much. <laughs> Maybe I just I just asked my internet like provider. I was like, can I still upgrade like after if I decide I want to upgrade after? And they were like, yeah, of course you can. I'm like, OK. <laughs> but I but I know like in places like Japan and Korea, you can have like, yeah, super duper fast Internet speeds. <laughs> also, thank you for the follows. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you yet to see another vtuber with like a ps1 model um i do have a few um vtuber sister sisters i guess with like uh with uh the same model maker that made our models so yeah there's there's a few there's a few out there there's a few people that have like low poly models too there's um there's another person that also does low poly commit there's a few people that do like um vtuber low poly commissions yeah a lot of people like to use them for vr chat i like i like using these ones in vr chat they're fun <laughs> oh yes we were posting like dally stuff in like the discord too like the curse like dally um uh pictures yeah <laughs> also hoshi um i don't know if you feel tired like after your stream make sure to get some like water and a snack and everything or 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 do what you need to do um i also feel tired after streams and everything so i so i completely understand if if you have to get going or or whatever you need to do <laughs> can we get can we get another shout out for hoshi hoshi is so wonderful he is so cute such such a cute family friendly vtuber hoshi has such like comfy vibes like over like overall like com comfy comfy vibes <laughs> and like whenever i'm able to like catch hoshi stream i'm so i'm so happy like oh i know time zones are so hard for so for so many people <laughs> oh so like the poly stuff is you don't really see many vtubers like it's like it's like a nice innovation i think it's really cool like i feel like when people started making like like even for like the live 2D like chibi models and like things like that. I think it's nice like that there's just like, I don't know, more options, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, here are uh, the rewards and the goals here. Um, and if you would like to donate, you can type in exclamation mark uh, donate um, for the charity. Um, and if you would like to take a look at the goals right here, it is exclamation mark uh, goals. So yeah. Yeah, we're just we're just kind of chilling, having a having a good time, talking about things. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's it's always nice to see like I don't know like more VTuber like low poly models and stuff too. <laughs> oh, you know what? Here I can show you guys some. Of, I I don't think I switched to any of my expressions today. Here. Hm. You you better you better you better donate today. Or else I'm gonna be all soon today on you. <laughs> uh, would you like to play with an AI text generator? Oh, I think that would be fun. Yeah, if you would like to link it into somewhere into the Discord, I, I think that would be fun to do. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh, Angie. Mm. Angie. Mm. What do you mean that you're late to class? 
I'm just gonna give you more homework now. <laughs> also got like an uh, uwu face. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really mean to give you that much homework, uwu. Too intelligent to be soon. What do you mean? I can't. I can't be soon, Dore. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, there's like the happy face too. I oh, I like this one. No homework? No, you don't. You don't want to. You don't want to have any homework? Ay 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 ay. Marina, Marina, how you doing? <gasps> Marina! Oh, I was just I was just showing the faces. <laughs> I'm 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 super happy to see Marina. I I can I can only imagine how exhausted you are. Marina's doing an uncapped subathon, everyone. Wait, what's your what's your timer at? Oh my gosh. What's what's your timer at, Marina? <laughs> I can only imagine how tired you are. Everyone should definitely check out Marina. Marina is wonderful. Also, Marina just had a merch drop drop recently with Ooh Market? It looks really nice. I like the design. <laughs> Vibing because you you make me comfy. Oh my god, you all. Oh, thank you. You you have comfy streams too. Oh, <laughs> you're hiding. You're on a break. You have 37 hours left. Oh, you're on day 14. Oh my god. Didn't you do like double time at one point? I was actually thinking that is like actually genius for like an incentive for like an uncapped subathon, like double time. <laughs> my gosh haha ha, you better not raise the timer on marina stream everyone haha ha, you bet you better not do that <laughs> you have it you have it again and you're scared oh oh you be you better not um put more time on marina stream everyone <laughs> Oh shoot, I just I just realized Gamers Outreach, thank you for following. <laughs> I was I was just checking the notifications. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, everyone, we we've, we've currently raised $1,545 and that is super cool. I'm I'm so happy with like all the progress we've we've had like with with this. We're we're helping a lot of uh, kids. This is amazing. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Marina gets a free kiss. Because I love Marina. <laughs> what, wouldn't it be weird if someone donated 2000 uh, to Tani's charity stream? Oh. <laughs> Wait. And then added 100 hours to Marina's timer. Haha, -ha, that would be so funny if somebody donated $2,000. Haha, -ha, that, would, that would be so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I totally didn't make a post on Twitter that if somebody donated $2,000, I would eat a whole box of Bean Boozle. Haha, -ha, you won't. Haha, <laughs> you won't. Haha, <laughs> uh, that'd be that'd be so that'd be so quirky and funny. <laughs> hey, we still we still have one more day. We still we still have we still have tomorrow as well. Although I don't I don't have a time uh, for when I'm gonna start streaming tomorrow because I feel like I feel like Sundays are like my whatever days and I feel like it's been just kind of like nicer that way. Like I don't have like a set like time schedule for like Sunday streams. It's just like whenever I feel like it. <laughs> ha ha ha. Water. It's, oh, it's been a while since I've hydrated actually. <laughs> Sunday streams always chill. I'm I'm glad. Yeah. I feel I feel kind of like out of my element right now because like I I stream on on Sundays and I'm just like Saturday. Hello. <laughs> what is what is streaming on a Saturday, right? <laughs> Sunday sense, yeah. S wait, Sunday sun sunset. <laughs> Sunday Sunday school. You have to come to Sunday school. Yeah, you have to. We have to have our Bible studies, our Black Bible studies. <laughs> 
Uh, if someone donates 2k to Tane's charity in the next five minutes, I will add a, a two, it's 24 hours to my... Oh, see? See, there we go. There, there we go. Marina will add extra time to the timer. There we go. <laughs> what a what a good offer. What an what an amazing offer. <laughs> um shoot, what was I? Oh yes. Um actually funny thing, Marina. I was kinda I was kinda thinking about like uncapped subathon stuff because I've never done one. I've never done an uncapped subathon. I would like to try. And I was kinda thinking next month is like my uh Next month is like my streaming anniversary, so I was kind of thinking maybe I can try to plan that. The thing that I was kind of nervous about is that like I have a- I still have to like go to work and everything, so I don't know how it would- I guess I could just not stream the sleeping part. I guess I- I don't- I don't know. Do people add time when the people are sleeping? I don't- I don't know if they do. <laughs> any- any oil princes? Yes. <laughs> Jacked Bezos. <laughs> you can just stream with you can. That's what I was thinking too. I think there there has been a few people that were like doing uncapped subathons and like streaming when they can because, yeah, um, because um, I know you. I know you've been doing this, Marina, and I know my uh uh my friend Sayu is doing this too. Um, I feel, I feel like there's actually been like a lot of VTuber friends who've been like doing like the sleeping part, but they pause the timer during the sleeping part, and I feel like that like builds more, like more incentive i guess if, if that makes sense yeah i, I feel like it's nice yeah <laughs> v2 vtuber sleeps yeah <laughs> yeah i think i think it's nice when people pause the timer when they're sleeping mm -hmm. it just it just builds up more incentive that way <laughs> zilla zilla's counting down counting down <laughs> Yeah, go follow Marina. Marina's wonderful. Marina plays like so many games and oh my gosh. Yeah, Marina is very kind and there's so, there's so many like cool like friends and guests that join Marina's streams. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome to all the new folks. Hello. <laughs> YouTubers have like effed up sleep schedules. <laughs> I mean, I also have a messed up sleep schedule and I go to work and everything. I I just like being a night owl. How many of you are night owls? And how many of you are like morning people? I I I don't understand morning people. Uh I used to have okay, I have many coworkers who wake up at like five in the morning and they like take their time and do things before they go to work and stuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Drinking buddy, thank you so much for the oh my gosh, 13 months. Thank you for continuing Fusion's uh, gift to you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, drinking buddy. Thank you for being with me for 13 months. <laughs> uh come join me when your charity stream ends. <laughs> BB. <-b> <laughs> <B -b> <laughs> um, I I am very much a night owl. Like I can I can stay up like I don't know. Super late. Placeholder 1987 <laughs> gifted a tier one sub to Marina. Oh my gosh, placeholder! Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting to Marina. That means a lot. Thank you. Marina has entered a demonic contract once more with me. <laughs> Thank you, placeholder. Um. Oh gosh, what was I gonna say? Something about like night owl stuff? Oh yes, um, like, so for example, like, on the Thursday night going into the Friday, like, I didn't sleep terribly well, like, the Thursday night, but like, oh my god, like, on Friday, I went to work and I did my thing, and I stayed- How long did I stay up with you guys? When did I end the stream? Five something? And then I went to bed at 6 a.m.? Like, yeah. V VTubers with their endurance, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you like you like entering into contracts. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> oh, watching city lights at night. Isn't there isn't there something like so serene and nice about like watching the city lights? Actually, funny thing that you bring that up, uh, Dumplin. There's like a there's like a lookout area like in my city, and like sometimes. Oh, we don't do this anymore, but I feel like it would be nice. Um. 
Crunch and I would like take the car and we would just like look at the city lights like um when I guess like when we were first dating and everything. <laughs> there's oh there it's it's quite nice. It's kind of interesting just to see like all the lights and it's like, yeah, those are people. <laughs> My PS1 succubus on on san can't be this cute. Aw. Ooh. <laughs> oh, summer rain during like a night. So, oh yeah. <gasps> you want to look at the city lights? Oh my gosh, v VR chat date with city lights. Actually, it's kind of funny with like VR chat when it when they show like city lights and everything. Sometimes like a lot of them are like PNGs, aren't they? Oh, I remember that when Rebel did like a like a VR chat like a uh, tour with like a few of us. Um, Rebel took us to like a like a Neko cafe, like a cat cafe, I think it was. Um, and I was looking at like the PNG of like the city lights, and and then uh, Crunch was like behind me because he likes like um uh like city skyscrapers and everything and he looked over and he's like oh that's uh what was it it was like china it was like it was either shanghai or something and he's like yeah oh that's shanghai <laughs> so he can he can just like i don't know recognize like city skyline i don't know things <laughs> city nights was vaporwave oh my god such a mood let's create a, a soundscape <laughs> Actually, it's it's funny that you mentioned that because Vil and I were talking about that on Vil's stream. Um, Vil was saying there's just something nice about like it's like yeah, nighttime driving, vaporwave, nighttime driving with vaporwave. <laughs> make it make an ASMR city night theme. I mean, we do have a Pixel One. <laughs> we got oh, we need we need like a top down view. I think yeah, that's what we need. We need like top top looking down. Oh, Tokyo, Kyoto, and uh, Okinawa. Oh, night, nice nighttime views. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Japan has like a. Oh my gosh. If you go to like the Tokyo um, Sky Tree, the Sky Tree is so nice. We actually we went there during the daytime. We didn't go at nighttime, huh? I don't know how long they're open until. Did we see? Oh, because like the sun was setting. We we actually saw like the sunset. I think. No, I meant like from like, um, yeah, from up top. Yeah, we saw sunset, but we didn't see nighttime though. Yeah. <laughs> Always wanted to go to Japan. Japan is really nice, and if you can uh, and if you can afford the trip, I strongly recommend it. We've went we've went four times. We went to Japan four times. We're still we want to go a fifth time. <laughs> it's there's always like something new to see, and I just I find big city life to be very I don't know exciting I guess I guess like coming from like a I I don't know medium sized town I guess <laughs> small small to medium sized town. <laughs> I would say like the first time that you go. Like the first time that we went, we just did Tokyo. We just did Tokyo. There's so there's so many districts in Tokyo. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Yeah. And we we took a, a rental car during like the next several trips and like we went to like smaller areas and stuff too. <laughs> I've never been to Okinawa before. But I hear it's like the Japan Hawaii. <laughs> Summertime camps. Oh, nice. Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, the sun just raising over the peak. There's something really nice about like, um, I find that in Japan, it gets dark very fast in the morning. Um, the sun comes up really early in the morning, which I guess we're not used to like uh, in North America. Like the sun, I don't know. The sun goes down like way later. Uh, I guess depending where you are in the world and when it's like daylight savings time, but the sun usually goes down at like, I don't know, nine, I guess, ish around there. Yeah. Hoshi, oh yeah, Hoshi would know. <laughs> Hoshi's in Japan. <laughs> Solar noon here, 11 a.m. <laughs> Solar noon. 
And then, like, yeah, the uh, the sun goes down at, like, what? I don't know, like, five? It's... I don't know. It's it's interesting for the sun to go down so early. <laughs> Australia, we are the sun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can only imagine. Oh, wait. I guess, like, now that it's summertime for us, it would be, like, your fall winter time there, right? Because it's, like, opposite. <laughs> Sunrise is around. Like, yeah, it comes up so early, <laughs> like 4 a.m., like 5 a.m. around there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I guess like more. I guess like more like seven o'clock. The sun would set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. I remember like the sun coming like through the blinds in Japan at like yeah like four or five in the morning. I'm like, what? What is this? <laughs> it just feels like so sooner in the cities. Yeah. Oh, like all the buildings like block it. Oh, that's true. Maybe maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I feel like, yeah, the sun goes down like around like five or so because you can't see the sun, I guess, as clearly in the cities, I guess. <laughs> Southern Hemisphere boys. <laughs> Boy. The nights were loud, like every view, every noise, every vibe, it was all loud. And then when day broke, you can see like all the noise break away. And then like a weird way, it felt like the city started like breathing and resting. It's, it's interesting. Like, like I wanted to like live in Japan at like one point, but then I was kind of thinking like, it's okay if we travel there. Yeah. Um. Like my, my original plan, my original plan is that I wanted to like go into like the jet program or like another program to like English teach in Japan and stuff. But I, I feel okay with like traveling there. <laughs> oh, happy Pride! Yes, happy Pride! Today, oh my gosh, yes. Um, We have, let me see, another another week of uh, Pride for this month. And and for me, today is uh, the last day for um, for our channel to be on the front page of Twitch for for Pride Month. <laughs> jet is hard though. Oh, <laughs> I've I've heard that jet can be hard, but I also heard that there were some people that were saying that it was basically like you don't get to teach though, or like some people were saying, um, you're basically like the token foreigner, I guess. But I don't know how, like, the times have changed or anything, though. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was like, their original plan. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Um, I feel like, I feel like, um, maybe if I won the lottery. If I won the lottery, I'll buy a condo in Japan. <laughs> then, then I can have a, a Japan summer home or something. <laughs> I don't know. That could, that could be a lottery dream or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah happy pride happy pride to everyone <laughs> can i live in the guest room there will yes you can yes you can we we have established our contract marina <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just oh my gosh i feel like i don't know i guess not to get like all weeb or anything i feel like there was like something like magical about like i don't know the big cities in japan and stuff but maybe that's just i don't know big city life stuff <laughs> can you live in the walls oh my gosh <laughs> did you guys know that vtubers live in your walls <laughs> Oh, you have a cousin that taught English in Japan for a year and you, um, oh, you don't think that they like it? Oh, that's understandable, Captain, actually, yeah. I, I had some people that I know who were, like, um, teaching, like, overseas and stuff and they did that for a few years and they, they didn't really like it. Um, I feel like some people had to, like, make very, I don't know, quick decisions about, like, what to do I, uh, around that time as well. Whether, like, to come back home or to, like, stay or, like, that kind of stuff. Also, um, I've heard that from some people, like, when they teach abroad, um, how can I explain this? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. It's kind of like some people will go teach abroad if they feel like they have nothing left in their home country, I guess, if, if, if that makes sense. So there was, uh... I guess some people that I knew who um, who used to teach abroad and they would say that usually the other teachers that they met, they 
I don't know how to explain it, I guess. It was like... I guess they felt like they were oddballs or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she lives in Hawaii with her sister and has... Oh, that sounds so nice. That sounds nice. <laughs> Or it's like they couldn't, I don't know, or it's like they couldn't get a job in their home country, so they went elsewhere, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I mean, hey, um, uh, because I guess here's the thing about teaching abroad. They don't always accept people who have, like, degrees and stuff. Sometimes they'll just take anyone, I guess. I guess it depends on, like, the agencies you work for or, like, the other stuff. I don't know if it's like that anymore, but, like, on Gaijin Pot, they used to, like, just take anybody who would teach like you didn't have to have any degree they would just be like hey can you speak english good enough <laughs> or like or like that like that kind of stuff but i think i guess i guess nowadays i i guess some agencies um are a little bit more careful picking people i guess <laughs> uh yeah i think that was kind of my mistake when i applied for the jet program like right after i finished university because i was like hey i know some basic japanese <laughs> oh my god i guess yeah i uh, i guess i kind of hmm. i guess i shouldn't have said that <laughs> i guess i guess they do want people who just like just don't straight up know anything i, uh, I guess about the culture they're getting into i don't i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you know that Japan actually sucks. Um, there's certain aspects, like no country is perfect. No country is perfect, that's for sure. There's always things that like, I've had, fr I've, I have friends that like live in Japan and, or like used to live in Japan. And there's like a lot of things that are still not the greatest. <laughs> yeah. It's like things that are very efficient, but things are not very efficient in other ways, like the workplace and like stuff like that. <laughs> Your job is to be foreign, stand at the front of the classroom and read a textbook's mistakes included. I know. Oh my God, there's so many mistakes in some of those Japanese textbooks. <laughs> speak, only speak English at the students. They will absorb it somehow. They won't. Oh my God, so true. <laughs> what? what? Imagine like, oh my God, imagine like, like to actually teach speaking well and everything, you have to think of topics that people will actually want to speak about and like, like fun things to actually get people wanting to speak or engage with the language. <laughs> You've been living in Japan for almost three years now. Oh, I'm happy that you love it. Yeah, because I guess like, I, I guess you can find the things like that you love, like in the country as well. And yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, some people just, like, have their own personal preferences and stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I do feel a little bit, I guess, I guess happy in, in a way, because, like, uh, I guess for having, I guess, like, two bachelor's degrees and stuff, um, at least with the Commonwealth countries, I feel like if, I guess if anything were to happen, at least I can, I can teach in another country or something if I, if I need to. <laughs> if I were to, like, uh, go to, like, a Commonwealth country or something. <laughs> Actually, it was it was kind of funny because like uh, I guess like what Crunch told me for like uh, I don't know I guess with like the Yogg's cast people and stuff like because like Sips is Canadian then like where where was he did he go back to Canada or because he was living somewhere in the UK for a while Sips Jer oh he right he lives on Jersey that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try yeah even if you're in yeah if you're able to try living in other countries yeah I feel like I guess like when it comes to traveling I don't know wow it opens your mind man or like <laughs> I don't know it's interesting to see like I don't know other things <laughs> yeah and there's like places that feel more like home than like yeah then you can plant your roots into that's so true that's so true <laughs> yeah Jersey yeah <laughs> wait a minute it's like they they have to understand english and if they don't understand that uh, they would have to study even harder which is like oh oh for like the whole concept there yeah 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 if you don't understand it study harder or like <laughs> uh 
like everyone excels at like different subjects and everything it's just honestly like well even to this day i'm i'm horrible at math and like <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna grasp everything like when it comes to math yeah <laughs> but i guess that's kind of like the reason why i excel at i don't know just english things art things we're we're all different <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just 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 learn English forehead. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just just learn math. Just just learn it. Just let it absorb in your brain. <laughs> Marina, can you teach me chemistry? I don't I don't know if Marina's still here. Marina, science sensei, can you teach me chemistry? Oh wait, Kim, what's your weakest? Oh no, wait, what was what was your strongest science part? <laughs> I'm sorry, I wait, was it biology? Was biology your strong one? I think. <laughs> I can't. Well, will you teach this succubus biology? <laughs> I shouldn't have a credential in chem, but I do. <laughs> Marina, are you, what what kind of what kind of chemicals would be would be bad to mix? <laughs> Oh, physics. Ah, okay, okay. Physics is your favorite then. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, let's- let's get physical. Yeah. <laughs> let's get physical. Physical. <laughs> what about anatomy? Oh, yeah. Would that be- would that be in biology? Oh, how <laughs> having like a sex ed like VTuber. Wait, I know that um we talked about it a little bit earlier. Like Ava Ava Lamp did some like sexual education like over on her channel. Um, I know it's like you. It's I guess like you have to explain it in a very specific way that it's like not too much of a Twitch TOS kind of thing. <laughs> it would it would be fun fun to teach, but uh, yeah. Imagine uh, Twitch TOS, you know. <laughs> you have a cool science experiment we can do when we mix the <laughs> the sweat of your armpits and the saliva of my tongue. Oh my god! Wait. Oh shoot! I don't have my hand tracking. <laughs> I was gonna. I I cannot, Marina. I can't expose my armpit. Oh no. I wish I could. Wait. We have to. We have to cut a hole in my leotard. <laughs> Oh no, we have to we have to cut a hole on on my on my armpits now. <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just thinking of like leotard art where it's like oh my my leotard is all like cut up and everything. <laughs> oh no, whatever shall we do? We gotta we gotta figure out a way. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you wanna oh my gosh. Do you want to pull Leonardo da Vinci and discover friction with me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, yes. You are you are very say so. You so so very say so, Marina. <laughs> uh since we're talking about Eng uh teaching and you're an English teacher, what's your favorite book? Um hmm. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've re I've read many books, but I actually have a hard time reading. Um, do you ever get like stuck on like the one paragraph that you have to read over and over again? I have to really force myself to read. <laughs> I, I I don't know what it is, but I feel like if something's not interesting to me, I it's very hard to get through a dry novel. Um. I've read a lot of dry novels. The things that make me the most happiest is manga. <laughs> manga makes me the most happiest because <laughs> uh, maybe it's just because it's more visual. <laughs> Your ADHD kicks in so hard. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I just I feel like I can't concentrate well when I'm reading novels, <laughs> even though I've read a lot of novels. <laughs> so to answer your question, I don't know if there's a novel that I really like because I feel like it's very hard for me to read novels, but when it comes to manga, I really like manga though. Um, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe if I were to say something that was kind of like an easy read or an easier read, 
Jane Eyre was an easier read, I'd say, by by uh, Charlotte Bronte. Although I feel like the message was kind of weird, though. I don't know. <laughs> um, I feel like Jane Eyre was like an easier read. Um, manga is literature. I agree. I feel like I feel like we can learn so much. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like if there was any other no. Because the thing is, like, I feel like actually, Great Gats. Actually, you know what? Great Gatsby is actually a pretty easy read. It's very, it's very short. Um, if you want to, uh, um, yeah. Um, Great Gatsby is a pretty easy read. Um. <laughs> Great expectations. <laughs> there was a okay. There was a really dry Charles Dickens novel I had to read, and I think it was in grade. It was either grade ten or grade eleven. It was called Hard Times, and it was just all the characters having hard times in industrial England. <laughs> and I did not like that book at all. <laughs> um. It was so dry and it was so funny because like the descriptions of all the buildings too, it was like the walls were gray, the roof is gray, like everything is gray. <laughs> and I understand like what it was trying to go for because it was like, oh my gosh, everything is bad. <laughs> Have I read Bram Stoker's Dracula? I haven't. I would like to read it. Actually, um... I know that around the time, the time of hi oh high school, high school reading for leisure, reading for leisure though. Um, a lot of my friends read the Anne Rice books, like Interview with a Vampire and like all those kind of like ones. I actually never read those ones, but I wanted to get around to reading them eventually. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was basically like everything is awful. The book, yeah, Hard Times by Charles Dickens. Don't read it. It's so it's so dry and boring. <laughs> um. Oh. oh yeah there's like the uh there's like a lot of like short stories and stuff that were interesting yeah i read a lot of short stories in university though mm. <laughs> oh oh frankenstein oh, i've read frankenstein i've read frankenstein it was interesting it's um it's kind of interesting because it's like it's kind of like the start of sci-fi in the in a way for Frankenstein like it's supposed to be kind of like like horror but it's kind of like sci-fi like kind of sci-fi <laughs> oh dystopian futures so yeah <laughs> yeah it's it was basically like old-timey sci-fi yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think there's just something that's more interesting about like, yeah, supernatural or fantasy like settings that, yeah, also activates my brain. <laughs> I, I, I get, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, Frankenstein was actually like an okay read. Yeah. <laughs> oh, George or Orwell. Oh, <laughs> actually, wait a minute. Um, What the heck? No, I think I'm confusing something. Just a minute. I'm trying to... I'm going to Google something. I think I'm confusing an author with another thing. Never mind, it slipped my brain. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, that one. Okay. I didn't read that. I have no mouth and must scream. I did not read that. I need to read that. It sounds interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait. Julie of the Wolves? It was banned in your school district. I think it's funny when books get banned because it's like, what are you trying to hide? <laughs> 
<laughs> or even if like there's like themes that are bad, at least people can like learn from why it was bad, I guess. <laughs> he once fought wait. He once fought Frank Sinatra because he talks shit about his shoes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, you read it. Oh, you read it like three times or so. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. I don't think anything was banned in my schools. And I went, I went to like Catholic schools and stuff and nothing was banned. I guess it, I guess it just depends on the schools and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> You'll post an interview. Uh, oh. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're learning. We're learning. <laughs> um, I was, oh my gosh. I took a sci-fi class in university and I was just trying to remember what that one book was. Um, the the book where the one author was talking about like an alien invasion over the radio but he was reading his book and everybody panicked because they thought it was real and i'm trying to remember what uh hmm. do you guys remember the title to that i'm trying to it's like where the war of the worlds war of the worlds that's what it was yeah oh my gosh i was like yeah there we go yeah <laughs> that report is largely oh is that like actually oh a few people oh okay so only a few people thought it was real ah okay it was only a small number of people who thought it was real that's so funny though <laughs> reading reading your stuff on the radio and people are like oh no the aliens are coming <laughs> yeah war of the worlds let me see H.G. Wells. That's what it, that's what it was. H.G. Wells. Okay, because I was like, wait, I was confusing one author for another thing. <laughs> yeah, War of the Worlds was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the same dude that did the time machine. I didn't. I didn't want to be wrong, but I also read the time machine. Yeah. <laughs> that's true like because you because could you imagine because i guess it, it's like the same thing with like for a stream right like when you tune in like halfway and you're like what are they talking about what's happening what's what what are they doing <laughs> yeah just i don't know i'm just i'm just like looking up stuff on like wikipedia at the same time <laughs> man about I was just kind of thinking about like for reading for pleasure too. Um, my, uh, my, my, well, okay. The girlfriend that I had in high school, like my ex-girlfriend, like she really loves like the Twilight books and everything. So I was reading them to see like if it was really good. And then I like told her, I was like, this is shit. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because like looking back at Twilight, it's kind of like, well, for the, like the movies and stuff, it's just kind of, it's so silly. And like, I don't know. I don't know if you would call it campy, but it's so silly. Did I ever see the movies? I've seen every single Twilight movie except for the last one because I've never managed to get around to watching the last one. <laughs> but I read all the books. I read all the Twilight books. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's kind of funny because I think like the Twilight movies had like a small like Tumblr like resurgence at one point because everyone was like, oh my god, it's so trashy, but it, but I guess people were like reliving the trashy for like the time, I guess. <laughs> uh, it is, it is a very toxic relationship. It's true. You know what? It's kind of funny because like the whole Edward versus like Jacob thing, I was a Jacob person. I mean, they are both bad choices, but I was more of a Jacob person because I was like, oh my god, he's such a nicer guy than Edward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god edward's trying to like keep her from everything and jacob is cool <laughs> yeah robert pattinson is so cool robert pattinson is so cool mm -hmm. 
It must have sucked when Jacob ended. Oh my god, I can't believe they, they did Jacob dirty. They made Jacob, like, imprint on the baby, and that was so weird. <laughs> oh, speaking of Robert Pattinson, I still need to watch that new, um, Batman movie. I heard it was actually really good. <gasps> hey, Lux, I hope you're doing well. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, Lux. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're talking about top dog you read all the books yeah i i i understand i i have also read all the books yeah i was also in pain when i read twilight because i wanted to connect with my high school girlfriend <laughs> thank you for shouting out lux lux is wonderful lux has amazing art so much wonderful artwork <laughs> the lighthouse is great i i need to see that did it is that is that a recent Robert Pattinson film or is it an older one? The Lighthouse. Night. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Willem Dafoe is in it. What? What is this movie? What? What? Let me see here. Psychological thriller. I want to watch this. What the heck? <laughs> huh. They they use old film equipment for this? That is very fascinating. Huh. I want to I want to I want to watch this movie. Oh, I also want to watch the movie um what was it? Everything everywhere all at once. And I want Crunch to watch it with me, but maybe I should just watch it on my own. <laughs> I heard that, um, because Ray, you recommended that movie to me, every, um, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And I heard that lots of people got emotional with it, and I also want to feel something. <laughs> so The Lighthouse is incredible, and it's a testament to how great every actor is in it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch it then. I'll have to watch it. <laughs> Rayu raved about it. I will. Oh my gosh. I feel like if Rayu recommended it to me, I have a feeling I will also rave about it because I also like when. Um. So I suggested to Rayu to read Chainsaw Man, and and she was also like, Oh my god, Tane. <laughs> I. If you have not read Chainsaw Man the manga, talk to like talk to me after you're done reading it because I I won't shut the fuck up about Chainsaw Man because <laughs> it's it's good. <laughs> Yeah, I, I also... I, you want to feel something, Marina? I, I also want to feel something. <laughs> Did I read... Uh, no, I need to read Fire Punch. I... I okay, I, I need to read Fire Punch. And there was like another like one shot that the author did. And I still got to get around to reading it. Yeah, Chainsaw Man. So good. Yeah, if we're going to talk... Okay, if we're going to talk about like good manga. Good manga. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I I haven't seen Black Panther. I want to watch it. Yeah, I think that was. I, there's a few Marvel movies I haven't seen yet. Like I need I need to catch up on like a lot of Marvel movies. <laughs> oh, One Punch Man. One Punch Man is good. Yeah, One One Punch Man is good. Um, let's see. Yeah, Watamonte. <laughs> I heard that the the manga went in an interesting direction to uh, Watamonte. Wait. Wait. Give me give me two seconds. I think I'm thinking of like a different manga. No, okay, no, that is the manga I'm thinking of. <laughs> I heard that she actually gets friends later. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, the ultimate cringe anime. Yeah, it's so true. So true. But she's also just trying her best. <laughs> Oh, Violet Evergarden? I have a controversial opinion on Violet Evergarden. <laughs> I did enjoy it. As, I, I did enjoy Violet Evergarden, but I feel like there's some... Okay, Violet Evergarden, beautifully animated, beautiful artwork, beautiful story, but there's... Do you ever know when an anime is like, you're going to cry when you watch this anime? You know, like, I, I, I don't... I don't know. It was the same thing. I also, I feel, I don't even know if it's like that controversial, but Anohana, the anime, 
I... I don't think it's sad. <laughs> like, um... Like, because, like, for, for Violet Evergarden, I feel like I also got that kind of feeling where it's like, this is crying porn and you're gonna cry. This series is sad and you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry, like, right now. And it's... You know? <laughs> Oh, your lie in April. It's so funny because even for your lie in April, I didn't cry. <laughs> like, I don't know, because it's like you kind of know what's already going to happen. You're like, oh, it's going to be a sad show. It's going to be a sad show. <laughs> Anohana's your favorite. I'm so sorry, Marina. I'm so sorry that I I did not enjoy Anohana as, as an anime. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like it was... Like, okay, the child, the child dead ghost friend trying to get everybody together. They should have like not been friends anymore. <laughs> they're, they're all teenagers. Stop being friends with each other. Don't force it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Cause like for Anohana, um, the thing that really weirded me out is when the guy like started cross-dressing as his dead friend. Cause I was like, why would you do that? That's so uncomfortable. <laughs> And then the guy, the two guys still had feelings for their, like, dead ghost friend. And I was like, why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? And then, like, their friend's nickname is Anudu. Her, her, na her name is Anal. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry. I got, I got into, like, a small tangent about Anohana. <laughs> Her name is, her nickname is Anudu. She's anal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, when Crunch and I both watched Adohana, Crunch, I feel like Crunch also shares my opinion because he also didn't find it sad. The only thing I found sad about Adohana was the ending theme because I was like, okay. I was like, okay, the ending theme is like, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the joke. Oh my god. The, the, the doja out there. <laughs> uh, um, but I guess for like, for like Violet Evergarden and stuff, like I, I appreciate sad anime, but I feel like when it comes to the thing where it's like, oh, you're going to cry with this show. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, time to take a nap. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my God. It's been nine hours. What the heck? I was just, I was rambling about shit <laughs> where, where does the time go <laughs> um hmm it's kind of funny because like every everyone has their opinions like even for people for like who watch clanad or like played the visual novel clanad some people didn't find it sad either um i think clanad is sad i mean the main guy can't catch a break <laughs> i think <laughs> um but yeah, no, I don't know. Like, I guess with Violet Evergarden, like, yes, I, I did get teary, but I just, I don't know. I have a thing for like sad, I guess like when it comes to like sad anime, when it's like, yeah, you're going to cry. You're going to cry and like it. It's like, no, no, this is just crying porn. No, I will not cry. <laughs> ah, Tomoyo is a good character. Wait. Wait, just a minute. She was the... Yeah, I have a figurine of her. I like her. The Tomoyo after story. Yeah, Tomoyo story. <laughs> um... What was it? Oh, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. I don't know. I don't know if I have too many anime hot takes. Oh, when, when I watched um Tor Toradora... I did not like Taiga as a character. <laughs> oh my gosh. I found her extremely annoying. <laughs> but I know she's like played by like Rei, Rei Kugamiya and I like her as a voice actress. And I know like she's, she voiced like all the Sundre characters around that time. I just, I didn't like Taiga. I just felt like she was abusive. Like she was like always like hitting the main character and stuff. And I'm like, you're not a Sundre, you're just a bitch. <laughs> Um, I liked the character Ami, like, more, and it's so funny, because, like, Crunch is like, she's the bully, and I'm just like, I, I don't know. 
Uh, just, I don't know. I just thought there was something interesting about Ami, I guess. <laughs> Sundry and Bitch are the Sundry and Bitch are the same thing. Are they are are they mutually exclusive? Can you be a Sundre as being a Sundre is being a bitch? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing though. For like for like Rei Kukamiya, like I love her role in Shauna, and I do hmm, I'm half and half about Louise from Zero No Sukaima. I do like Zero No Sukaima as a show, but Yeah, I don't know. I like Shauna as a character though. Because I feel like she becomes less of a tsundere over time. <laughs> oh, I just I just realized we got past the um I just realized we got past this um playlist. Oopsie. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we got past that playlist. Oopsie. <laughs> Yeah, Shakugan no Okay, okay. But uh, I feel like the thing about Shakugan no Shana... Mmm. I really liked season two. Season three of Shakugan no Shana is awful. <laughs> I think a lot of people found season three of Shakugan no Shana to be really, really awful. <laughs> Ryuji abandons, like, everything and... He's like, yeah, there's gonna be like, or he's like, there's gonna be no flame hazes. And then all the flame hazes are like, you're gonna take our jobs. We have to fight you. <laughs> yeah, that's when Ryuji, when, sorry, Yuji, Yuji's the bad guy. Yuji's the bad guy, yeah. Oh. Season two of Shaka Gundo Shana was good though. <laughs> yeah, the whole third season. Like, okay, Crunch, what episode did we start? Did, what episode did we stop watching Shaka Gundo Shana? Like, episode of like no it was longer we were trying to hold out i think we stopped watching i think it was <sighs> it was one of the single digit episodes we stopped watching because <laughs> the third season of shakugan no shana was like bad <laughs> oh no i'm gonna eliminate all the flame hazes and then the flame haze yeah the flame hazes were like ah oh, you're taking our jobs you can't do that <laughs> the girl all the all the sundre all the sundre characters need therapy yeah <laughs> yeah um i don't know i got i got kind of on a weird tangent about i guess like anime that i i don't like i guess or like i i don't know controversial anime takes but i don't even think they're that controversial <laughs> there's not a lot of series that i will stop watching something though there's there's actually a few series that i've watched all the way through kind of just out of like well if i watch it all the way through at least i could tell people i watched it <laughs> like uh like ikitosen it's awful it's an awful awful show but i watched all of it <laughs> because i thought the characters on the dvd uh, like box art looked sexy <laughs> and i i watched the whole thing and i was like what the frick did i just watch yeah oh god yeah ikitosen like i mean not gonna lie, the girl the girls are hot, but I sat through that whole show. <laughs> uh, can you tell me something? I mean, as long as it's appropriate to share with the class. <laughs> uh please watch Iro 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 Duku. Let me see what this one is. It's an animation. It's used to express concepts and emotions that words can't grasp. Hmm. Let's see. When it came out in 2018. 2018. This looks interesting. Uh oh, I've heard about this show. I've heard about this one. I think I wanted to have it on like I wanted to watch this one. Oh my god, my backlist is so long. <laughs> and the fan service. Ah, uh, it was the fan service is very obvious. <laughs> Also, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Actually, okay, if you if we want to talk about fan service, Najika Blitz Tactics. <laughs> Wait, that was the one crunch where there was like a panty shot like every few seconds. Right? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, it has a banger opening as an anime song though, yeah. Or anime opening. 
Valkyrie Drive. Oh my God, I've watched Val- Okay, the only reason I watched Valkyrie Drive is because it had like girls love in it. I was like, oh my God, girls kissing. I need to watch it. <laughs> oh my God, girls are kissing. My interest has peaked. <laughs> Oh, Witchblade? Oh my gosh. So, about Witchblade, I've actually never seen it, but it's because I need to just think about how to get my hands on it, but I guess, you know, I'm sure there's ways. <laughs> oh, Valkyrie Drive? Yeah. Okay, so funny thing. Um, I think Steam has a Valkyrie Drive game. Let me, let me check something. Because I think it used to... There used to be... I think it got localized because I actually wanted to buy it. And then I was like, wait a minute. Is it going to get localized? Valkyrie... This one. Yeah, Valkyrie Drive... Bakuni? I don't know how do you... I don't know how you pronounce that. But yeah, it's on, it's on Steam though. <laughs> Uh, Simpho Gear? I've not watched Simpho Gear, but I heard it was so freaking good, though. And I heard it had a mobile game for a very short amount of time. Simpho Gear. Yeah. And I hear there's so many seasons of Simpho Gear as well. Um, oh my god, how many seasons? Because <laughs> it's like, what? It's the genres are basically, um... Oh my god, how many genres does it have? A lot. <laughs> what was it? It's like fight sci-fi action idols i think yeah i i i wanna i wanna i see a lot of like yuri art of like simple gear and i'm just like hello <laughs> there's another valkyrie drive anime oh my, our game announced oh my gosh <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, yes, exactly, Panda, because I remember the Valkyrie Drive game being on the Vita, and it was the same with the Senran Kagura game, because I wanted to play it because it was on the Vita, and I bought the Japanese game, and it was so nice that, like, the Vita and, like, um, the Vita didn't have the region lock. So I started playing the game in Japanese and stuff, and then when they started localizing the Senran Kagura games, I was like, well, shit, I guess I'll have to buy it again. <laughs> Cause I just I just like cute girls. What what am what am I gonna do? Wow, even if the story is so if this if the story is mid, they will get my money because cute girls. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Oh my gosh, there's so many Senran Kagura games. There's so many. Oh gosh, I don't even I don't even know where to begin with Sunrun Kagura. It's just, it's great for trashy reasons. <laughs> uh, Seikon no Quasar was like, oh no, that's the H one, isn't it? That's that's the H one. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's the H one. <laughs> oh, there's so many trashy cute girl like, I don't know games and series uh, it's like they'll still get my money <laughs> hello good afternoon yang hello oh my god it's i i i keep going it's oh gosh it's so late at night it's almost going to be midnight for me <laughs> why is every wait jojo wait what oh <laughs> And built like oh every jo oh every JoJo character like six five and built like a brick house uh, or <laughs> because because they can I guess <laughs> because um Areki wants to draw muscly people I guess and that's okay <laughs> ah. oh my gosh Senran Kagura oh my god it's oh. There's so many cute girls in Center on Kagura. It's great. <laughs> wait. Learning curve. Wait. Learning curve. How to. Wait. One of the items was. Number five red engine. The recall was dubbed 
the lead paint crisis because the red and yellow paint that was wait that was used contained lead i was quite shocked when i heard it and now i am very aware of lead paint on toys yes there's a lot of old toys there's a lot of old toys that have like lead paint and stuff yeah man it's kind of crazy lead really makes people go crazy <laughs> I think it was actually like, I don't know. Actually, no, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get into that. Yeah, just just lead on things. <laughs> oh, your favorite character is like Murasaki. She is so cute. I love that she like covers her face and then she's like super like confident and then like with her mask and then she's like she's like all ooh, ooh and shy when she takes her mask off. <laughs> she's she's a cutie. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. We're talking about, um, uh, anime and cute girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Diamond is unbreakable. Oh my gosh. I still, um, I need, okay. So I guess for like, on the topic of Jojo, I, oh my God, it's been forever since I've read Jojo. Um, I was reading Stone Ocean however many years ago and I never finished it and I need to freaking finish Stone Ocean before I watch the anime. <laughs> oh, there's so many good girls. There's so many good girls in Sunron Kagura. They're, they're all good girls. They are all good girls. I, I love them. <laughs> they're so, they're so good. <laughs> Uh, Murasaki's the one with the big teddy bear. Oh, shoot! Am I getting the... Oh, my God. I'm getting the names mixed up. Wait, Murasaki is the one with the teddy bear. Who was I thinking? Yeah, she is the one with the... Animal... Plushie? Question mark? Um... Oh, my God. What was the one with the mask? Or no, did Murasaki not have a plush animal? Oh, I'm thinking of the girl with the mask, and now I can't remember her name, but I think it was. Let me see. Sanran Kagura. Is it me? Not Miyabi. I could have swore her name started with an M. I'm thinking of the girl with the mask. Not Minori. Minori was like the cute, cutesy one. Oh no, no, this is this is gonna bug me. Send send around Kaga characters. Oh gosh. Okay, this is gonna bug me. Um dun, 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 dun. Who's the who's the girl with the mask? Yeah, yeah, Minori's bucket girl. <laughs> she she eats a bucket. Uh What the heck? I could have swore her name begin began with an M. Motokubo! Motokubo! She's the one. Oh my god, I can't show her picture. Her her boobs are like almost out. Motokumo, she has like the Oni mask. That's the one. Motokumo. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. She's the one with the mask. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I I think she has an interesting character design. <laughs> she she draw the manga. <laughs> that sounds terrible. You should do. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds terrible. Here, just a minute. Kankuro, mm. <gasps> Kankuro. Oh my gosh, twenty four months. Thank you for the two years. My gosh, thank you so much. Happy two years. Happy two years to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. <laughs> Three-bit model, a preference over a... Oh, I mean, I have a few models. This is this just happens to be one of them. <laughs> I just... I, I feel like being retro today. <laughs> but I do... Oh, actually, good thing that you... That you just reminded me. Gold suit. Um, Let me... Just a minute. 
let me show you guys. Here, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. This is gonna be my new model very soon. Wait, this is gonna be my new one. Thank you for reminding me about the live 2D. <laughs> this is this is an upcoming model. So this is gonna be the new me very, very, very soon. Very soon. I think I, I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna test it. I think I think it's in the testing stages very soon. Um oh look, I can I can look up my skirt. <laughs> This is gonna be this oh. is gonna be the sensei that everyone has always wanted. And then I can give you steppies. <laughs> because now now that I now that I have an iPhone, I can uh I can do like the face tracking stuff and everything. So I just have to I need to learn. I need to learn. And set set things uh up properly. Yeah. So this is this is gonna be the new me very soon. More office mil office milf than succubus? Good, because I'm an oh well, I'm an office lady, and I also want to show that. I wanted to show that I have, you know, like teacher vibes, oh well vibes. Yeah. O L MILF, yeah, I'm teacher and O L. Yeah, so I'm really I'm really looking forward to uh, showing you guys like when that's gonna be debuted. I still don't have a I still don't have like a debut date, but I will hype it up. <laughs> oh well, yeah, Dojin tags, you know. Oh well, <laughs> I'll literally do anything Tane wants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's in our contract, you have to. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna scream. <laughs> the new model looks amazing, thank you. Foxy Rain, here, here, give me, give me a moment. Um, shout out to my mama, Foxy Rain. Foxy Rain, for the artwork. And shout out to, uh, Angyu. Here, just a minute, I wanna make sure I spell Angyu's name right. I, I can't remember if there was like a few. Just a minute. I can't. I, I, I think their Twitch name is spelled differently. Let me see. For the rigging. Let me see. Let me see here. Angu. Angu. Where is your, where is your Twitch? There it is. Okay. Shout out to Angu for the for the rigging. My papa. My papa. I can't wait to move. I can't I can't wait to move. <laughs> did I make my avatar? No, I did not. No, I did not. <laughs> I I have I have several. I have several models. Um here, actually, I was doing kind of like a model showcase like earlier. Here, just just give me two seconds. This is my this is my original model. Here. Whoa. <laughs> this is this is my original one. There we go. And this one is made by uh DD Mavis. But I think they go by a different username now. <laughs> you want to see the orb hands again? I can show you the orb hands again. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do have the Spirit University outfit here. Give me give me two seconds. This was the one that we used for uh, Spirit University. Um here just a minute. I have to change the arms because I have to always extend the arms for like the, the low poly um retro one. Here, let me let me put the arms back to normal. Where the heck is the shoulders arm angle? There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yes, this was the the Spirit University model that we yeah that I decided to use because it's like very very office like. <laughs> Shion, you really want to see the orpans, don't you? Here, just a minute. Okay, here I'll go back to this one for a moment. Yes, this is this is my original. As for like spending money for VTubing, um, 
I I would say the mo oh my gosh. I would say the most money I've spent on is this. <laughs> I would say the most the most money I've spent on is this one. <laughs> this one. This one. The upcoming one. Um but this is the thing, like it's like it's like a hobby and something that I enjoy doing and something that I want to um you know um make a living on, I would I would say. I mean I I would like to, um, I, my, my dream is to become a, like a full-time freelance artist, um, so I can like make you guys cool anime art with, um, big anime girl booba, so. <laughs> I am working part-time, but I can, I wish I can, you know, move into full-time streaming eventually, so, yeah. <laughs> Def definitely worth, I am so, ha I'm so happy with, uh, the new one, definitely. <laughs> I love that for us. Yeah! Oh my gosh. I can't wait to quit my job in the future. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> but I but I do like this one. Like, okay, so I did not I did not make the 3D model, but I designed the character. And I wanted something like just like rather like simple. Because I also like want people to draw my character too, is like the thing that I was thinking of like as an artist. Plus uh here, just a minute. I got, I got, I got my, my toesies, you know, my, my tights. Whoa. Oh gosh, that was big. <laughs> I got, yeah, it's like a, a simple, a simple leotard. Um, I got my horns and a succubus tail, you know, some, something, something simple, something people can draw. <laughs> and yeah, and easy to cosplay. Exactly. Easy to cosplay as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, con con kuro, thank you, thank you. <laughs> here, you know what? Um, here, because Shion said uh, he wants to see it. Here, there we go. See, because then you could do like I don't know. If you have like if you have a simple character design, then you know you can you can have full poly stuff. <laughs> the orb hands. I like I like how the tail sways. I think it's really cute. A very short, um, yeah, model highlight. <laughs> you like it? Aw. Pandy, Virtual Pandy did a fantastic job. Oh, shoot, Shion, thank you for the gifted. Thank you, that means a lot. Thank you for the support. Project Shion underscore gifted a tier one sub to Julius Rivers. Wah! <laughs> Amazing, thank you. For the for the orb hands, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I don't have my hand tracking on right now. I I would I would fling my orb hands into your face. <laughs> um, let's see here. I, it's it's kind of funny. I was doing like a little bit of like a model showcase like earlier, but I I would say for VTubing, like I spend the money on it because like I want to. I, I'm actually kind of happy I've been spending like the money in VTubing or else I would spend it on anime figurines because like anime figurines consume my life. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to sh um, shut this one off for just a moment. Um, let's see here. Uh, where is VTube Studio? Hello, VTube Studio? Dun, 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 dun. So I can't start up VTube Studio before. Okay after turning on OBS, but you have to do it before turning on OBS. So this is why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, actually it's showing up. That's so weird that it's actually showing up. Fantastic. It actually did. Whoa. It actually did what it was supposed to do. Uh, uh, amazing. Okay. Calibrate. But I can't have the 3D on and the 2D on at the same time. Oh God. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a Tane anime figurine? I would honestly, Marina, I would love to fund that in the future. That would be something I would love to fund. <laughs> My head pops off. The booba are flat. Uh, true. 
true. <laughs> Here, just a minute. Let me uh let me go to the other one. Uh this one. This one I like I like. By Pori. I I really like this one. Oh, I think the mouth is responding a little bit better now. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, fat. Oh my god. I read that as flat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I read that as flat. <laughs> The booba are fat. <laughs> but yeah, this one has uh, uh, some expressions and everything. Let me let me see here. Um, I got my I got my hand. Oh, I can be I could be very angry with you. Ugh. What do you mean you didn't turn in your homework? I gave you like a month. <laughs> I gave you a month. How dare you not turn in your homework? Hmm. What? You're not coming to class anymore. Oh. You not you're not going to come to class anymore. Oh no. Uh oh. Why why would you say such a thing? <laughs> oh yeah, I can I can take the glasses off. Yeah. <laughs> and then also the um the blushy, the uh the ada ada face. <laughs> you love it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, VTubing sounds expensive. It, uh, it can be, but you don't have to. Uh, I feel like the thing is, like, you don't have to dump a whole bunch of money into a model or anything, but, uh, it's kind of like the whole thing for, like, a hobby. If you want to, like, start out small and then, like, work your way up, um, yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. Um, I guess, like, like any hobby, I guess. <laughs> it's one of your favorite models. I'm so glad. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You can do like PNG uh, tubing. There's, there's a few people that I know who were very like successful with like PNG like tubing. Mm -hmm. Like, like for example, like um, like for example, like Ikumi was a PNG VTuber for so long, and she has like a model that uh she got. Oh gosh, how long ago was it now? Um, yeah, she she was a PNG uh, VTuber for a long time. I think it I think it depends like if you see like somebody who has like their commissions open and then you like their artwork and then yeah. Mhm. Mm I was actually at one point I actually well I still want to do this like as practice. I I want to make my own like live 2D like uh VTuber. The thing is like I just I just don't have the time and there's like so many layers that are involved. <laughs> but I would I would like to do it eventually though. Oh wow, this mu this music got like groovy. <laughs> Speaking of commissions, are mine open? Not currently, but um, I will be opening commissions as soon as I get uh, these uh, the ones that I'm currently working on done. <laughs> um, I will I will open commissions when I'm able to. I feel like I'm in kind of like a catch twenty two. Um, I feel very tired after work and I'm I'm gonna do my best to uh, uh, get through like the current commission list and then I will um, then I'll open commissions again I need to I need to raise my prices I I honored my old prices like when everyone was on the wait list so or yeah so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be raising my prices <laughs> yeah like uh, for like PNG like VTubing and stuff too um there's like ways that you can have like the mouth open and stuff like when you're reacting and everything to stuff as well. So yeah, lots of cool things for like PNG VTubing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, def definitely. I, I will let you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like VTubing has like come a long way. Um, 
there's so like you can you can definitely be like an indie and be successful i'd say yeah i feel like there's there's so many things that i don't know what what <laughs> crunch was just like giving me a look <laughs> Because I think I wanted, I wanted, um, I don't know. I guess we just like got on like a topic of like, I don't know, fun chatting stuff and everything. And, uh, yeah, I, I did say I wanted to go touch grass earlier and it's like midnight. <laughs> uh, what do I use for face tracking? I'm just using my webcam. I'm just using my webcam. Um, I need to actually like set up my iPhone, uh, for like the new one soon. Like... Like for this one, this one's gonna have like the iPhone tracking. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna work out. Yeah, it's midnight already. Like what the heck? <laughs> oh my God, using a webcam? I know, right? <laughs> um, I am using like a Logitech like webcam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, bless you, Crunch. Oh, is he gonna sneeze again? <gasps> Oh, it usually comes in twos. Did you do that to spite me? <laughs> Bless you, Crunch. Bless you, Crunch. <laughs> oh, congrats on... Oh, congrats on new model. Oh my gosh. Well, I... It, it is not It is not out yet, but I am very excited. I, 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 I keep showing it. <laughs> Soon, soon, TM. Uh, one day we will have a debut. One day. <laughs> yeah, congrats, congrats. Anyways, all oh, thank you. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. You're hyped for that live 2D. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to say, um, okay, so it is midnight. Um, I, I, I would like to go to sleep. <laughs> I, I would like to go to sleep. Um, I, I think I'm going to go outside and take, I'm going to go outside and take a nighttime walk. And I feel like this model's like, sometimes the mouth doesn't respond as much. I, I, oh, I feel like this one, this model will be better with like the iPhone because, uh, less webcam, less webcam, more iPhone, I guess. <laughs> um, let me see here. Um, before I get going, before I get going, give me two seconds. Um, oh, wait, I'm over here. Uh, uh, if you, we're going to continue the charity stream tomorrow as well. So uh, we will be continuing the charity stream. Uh, if you want to donate off a stream as well, you can, if you would like to. I was just going to, I was just going to show the links and everything right here. I just, I just realized I... I guess we got onto some like fun tangents, but that's what's fun about like talking with everyone, right? <laughs> you can see the goals here, the goals and incentives. Um, we will be continuing tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Zilla, thank you for the gifted. Thank you. Zilla, gifted a tier one <laughs> thank you for Atlanta. supporting me. Uh, thank you for donating two. so much to uh, the Gamers Outreach Foundation. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe it, everyone. It's amazing. <laughs> my gosh. Um. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted, Zill. Thank you. Um. If you are new to the stream, you can check out my socials here. Um. If you want to check out my artwork, it's probably maybe the easiest to check it out on maybe Pixiv and Instagram because it's pretty easily scrollable. But I do post on like the other uh, social media platforms too. Um. It. We put out a new episode of the Very You Buy podcast yesterday. Uh, so check out the Very You Buy podcast. My friend Emu Lapis, my partner Crunchbite, and myself have a podcast called Very You Buy. And it's Very You Buy. <laughs> it's, it's Very You Buy. <laughs> and if you want to pick up any merch, you can pick up some merch. Um, here, just a minute. Since we did like, uh, since we did like the hand cam like earlier. Here. Oh, wait. Wait, I, I'm here. <laughs> there we go. Um, you can pick up a booba mouse pad. There we go. It's it's right here. <laughs> Hand. Oh my 
my god, hands! <laughs> and check out Isakaya. Yeah, check out the Isakaya group. Here, just a minute. Let me. Isakaya. And Reina's like, oh my god, hands! Here, let me. Uh, you want to see my desk? You want to see my desk? That's my that's my controller. <laughs> these these are this is the snack that I had in the MRE and I put it all in a bowl. <laughs> that's my that's my streaming deck. And the tarot cards that we did earlier uh today for the tarot card readings. <laughs> you never You never see my skin, but you wanna see my skin? <laughs> you wanna see my skin? <laughs> It's it's one step closer to armpit. Ooh. Listen, listen, my fingernails, I feel I feel naked. I don't have nail I don't have like nail polish on or anything. <laughs> Skin fluencer. Oh my oh my gosh. <laughs> but yes, if you want to um if you want to uh pick up a mouse pad, uh it is on let me see. Nyantastic is our website. Um Merch. There we go. I have a, I have a, like, a keyboard, like, wrist rest here, too, when I'm, like, typing so my wrist doesn't get sore. <laughs> but yes, Uba mouse pad. Uba mouse pad. Very comfy, very nice, very ergonomic for your wrist. Yes. <laughs> um, I think, I think I shield everything. Do you play video games? Oh my god, do you want to see all the games on my Steam that I don't play? <laughs> do you want to see all my games on Steam? Just a minute. <laughs> I got so many games and so many PlayStation and Nintendo games. Oh my god. So, so many games. <laughs> Also, Shion, I will definitely play Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion because thank you so much for gifting it. I, I look forward to um I look forward to playing it. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Wait, do people still have that logic? A girl on the internet? <laughs> oh my god, a girl on the internet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my reactions? Oh my gosh, we will. I will let you know when I play this game. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think it's time to pass on the love to another streamer. <laughs> um, thank you so much, everybody, for coming by. I had tons of fun. Um, I just wanted to say, if you came from like the Twitch front page and everything, um, thank you so much for coming by. Today, today has been the last day that we have been on like the front page for like uh, for Pride Month and everything. I was on the front page from like Tuesday to Saturday. So for all the new folks, I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, once again, I I am Tane. I am a I am an artist, a uh, variety gamer. Um, ASMR person. <laughs> um, I like to do variety. I like to do a little bit of everything on here. So uh, you can check check me out everywhere. Yes, check me out everywhere. <laughs> and I hope you have a good night. Good night, pleasant dreams. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, gamers, my students. <laughs> Let's see, who can we who can we raid? Oh, have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. I wonder what our raid message should be. What should our raid message be? I wonder. Oh my gosh. I find that... Oh, I think I know our raid target. I think I have a good idea who our raid target's gonna be. Okay, wait a minute. Oh shoot, I have two I have two people. I have a few people on the mine. Oh my goodness. I have a few people on the mine. Um just a minute.
Okay, I have a good idea. We are going to raid my VTuber sibling Cuz because we are VTuber siblings of our first model. And he is playing Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> And he is doing the same charity event as we are. So we are going to go raid Cuz. So we're going to go raid Cuz. My VTuber sibling, base Cuz. Nano. Yes, we need to. Nano machines. Nano machines, sun raid. Here, just a minute. Nano machines. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, if you don't, if you don't have an emote, that's okay. I'm going to give you, um, I'm gonna give you a heart if you don't have the emote, so that's okay. Here. Nano machines. <laughs> uh, that should have worked. And here, there we go. And you can use a heart if you would like to use a heart. There we go. I I, I think I think that worked. <laughs> Nano machines! Ah, so powerful. The memes, the memes. <laughs> Everyone have a good night. Pleasant dreams. I can't believe it's almost been like 10 hours. We're going to continue the charity event tomorrow as well. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. Mwah. Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for being with me tonight. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.